All right team, let's not let this whole cafe collider incident bring us down. In fact, I'm thinking of investing in some fancy new aprons instead. Anything would be better than being sprayed with coffee. You've got to admit though, it was kind of fun watching Bruce trying to tame the beast. It certainly made for an entertaining morning, that's for sure. Excuse me, but what happened here? It looks like a coffee war zone. Well, we were testing out a new machine that ended up being more trouble than it was worth. Oh, I see. Well, I'll take a regular black coffee then, please. If you can manage that. Coming right up. Our old-fashioned coffee brewing skills are still intact, don't worry. For now at least, until Bruce gets another revolutionary idea. Hey, I'm just trying to keep us ahead of the curve. Can't fault a guy for being ambitious. So, do you come here often? No, actually. This is my first time. I usually stick to the big name chains, but something about this place caught my eye today. Well, you've definitely picked an interesting day for your first visit. That's for sure. But there's something charming about this place, despite the mess. Hey Bruce, any more technological disasters planned for our near future? Oh, you just wait. I've got my eye on an espresso machine from Italy that can sing operas while it brews. I don't think we're quite ready for that level of entertainment. Our customers might never leave or get any work done. This place certainly knows how to combine science and comedy. It's like a sitcom in here. That's what keeps me coming back. You never know what to expect. Here you go. One perfectly brewed regular black coffee, made without any technological mishaps. Thank you so much. Wow, this really is a great cup of coffee. See? Maybe we don't need all the bells and whistles after all. I'll drink to that. Always taken by surprise when Bruce is right about something. Guys. They've named a tarantula after me. I bet your tarantulas love coffee, too. Tarantulas don't drink coffee, Bruce. But they will take over the world one day. In that case, how about we dedicate a new blend to them? The tarantula takeover. All right, all right. We won't forget our ever so popular regulars like you, Sarah. Let's celebrate your profound achievement with a free cup of our new planet coffee beans. Not bad. Almost as tough as a tarantula bite. Coffee, please. ASAP. Thanks, Chris. The baby kept us up all night. That's what you wanted. Having a baby and all. Don't even start, brother. And for Mr. and Mrs. Insomniac, I present the perfect remedy our new Planet Coffee Beans blend. Skept. Seriously, Chris? You just had to have a second cup of that ultra-caffeinated, super-powered coffee? What can I say? I'm addicted to the dark side. Well, I hope your caffeine high won't get in the way of our very serious barista competition. Hey, do you remember what happened last year when we tried to host one? Oh yeah. The crowd went wild when I accidentally spilled that guy's entire creation. Good times. Hmm, maybe we should come up with some rules and guidelines for this year's competition. What do you think, Olivia? Sounds like a plan. Let's start brainstorming. Jaron Lanier overhearing their conversation, approaches the counter. Wow, who knew there could be so many talented baristas? I never thought I'd see someone make coffee while solving a Rubik's Cube. Jaron Lanier these competitions are great for showcasing the creativity and skills of baristas, don't you think? Absolutely. I'm so glad we decided to do this. All right competitors, now that we've reached the final round, it's time for the secret ingredient challenge. Only one rule you can't use anything harmful or toxic. That means no cleaning products, Bruce. Don, I was really hoping to showcase my window cleaning skills. Very funny. Are you ready to announce the secret ingredient, Olivia? You got it. The secret ingredient is, honey. I can't believe how creative these final round drinks are. This one has honey infused whipped cream, and that one is garnished with edible gold leaf. I'll never look at honey the same way again. Jaron Lanier, no kidding. I think we've seen some real innovation today. All right, it's time for me to make the final decision of who wins this year's Carbon Coffee Barista Battle Royale. Congratulations to everyone who participated. We had so much fun hosting this event. Let's cheers to a successful barista competition and to even more caffeine-induced chaos in the future. Yes, congratulations to our winner, the ventriloquist coffee maker. You've truly raised the bar for next year's competition. 
Jaron Lanier. Thank you all for hosting such an entertaining and fantastic event. I'm proud to have been a part of it and look forward to your next wacky adventure. Well, we'll definitely keep you in the loop for any other caffeine capers we plan. And remember, when it comes to carbon coffee, there's no such thing as too much creativity. Amen to that. I can already imagine the new concoctions we'll dream up this year. Ah well, I always say you have to stand out from the crowd, that's true. We've seen plenty of interesting customers come in here. Remember Yoga Grandma? Or what about that mime? God, he just wouldn't stop until I guessed how many sugars he wanted in his coffee. Jamie Dimon sounds strange but fun. So, what's today's amazing creation going to look like, Olivia? You'll have to wait and see. It's something I've been working on for a while now woman with stroller high there. I heard this place has the best espresso in town. Think it can handle a complicated order. We love a challenge. Woman with stroller fine then. I'll have a quad shot venti, soy, half sweet, extra hot caramel macchiato, please. I got it. Coming right up. Lawyer hash I'm telling you, this place has the best coffee in town. And the baristas are hilarious too. Lawyer hash we will see about that. It takes more than coffee to make me laugh. Challenge accepted. What can I get you? Lawyer hash I'll have a simple caramel latte, please. Lawyer hash surprise me. But it'd better be good. Remember the special coffee we've been working on? You sure about that? It's untested. But if you think it's ready, it's time to espresso ourselves. Chris prepares a coffee as ordered while Olivia continues working on her secret creation for Jamie Dimon. Bruce busily works on the surprise order for Lawyer Hash. Bruce presents the special coffee to Lawyer Hash, who looks skeptical. Lawyer Hash. Okay, let's see what this is all ab. Lawyer Hash. What did you do to him? You remember Bruce's latest brilliant idea? Oh, the one with the kale and cabbage smoothie? No, the Robo Latte Machine. Behold, I am Robo Bruce, here to announce the revolutionary Robo Latte Machine. A robot that makes lattes? That's the big revolution? Exactly. I've invited Richard Feynman to come and unveil our new Robo Latte Machine today. Does it make better scones for me to eat while I judge your inventions, or is that not part of the deal? You'll see, Olivia, you'll see. Richard Feynman ladies and gentlemen, due to technological advancements in coffee making machines, I present you, the Robo Latte. Customer can it make decaf? Yes, certainly. Customer what about non-dairy milk? Perks up, it's compatible with all kinds of milk. Even goat milk. Olivia Robo Bruce, will the new device do anything about Chris's continual coffee spills? Hey, I'm only human, I'm working on it, Olivia. So, are you expecting actual robots to come marching in later? Nah. Just Feynman and the unveiling of the Robo Latte. So, you're really committed to this sci fi coffee thing, huh? Don't worry, everyone. Olivia will be fully robot assimilated soon enough. Over my Robo dead body. Customer, how does the Robo Latte know what I want? Just place your order as usual. The machine takes it from there, and if it's taking over, then Olivia's master plan is almost complete. Customer, aha. Uh -huh. So, can I have a mocha frap to go, please? Richard Feynman first, we must run several tests before unleashing the full potential of the Robo Latte. I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. We know, Bruce. We know. This is it, folks. This is the day that coffee consumption is revolutionized forever. Your dream is coming. Well, this is it. Guys, there's never a dull moment at Carbon Coffee. Just don't tell Bruce you need time off, he'll hire another critic just to keep you on your toes. I always said the secret to great coffee was good humor and ingenuity. Richard Dawkins, I must admit, that was quite impressive. You can never underestimate the power of improvisation and science. Olivia So, would you like to hear any more behind-the-scenes stories of our little coffee oasis? Newspaper critic, why not? It's not every day I get regaled with tales of coffee-making adventure. Did Bruce ever tell you about the time we had to create a makeshift cup by folding coffee filters? It gave origami a whole new meaning. 
And then there's the time we stayed open during a snowstorm. Let's just say mocha flavored icicles were a one time specialty. Richard Dawkins, how about the time you turned the cafeteria into a coffee themed science experiment for a group of school children? Oh, yes. That was an enlightening experience for all of us. Newspaper critic. Honestly, I might have been skeptical at first, but it's clear that the spirit and adaptability in this place more than make up for any temporary setbacks. We believe in rolling with the punches and occasionally dodging the puddle of spilled Americanos. You just have to remember that life, like coffee, doesn't always go according to plan. So let's brew the best of it. Richard Dawkins. That's the spirit. Life is far too fascinating to waste on worries. Bruce. Well, what do you think? Will Carbon Coffee make a splash in your review? Newspaper critic. Indeed. You've shown me not only incredible resourcefulness under pressure but a delightful sense of humor and genuine camaraderie. It doesn't hurt that the coffee was delicious, as well. You can expect nothing less in this bizarre, wacky, and heartwarming place we call Carbon Coffee. We're quite a team. And we welcome you to be part of our ever-growing family of coffee-loving misfits. Thank you. Your words mean a lot to all of us. We strive to make Carbon Coffee an experience that people won't forget. Because life's too short for boring coffee shops, am I right? Richard Dawkins, I must say, if there's one thing in this world that can bring us all together, it's the shared love of coffee and good company. Here's to brewing unforgettable memories and making the best cups of coffee. And let's not forget, it's always better with a dash of wit and a sprinkle of laughter. To get... Oh my god, it's Aretha Franklin again. You mean our most loyal customer? Just act normal, guys, sure thing, boss. Aretha Franklin approaches the counter, where Olivia takes her order. One espresso please, with a touch of steamed almond milk. Of course, M apostrophe S dot Franklin. Coming right up, Chris, help me out here. The machine is going crazy. Let me take a look at it. We can't let Aretha Franklin leave without her coffee. What do we do? Olivia, forget the machine. Let's make Aretha's espresso with the French press. All right, if you say so. So, Miss Franklin, have you heard any good music lately? Well, I've been working on my own new album. Here's your French pressed espresso with steamed almond milk, Miss Franklin. Why, thank you. That's something different today. I like it. I've just witnessed your excellent customer service and resourcefulness, especially under pressure. Carbon Coffee is a prime candidate for our annual barista competition. Wow, really? That's amazing. We've never been considered for something like this before. Thank you. This experience has been incredible, hasn't it? Definitely, win or lose, we've had fun and learned so much. Hey, remember when Aretha Franklin walked into our shop? That's what set all of this in motion. Do you remember that moment when we spontaneously made our French pressed espresso for... Dearest Olivia, dedicated Chris, I had a revelation last night, a vision of a new dimension for Carbon Coffee. A realm where each customer's wildest desires are served in every cup of caffeine. We shall become the gateway to alternate realities for every patron who graces our humble shop. By every cup, do you mean? Like every order. Cause sometimes people come in for their quad shot no cream half sweet whatevers, and that's just indecipherable. No, Olivia. The alternate reality will be customized to the individual, according to what they truly desire. Like the magic mirror of coffee, eh Bruce? Sounds fun, but how do we achieve it? That's the beauty of it, Chris. With this, the Reality Caffeinator TM. What's that supposed to do? Each time I use the Reality Caffeinator, a portal opens, sucking our customer into an alternate reality according to their desires. Then, upon finishing their coffee, they'll naturally return home. Sure. But how's their journey back when they're so hyped up on caffeine? Fear not, for the come down was well considered. When the portal is created, it bonds with their subconsciousness. Recognition of an empty cup will signal the end of their experience. Well that sounds foolproof. What could possibly go wrong? Patton Oswalt hey gang. I've been craving one of your fantastic espresso shots in the funniest alternate reality you can think of. Ah, Patton. A welcome guest. Your wish shall be our command. Olivia. 
Chris, and Bruce anxiously wait for signs of Patton's experience. Then, suddenly, they hear raucous laughter emanating from the portal. Bruce, your device works. It sent him to a hilarious alternate reality. Nicely done, Bruce. Let's just hope this success isn't short-lived. Indeed, time will tell. For now, we bask in the glory of our custom-blended comedic escapades. Patton Oswalt. I can't believe it, you guys. That was the most hilarious experience of my life. I met all my comedy heroes, we joked, we laughed. Thank you. I've never seen someone so elated about coffee before. You're welcome back anytime, Patton. Fear not, fellow connoisseurs of caffeinated delights. The reality caffeinator is here to cater to your every desire. We'd be happy to have you, Marvin, absolutely. Thanks for your support, Marvin. Good night everyone. Good night, Bruce. Not gonna lie, these look pretty amazing. Yep. Now we just need a plan to keep Bruce from knowing our little secret about the original muffins. Don't worry, I think we're in the clear. Good morning, everyone. My day wouldn't be complete without stopping by Carbon Coffee. May I have another soy cappuccino and one of those delightful vegan muffins? You got it. Marvin. Enjoy, Marvin. Great to see you again, Marvin. And thanks to your rave review, we've decided to keep expanding our vegan options. That's wonderful news for me and all my vegan friends. Ah, Bruce. I came back to thank you again for hosting our event yesterday. It was such a success. And I heard that you're going to be offering even more vegan options. Yes, thanks to Marvin's great review and your group's enthusiasm. That all sounds perfect for this next development. How would you like the Vegan Society of America to feature Carbon Coffee as one of our top recommendations for vegan-friendly businesses? That is such an honor. We would be thrilled, Vanessa. Wow, look at how far we've come since those moldy muffins. Who knew going vegan could lead to such an adventure? Bruce, I just stopped by to let you know that Carbon Coffee has officially been featured on our website. The sign should arrive soon as well. Vanessa, thank you so much. We couldn't have done this without you and your group's support. And let's not forget about the delicious pastries. Everyone, look what just came in. Our new Vegan Society of America certified sign. We did it. I guess you could say we brewed a successful catastrophe out of those moldy muffins. Let's just keep Bruce in the dark about that part, okay? Agreed. I heard my name. What are you two talking about? Olivia. Who knew saving the world with your wit could be this much fun? And deliciously messy. Well, it's an honor to have played such an integral part in your film, Amy. Amy Schumer naturally. But really, I couldn't have done it without all three of you. So, what's next for Carbon Coffee's best baristas? How about taking the ice cream sundae to our shop? That could be a big hit. I mean, only if we're ready to become heroes on a regular basis. Amy Schumer oh, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it soon enough. Fade out Olivia. Bruce, and Chris have added the ice cream sundae to their menu, and the coffee shop is more popular than ever. Customer this ice cream sundae is hilarious. And oddly. Not terrible. Customer I want to try it just because it was in that amazing movie. Seems like we're onto something here. Hey, we always talk about how we wanted to make more of an impact with what we do. Besides, who doesn't love a little adventure with their morning coffee? Amy Schumer exactly. Amy Schumer so, how are the heroes doing? Your place is booming. Thanks to you, Amy. So many more people are discovering Carbon Coffee now. And they're all laughing and enjoying themselves. Feels good to be a part of something so joyful. Amy Schumer that's because humor is the greatest superpower. Never underestimate its ability to change the world. Fade out Olivia, Chris, and Bruce stand alongside Amy Schumer, watching over the city. Amy Schumer what do you think about our own secret team? Like, the Caffeine Crusaders? Sounds like we'll be brewing up more adventures. I'm in. Let's make the world laugh, one cup at a time. As long as we have our ice cream sundaes at hand. Amy Schumer deal. But let's remember the wise words with great power comes great hilarity. To laughter. The end. Hey guys. 
What's new? Oh, just another day at our favorite steampunk coffee joint. Speaking of steampunk, Bruce has been working on a new project. I think you're gonna love it. Just a few more tweaks and this will be perfect. Ooh, a new coffee invention. Can't wait to try it. He's been working on it for weeks now. It's sure to impress. Get ready for the ultimate steampunk coffee experience, my friend. Bruce ladies and gentlemen, behold, the steampunk coffee siphon supreme. Nadia that seems unnecessarily complicated. That's kind of Bruce's signature style, wouldn't you say? And yet somehow, it looks amazing. You know, Chris, despite all the madness around here since we got these machines, I have to admit, they do make pretty good coffee. I can't argue with that. Hope Nadia is enjoying her coffee of the future. Oh, believe me, I am. Even if I need an engineering degree to use it. Either way, I'm thinking of hosting a steampunk coffee night here. Gears, top hats, and Victorian era outfits. You know, for something different, seriously. More steampunk. When will it end? Well, Chris, you never know. You might actually enjoy dressing up. All right, fine. I have to admit, this is fun. I told you so. Now, let's get some coffee. Just don't break the machine again, Nadia. No promises. Hey, you think we should tell Bruce about our little fix? Hey, maybe later. Besides, he seems to be finally enjoying himself. After the event, well, that was a huge success. And oddly, no machine malfunctions. Yeah, funny how that worked out. Actually, Bruce, there's something we have to tell you. What's that? We kind of tweaked the settings on the machines. Just a bit. It was all for the best, honestly. You did what? We. Um. Fix them. Boss, how dare you. Well, now we're the shop that accidentally brought the Beatles back to life. How's that for a claim to fame? I guess you could say they've come together over coffee. You know, that wouldn't make a bad slogan. Tourist hash, is it true? Did the Beatles really play here last night? Well, yes. They did. We had no idea it was going to happen. Tourist hash and the pics. They really turned the whole concert into a spectacle. Can we buy those special pics here? Uh, unfortunately not. Those were a rare. One time thing. But hey, we've still got their favorite drinks on the menu. Tourist hash, oh, wow. I'll have what George had yesterday. Excuse me. We've heard about the big event last night. Would you mind sharing your side of the story for our viewers at home? A TV interview. This might be my ticket out of being a barista. We're all just along for this crazy ride, right? Let's just try to keep things respectable. Remember happy baristas, happy customers. So, was the unique performance deliberate or just a happy accident? Well, it was an isolated incident, but luck seemed to be on our side that night. Our motto is all about maintaining good vibes in the shop, so we're just pleased that everything turned out great. It was a magical experience that none of us will ever forget. And how has this newfound fame affected Carbon Coffee? Business has definitely picked up, and we've noticed a lot more tourists coming in. It's been overwhelming, but we're always ready to welcome new customers with open arms and a warm cup of coffee. Guys, I just got another TV offer. They want me to come in for a cooking segment next week. That's amazing. All of this newfound success may lead us down entirely new paths. Hey, if anyone could turn their 15 minutes of fame into something special, it would be you, Olivia. Paul McCartney, I can't believe what a phenomenon you folks have become since our show. John Lennon, we should have played here sooner. Well, if you ever decide to make this your go-to venue... I'd be more than happy to play matchmaker with those guitar picks once again. Speaking of tailor-made creations, Bruce, have you considered a starfish cappuccino too? Why not? We can put actual starfish on top. The presentation would be amazing. And let's not forget a jellyfish macchiato. Just don't get stung by the whipped cream. You're too much. I could use some creative minds like you on my team. Well, if you ever need a seaweed supplier or two. No, we'll stick to making weird coffee concoctions. Thank you very much. We've got a reputation to uphold. Archie, an ambitious but somewhat naive barista, enters the coffee shop and approaches Chris. Hey Chris, did you hear about that new cafe that just opened down the street? 
They've got foamy dolphin lattes you can swim around the cup. We may have some serious competition. Or inspiration. I'm picturing a clownfish cortado, colorfully swirled with food dye. Oh, I like the sound of that one. Do we really want to be that coffee shop known for fish-inspired drinks though? With ideas like these, how can we not? Besides, it's a niche market. Elderly customer excuse me, dear, but do you happen to serve any crab cake lattes? Guys, I think our reputation is catching on. Crab cake lattes? I mean, why not add a lobster bisque one while we're at it? Throw in a shrimp scampi cappuccino, and now you've got a menu. We might need a seafood license at this rate. Great. Our cafe is going to smell like low tide. Elderly customer, what a unique idea. I'll tell my friends in the seniors community about it. We're always looking for a fun new spot for our meetings. Olga, excuse me, can I please get an iced coffee? Just plain iced coffee? I'm afraid that's... Remember when we used to just serve coffee? Oh, the old days. Who knew we'd end up here? Growth is necessary for success. As is a good cup of coffee. Wow, you should write that down. Groundbreaking. He's already writing everything else down. Speaking of which, how's that project coming along, Jensen? Better than I ever expected. You guys have been a great help. Think she'll figure out we have a basement now. Only if she finds the secret entrance behind the bookshelf. You do realize there's a sign, right? I prefer to think of it as an adventure. New customer excuse me, is there anywhere else to sit besides the main floor? Ah, let me show you to the cappuccino cosmos. New customer the what? Welcome to Carbon Coffee, where up is down and coffee is cosmos, apparently. Bruce proudly shows the new space to the customer, who takes to it immediately. Enjoy your exploration of the cosmos. New customer this place is amazing. I'll definitely be back. That's what we like to hear. Well, someone's finally happy with our new basement. If my software continues performing this well, I might even look into opening my own office nearby. Maybe we could collaborate more often and make this a truly creative hub. Wow, aren't you ambitious? That's the spirit. We need more people like Jensen in this world. World domination through caffeine and creativity. There are definitely worse ways. Ah, here comes our... Have you seen our boss running around like a headless chicken? He's going to make us trip on all these cords. All for the sake of ZZ Top, huh? All I know is that if he asked me to grow a beard, I'm out. You think you could pull off the beard look better than me? I wouldn't bet against it. As long as we're not competing for most grizzled barista. Hey, Olivia, any chance we can call these specialty drinks something more original? Why mess with perfection, Chris? Sharp dressed man mockers? Really? I thought they had a nice ring to them. Are these lights supposed to be flickering like this? Who doesn't enjoy a nice strobe light at their local coffee shop? What's taking them so long? Be patient, they don't even know they're performing. You think famous rock bands just show up and play gigs like this all the time? Joke's on them. They don't realize my cousin's boyfriend works at the venue they're playing tonight. They think I'm psychic. Is that how you knew? A magician never reveals his secrets. Please. Tell me you like LaGrange lattes. Are you all okay with the light situation? Great. Unless they burn the place down. Chris. That fire almost toasted my eyebrows off. Oh, don't worry. You could always draw them back on. That's true. It'd go well with the beard look we were discussing earlier. You both did an amazing job handling that situation. The shop's intact, and now we've got a ZZ Top performance under our belt. Yeah, it was pretty thrilling. Anyway, be right back. I have to go return Cousin Joey's text. Just another day at Carbon Coffee. Guys, guys. You won't believe what just happened. Bruh, calm down. Your veins are going to pop out. What's up, boss? Ornit Sioni just called me. He's bringing TV producers here tomorrow. They're scouting for a new comedy show set in a coffee shop. How cool is that? That's awesome, but why the panic attack? We need to make sure everything is perfect for their visit. We can't mess this up. Relax, Bruce. We got this. Plus, a hilarious banter is what they'll really be interested in. Exactly. 
so just be yourself. Well, maybe tone it down a notch. This place still looks like a disaster. Where did all these crumbs come from? Crumbs? Quick, call the health department. Don't worry, Bruce. It's a coffee shop. People expect some crumbs. Welcome, welcome. Please have a seat right here. Can I get you anything to drink? How about some snacks? Producer hash Bruce, right? Just relax. We're here to observe, not judge your hosting skills. Oh, okay. So sorry. Did you know that coffee is the second most traded commodity in the world? Talk about being commitment. It's a brutal thing, isn't it? Ouch. Hot, hot, hot. Smooth move, Bruce. Just add some ice and you've got a great iced coffee. Outfit? Producer hash I think carbon coffee might be our next hit show. You guys really have something special here. Thank you, thank you so much. We can't believe this is happening. I just heard from the producers. They loved all of you, especially your ability to find humor in even the most stressful situations. That's what we do best. I mean, we work with Bruce. Thanks for everything, Oi. Without you, this opportunity would have never come our way. It was my pleasure. You're a hilarious group of people, and I'm confident you'll make a great comedy show. Did you hear about the Italian chef that died? He passed away. Okay, Bruce, don't push your luck. Stick to being the charmingly clumsy boss. Fine, but my stockpile of dad jokes remains ready and waiting if needed. Chris, did you see who just walked in? Our favorite customer, Elizabeth Blackburn. And her entire entourage of unicyclists. You two should be focused on work, not moving around. We've got a shop full of customers. Is that who I think it is? They must be here to do a story on our amazing coffee. Or maybe they're here to interview Elizabeth Blackburn, since she's kind of a big deal. Watch this. Local news anchor excuse me, sir. We're trying to conduct an interview over here. Yes, of course. I apologize for the inconvenience. Local news anchor. So, Elizabeth, tell us how Carbon Coffee has become your go-to spot for inspiration. Elizabeth Blackburn. Well, besides their delicious coffee, I always find myself entertained by the hilarious antics of Olivia and Chris here. They keep things lively. Local news anchor. Interesting. So, do you think their comedic energy fuels your creativity and work? Elizabeth Blackburn. Absolutely. It's the perfect blend, just like their coffee. Um, you too. Thanks for keeping our customers entertained. But let's make sure we're still focused on serving quality coffee. Continuous from the previous scene. Hey Chris, what's a coffee's favorite music genre? I don't know. Olivia. What is it? Bean B. Who was that barista who got arrested for stealing coffee beans? Enlighten us, Bruce. A brugler. You know, my coffee maker at home is just like my Fortnite skills. How so? Pretty much a brutal experience. Olivia, would you get a drink with me? Just so we're clear, I'd be paying for your poor chase. Fine, but only if I can pay the tip. I wouldn't want you to pour K up all the money by yourself. Bruce Deal. Why did the coffee beans start going to therapy? Why? Because it had too many grounds for concern. What's harder to catch than mono? Tell me. Espresso Lee when it's on the run a cup of coffee. Why did the latte go broke? No clue. Because it had zero bucks. Speaking of which, what is our favorite type of financial investment? I don't know, Olivia. What is it? Ground coffee. You can accumulate pretty high interest from customers. Caffeine addicts are usually so good at board games. Why is that? Because they're always good at playing for keeps. What do you call a cow that just gave birth and has a caffeine addiction? Tell us, decaffeinated. So this guy walks into a coffee shop, you know, like ours, orders a cappuccino, takes a sip, and realizes the barista spit in his cup. That's nasty. He gets furious and walks up to the barista, demanding an apology. The barista casually replies, sir. So Bruce, you're saying the sounds of laughter will power the entire coffee shop? 
Everything? You betcha, Olivia. And I have complete faith in you and Chris to make it happen. I don't know about this. Seems a bit far-fetched, even for you, Bruce. What do you mean far-fetched? We are a hilarious duo. Yeah, Chris, you two are definitely the right people for the job. Now get out there and make our customers laugh. Why did the coffee go to the police? I don't know, why? It got mugged. Wow, it actually works. Of course it does. Keep the laughter coming, you too. Excuse me, folks, can't you see we only serve tea here? College students, but this is a coffee shop. All right, all right, here's your coffee. You know, ladies, coffee can keep you looking young. Elderly woman hash really. How so? Because it's chock full of beans idescent humor. Coworker rough day at the office? No cappuccino for me, just a straight espresso. Need to stay sharp for the boss, you know? Welcome to Carbon Coffee, where our caffeine will keep you buzzing all day long. Buzzing like a bee on a sugar high. Nah, more like an intern who's been asked to fetch coffee 12 times in one morning. Tim Cook enters. Look who just came in. It's Mr. iPhone himself, Tim Cook. I see him. Let's make the best latte Apple money can buy. Protester Java exploitation is no joke. Workers need their rights. I hear your concerns. We're here to help, through comedy. We call it the Java Jamboree. Did he just say what I think he did? Yep. Buckle up. Behold, our sketch about the challenges faced by coffee workers worldwide. Hello, I'm Boss Bean. I manage the coffee plantation and pay everyone fairly. But only when pigs fly. You must be Worker Brown, trying to support a family on these low wages. That's got to be bean searingly difficult. Yes, Mr. Bean. I have to ration my beans and even turn them into bean-based footwear for my kids. And I'm middleman macchiato, skimming off the top before these beans reach the market. Protester they may be making us laugh, but we can't forget the real problems these workers face. Oh, we agree. In fact, our next bit highlights the environment these workers toil in. Mr. Bean, when are you going to install air conditioning? I'm roasting out here. Fear not, worker brown. We have plenty of iced coffee to cool off with. Ah, but will it be enough for our thirsty customers? Protester what does that accomplish? It might not seem like much, but we stand by our cause. One latte at a time. Here's your freshly brewed sign action. We're sorry about the spill, but we promise to pay more attention to the global impact of our coffee sources. Tim Cook you've showed us all that serious issues can be tackled effectively, and humorously. Well done, thank you, Tim. And remember everyone laughter is the cream in our coffee. With a smile. Ugh. I cannot believe our supplier messed up this badly. I know, right? It's like they want us to go out of business or something. Hey guys, stressing over it won't change anything. Let's just focus on finding a solution. Daniel Kahneman excuse me. If we're all really desperate, maybe we can find a temporary source of beans nearby? That's not a bad idea, Daniel. But where would we find someplace like that in such short notice? Huh? Maybe there's another business that could offer us a bulk purchase at a slightly higher price? Or maybe there's a group of local people who grow their own coffee and might be willing to sell it to us. Well, only one way to find out. Let's start making some calls. Hey everyone. You'll never guess what happened. I was just visiting my cousin's farm, and he mentioned that he had some extra coffee beans he'd be happy to sell us. That's amazing news, Julie. I think we've been saved. Alright, let's not get too excited yet. How much coffee are we talking about here? Oh, I don't know. Maybe enough to last us for a month? A month? That's fantastic. Okay, so it's not a permanent solution, but it's definitely a start. Let's put together a group of volunteers to pick up the beans. Daniel Kahneman. It's fascinating how this crisis has brought us all together. It seems that even the smallest obstacles can lead to the most powerful connections. That's true, Daniel. It's unfortunate that it took something like this for us to realize how much we all care about this little coffee shop and its community. Well, let's make sure we don't forget this lesson. The coffee bean crisis shall forever live on in our memories. Yeah, this is.
So, what crazy coffee experiment is on the agenda today? Funny you should ask, Olivia. I've been thinking about combining cocoa powder with coffee grounds to see if we can create a mocha espresso. Of course you have, Bruce. Because plain coffee isn't enough anymore. Hey, we're not your average coffee shop, Chris. We need to offer something unique and innovative. Guys, you have to see this. What's got you so worked up, Max? It's called Fusion Brew. It's this insane brewing method I found on a viral video online. You won't believe it. Let me see that. Doesn't Fusion Brew sound a little dangerous? And unnecessary. Our coffee is good enough without resorting to weird science experiments. Nonsense. This is revolutionary. And it's exactly what Carbon Coffee needs to set us apart. The cheeky made a special request. He wanted something nice to follow on with. Hey, did you guys hear about that new invention? The one that brews coffee through talking? What? No way. Oh, come on. That's got to be the most ridiculous thing I've heard today. Trust me. How crazy would it be if we could just yell out espresso and then bam. Espresso already made. Speaking of which, anyone else feel like we're forgetting something important? Well, if it's not electric espresso related, then I have no idea. Customer hey. What's that solar mocha all about? It's out of this world delicious. And we guarantee it'll boost your productivity like never before. Customer O, oh, give me one of those caffeine surge lattes, please. Your wish is my command. In the meantime, I heard this joke on my way to work today. Why did the coffee file a police report? Customer no idea. Why? Because it got mugged. So, what do you guys think about going big with this? Like, really big? You mean like a franchise? Not sure if we're ready for that just yet. Or maybe you guys could go mobile. Have you ever thought about starting your own food truck? A coffee truck. That's brilliant. In the same breath, they want to pay top dollars to be told what they like and what they don't. So it seems to me this confusion is a human error. We keep allowing this to grow. All right, everyone huddle up for our morning pep talk. Fantastic. I can hardly contain my excitement. Oh boy. Let's hear what Bruce has to say. Oh, you guys are just too kind. Okay, okay, back to business. First order of the day, we're changing up the menu today. We're now only serving coffee with phobias. You mean, cappuccino phobia? Or perhaps decaffeinate them. Very funny. I was thinking more along the lines of CAF ear demonia, S scare SO and don't even forget about French dread. So, Olivia, did you hear about the squirrel that got stuck in the air vent last night? Are you serious? How on earth did a squirrel manage that? Hey, they're crafty little creatures. What happened, Bruce? Well, apparently it tried to pull a nut out of the vent but realized halfway through that it had picked up a plastic replica. No way. Like that one mysterious fake nut that's been sitting by the plant in the corner? Oh, that poor squirrel. Did it make it out safely? Yeah, it actually made its way back out as soon as it realized the nut was a fake. Aubrey de Grey. Well, you guys are just so helpful. As an added, thank you. I thought I'd treat you all to a sneak preview of some experimental coffee flavors I've been working on. Experimental, huh? Color us treat. Yeah, I can't wait to try them. What have you got in store for our taste buds? Aubrey de Grey since you guys are into crazy drink names, I thought you'd appreciate these fieros, tiramisu latte, and cream and screaming. Aubrey, you're too much. We'd love to try them. And Bruce saves the day once again. What's next for our fearless leader? Well, First, I'll finish this coffee, then I'll save the world. Oh, we're definitely in safe hands now. So, who's gonna kick off our karaoke night, boss? Leave it to me. I'll make sure our grand opening is a massive hit. Just don't sing, please. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever caffeinated karaoke night at Carbon Coffee. Casually walking up to the conversation. Actually, yes. Our dear guest was just suggesting some ideas for future events here. Glad to help. I really enjoyed the comedy contest, and I'd love to see this place offer even more unique experiences. Home, maybe we could have poetry readings or local band performances? Both excellent ideas. You never know what kind of talent you might discover right here in your own cafe. How about we throw in a talent show as well? When it gets free coffee for a month, now that's an idea. We could showcase all sorts of talents. Wow, 
Who would have ever thought our little coffee shop would become such a hot spot? Clearly, the work of experienced event planners. I couldn't have done it without you too. Our teamwork is what makes this place shine. To an incredible first year and many more to come. Cheers. Cheers. Can you believe it's been a whole year already? Time flies when you're having fun and serving great coffee. Whoa, is that lady juggling flaming baguettes? L. Morning, Chris. How's your day going? Just another day. How was your date last night? Oh, you know, same old. He spent the evening talking about his collection of antique can openers. Good morning, team. Ready for another exciting day at Carbon Coffee? As ready as we'll ever be, Bruce. So, any great new ideas to bring in more customers? How about a loyalty program? Every tent coffee could be free. Interesting idea. Does it involve puzzles or riddles? Not necessarily, Bruce. Well, keep brainstorming then. Hey, guys. I just heard from my cousin that there's this new escape room downtown with amazing coffee-themed puzzles. We should all go check it out. That actually sounds fun. Did someone say puzzles? Yeah, there's an escape room downtown with coffee-themed puzzles. Want to join us? You know I never pass up a good puzzle. This is genius. Why don't we have something like this at Carbon Coffee? Imagine the crowds we could draw. Bruce, not everything has to be about puzzles. But think of the possibilities, Olivia. All right, team. I have been inspired. We're going to take our coffee shop to the next level with the great puzzle door. The what now? Bruce unveils the puzzle door, as described in the original scene. Chris and Olivia are sitting at a table during a break, watching customers try and fail at the puzzle door. You know, despite its inherent ridiculousness, that door is actually bringing in more business. Yeah, I hate to admit it, but Bruce might be onto something here. Oh, absolutely. Nothing screams quality service like a coin explosion. Mary Barra. Thank you. I love coming to Carbon Coffee. You all really brighten my mornings with your humor and positive energy. And this loyalty reward program is a great idea. Well, thank you, Ms. Barra. It's always a pleasure serving you. Hello there, good beans make good coffee. Let's hope the beans here are twins. I mean, as good looking as that guy over there. Thanks. I guess. Oh, boy. The things we hear at Carbon Coffee. I'll have the espresso explosion. Extra shot, please. I think I need something stronger than these scattered rewards coins your clumsy staff threw around. You got it. One espresso explosion, coming right up. Is it just me, or is it a little strange that guy said our beans should be as good looking as me? Well, maybe it's a compliment? You should take it as one. Or maybe he thinks you're a human pinto bean, minus the human part. You know what we need on this menu? What now, Bruce? A tofu cappuccino. Actually, that sounds interesting. No, no, listen. We need our own wild and crazy signature drink. I want something that screams carbon coffee craziness. Isn't our customer service crazy enough? Ricky Gervais, oh, I've got an idea for you. How about a chocolate chipotle mocha? Not bad, not bad. But maybe even crazier. What if we add bacon bits? Ew, really? Chris? And who are we trying to impress with this strange concoction anyway? It's not about impressing anyone. It's about creating something uniquely carbon coffee. Ricky Gervais, I like the way you think. Bruce, I got it. How about a spicy sriracha latte? Might as well just pour hot sauce in their coffee. Now that's an idea. All right, I'm on board. Let's brainstorm some more ideas. Yes. So maybe we can infuse our coffee beans with lavender and habanero? That sounds intense ricky gervais why not infuse humor into your drinks like calling a blend the marmite of coffees that could work wait you're ricky gervais ricky gervais guilty as charged but enough about me let's continue with these brilliant coffee ideas okay so the spicy sriracha latte is out 
what are our other contenders? Well, we've got the balsamic vinegar espresso, maple and mustard macchiato, and the lavender pesto cappuccino. I'm honestly worried about food poisoning our customers. Ricky Gervais don't worry, I'll be your guinea pig. Let's start blending and see where it takes us. To carbon coffee craziness. Ricky, Olivia, Chris to carbon coffee craziness. You wouldn't believe what I saw in the park this morning. Oh, do tell. Another interpretive dance class? As long as it's not those pantomime squirrels again. Even better. They were doing yoga. With their pets. What? How does that even work? Beats me, but it was a sight to see. Renee Brown morning, everyone. Olivia, Bruce, Chris good morning, Renee. Renee Brown I just can't get enough of that last book discussion you guys hosted here. So inspiring, we're glad you enjoyed it. Isn't it funny how we turned that nightmare plumbing incident into something so enriching? You know, if you win our in-house competition, maybe you can finally get that espresso machine you've been eyeing for months. Oh, you mean the one you've been hiding from me because you want it? Alright, guys. The in-house competition is judged by our customers. May the best barista win. Let's make this interesting. Loser has to wear a fruit hat for a week. You're on, the competition looks intense. What did we get ourselves into? Just another day in our brutal chaos. These coffee beans are like trying to wrangle an army of ninja squirrels. Come on, Bruce. Channel your inner fruit hat. Bruce, you've got this. Don't forget our secret weapon, the winning personality. Well, if that's what it takes, consider me armed and dangerous. Customer, your shop is now an overnight success. How does it feel? To be honest, it's a bit overwhelming but we love it. Yeah, we weren't prepared for these fruit hat wearing crowds, but we wouldn't have it any other way. I wonder what crazy antics we Don't worry, guys. This setback is nothing a little laughter can't fix, right? Absolutely, Bruce. People love laughing at the messes they create online. And you really think that's going to make people want this concoction? Trust me, Olivia. Laughter is infectious. We just need the right hook. Ginny Remedi well, count me in, gang. I'm always up for a good laugh at the expense of the internet. Customer hey, what are you guys up to? Creating the next big viral sensation. Customer now, who wouldn't want to watch that? That's it. We've got something here. It's comedy gold. I have to agree with Bruce, Olivia. This might actually boost the sales of the rainbow cotton candy frappuccinos. Ginny Rometty this could be the start of something amazing, my friends. Let's spread some socially brute chaos. DMC underscore rocks I hope there's a hilarious video being filmed here. Can I join in? The more, the merrier. Just grab a rainbow frappuccino and enter the chaos. Still not sure about the rainbow disaster, but I have to admit, it's a pretty funny video. See, Olivia? All it took was a little laughter at the chaos of social media to pull everyone together. And we could do this with every new product launch. Just imagine the possibilities. Anyway, a cappuccino and a pirate's treasure for the gentleman in the back. Very well. Coming right up. Ahoy lads and lassies. Welcome to Carbon Coffee. How may I assist you on this fine day? Customer this pirate thing is hilarious. Are you doing any special drinks today? Aye. We have Siren Song, a formidable iced caramel latte with a seafoam whip, and Captain's Brew, our darkest roast that would make Blackbeard proud. Customer. And don't forget free eye patches. Very fashionable. Of course. Eye patches for everyone. The Beatles thank you very much for the amazing coffee. You know. These ghostly giggles did give us a good laugh. Do you guys hear them often around here? Oh no, first time. We were actually trying to figure out what was causing it. Well, if you ever need some backup in your investigations, you know where to find us. What do you mean? It didn't work. We found your little ghostly device. Well, at least you had some fun, right? Name's Andy, by the way. Nice to meet you, Andy. Good luck with your comedy career. So, what do you think? Pirate themed open mic night? I like it. 
Let's start planning. What about costumes? Is there some sort of treasure hunt we can do? Or maybe a pirate shanty sing-along? Excellent ideas, team. Let's show them what Carbon Coffee has to offer. Hold on. One more joke before you go. What's a pirate's favorite coffee shop? Starbucks. Well done, Paul. Maybe we could perform here at the pirate-themed open mic night. We've always wanted to learn an authentic sea shanty or two. You'd be most welcome. Thank you all for your support. Customer did I hear right that the Beatles will be performing at the open mic night? It appears so. Word travels fast. Make sure not to miss it. It'll be a great time. Hey guys, if you're hosting a comedy night, could I, you know, audition, Bruce. Hey, Olivia, Chris, did you see the spike in crypto values last night? We're about to swim in profits. Ah, uh, don't you mean drown in your overambitious investments, Bruce? But, got to say, though, I kind of agree with Olivia on this one. Wait and see, my young apprentices, wait and see. If you say so, oh crypto master. You know, you two should really consider getting on board with this. The future is digital. Just like the tips we've been getting ever since you switched the tip jar to an online wallet? Good point. Haven't seen a single boost in earnings since then. Well, customers just need time to adapt. You'll see. Speaking of new customers, have you checked out Dogecoin today? It's skyrocketing. What? Seriously? I need to check my portfolio. Oh yeah, and a unicorn just walked by carrying a leprechaun. And Bruce bought it. Hook, line, and sinker. Very funny, you too. Hey, remember when I first told you guys about Bitcoin? And you thought I was crazy? As opposed to now, when we know you're crazy. Got him again. One day, it will be me laughing. One day. I have to admit, your coffee shop has really taken off since we partnered up for economics and espresso. It's quite impressive. Well, we couldn't have done it without your input and expertise, Paul. But I do still wonder, why did you decide to help us out in the end? Oh, I might be a bit of a crypto skeptic, but I'm always eager to help passionate people succeed. And, to be honest, I didn't want to see you lose everything over some unpredictable investments. Overhearing you tell Olivia and Chris that same thing inspired me to step back and focus on growing this business instead. Flattery will get you everywhere, Krugman. And it also didn't hurt that we finally switched the tip job back to the good old-fashioned cash collection. Not a word about crypto for the rest of the day, or I'll raise your share of cleaning duties for the week. Olivia and Chris Dio. I've got to ask, Bruce, do you ever miss the crypto game? Sometimes. There's something exhilarating about riding the ups and downs of an unpredictable market. But building this coffee shop into one of the top spots in town is its own kind of thrill, honestly. Thanks, but I think I'm better suited for fighting crime one cappuccino at a time. And making a mess while he's at it. I'll be honest, I didn't expect Captain Caffeine to save the day. Captain Caffeine is always full of surprises, just like our coffee. No kidding. Well, I better get going. Can't let the world wait for my crucial business expertise. Good afternoon, dear. May I have a cup of your famous Captain Caffeine brew? Today's title is Cappuccino Crusader. It's amazing what Bruce comes up with. That man is just too creative. Another successful day of serving coffee and justice here at Carbon Coffee. Let's just hope tomorrow is less eventful. Help! My cat is stuck in the tree across the street. She won't come down. A life is in jeopardy. Karen, a no-nonsense businesswoman in her ass, storms into the shop, followed closely by her loyal assistants, Beth and Jason. I need a triple shot espresso, stack. I just had to suffer through an hour-long conference call with nothing but decaf. Ooh, the horrors. It's not that serious. She's just angry because our boss won't let her wear a cape at work. Oh really? Does Captain Caffeine know about this new sidekick? Really? A cape enthusiast among us? Yes, and a damn good one at that. Capes make everything more exciting. My fellow cape crusader, we must unite. The world needs more people like us. Bruce? Not only are you still dressing like a hero, but I see you're missing your trademark cape today. Captain Caffeine has to wash his cape occasionally. Good thing it's not a really windy day, or you'd be missing out on those dramatic cape flutters. Lucy, a shy year old, enters the coffee shop with her father, Tony. 
Her eyes light up when she sees Bruce in his superhero getup. Daddy, is he a real superhero? I guess you could say that. He's Captain Caffeine. Can I have your autograph, Captain Caffeine? Of course. But remember. Good morning, Bruce. Loving the shirt. Thanks, Olivia. You know, a bit of swagger never hurt anybody. Swagger. From a shirt that says Quantum Barista, you're just jealous that I can pull it off. Speaking of pulling things off, who's the mysterious customer in the corner? Oh, that's Katy Perry. Katy Perry? Are you serious? Gosh, what a day this is going to be. All right. Who let the dogs in? Don't you mean, who let the dogs out? Forget about that saying. I have an idea. Let's hold an impromptu dog talent show. Free coffee for life to whoever wins. Really, Bruce? A dog talent show? That sounds chaotic. You know what, Chris? It's so crazy, it might just work. Welcome everyone to Carbon Coffee Shop's first ever canine talent show. Be prepared to be amazed, entertained and, yes, quite possibly covered in fur. Alright, our first act is going to be Fluffy and his owner Susan. Fluffy will show off his incredible balancing talents, on two legs. I didn't know dogs could even do that. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet, Chris. Everyone, please remain calm. We'll clean up this mess in no time. I don't think I've ever mopped up this much coffee so quickly. I guess my idea wasn't so great after all. Hey, mister. You dropped this. Thank you, kid. I needed that. Well, after that wild turn of events, we have finally reached a decision. And the winner of the Carbon Coffee Canine Talent Show is... Nugget. Owned by our very own Katy Perry. I must say, today really showed the power of caffeine and canines. You know, Chris, I've always wondered, what's the meaning behind the name Carbon Coffee? Well, Olivia, the truth is that it all started because we burned the beans. Just kidding. It actually stems from the idea that carbon is the basis of all life, just like coffee is our lifeblood here. Ah, the lifeblood indeed. Speaking of which, I have a meeting with a potential new supplier this afternoon. Can't let the lifeblood run dry. GPTA. And we all know how picky Bruce can be when it comes to the coffee beans. Remember the time he nearly refused an entire shipment because he swore he smelled a hint of hazelnut in the beans? Oh yeah. He practically interrogated the delivery driver for hours, as if I'd ever let some par beans enter these sacred walls. GPTA. Anyway, back to the treasure hunting business. What do you guys think about creating kits and selling them to our customers so they could host their own raccoon tail themed treasure hunts? That's brilliant. We can offer various levels of difficulty and themes based on age groups. I like it. We could design different maps and clue sets for each level. GPT-8 I'm thrilled everyone's on board. While I help Bruce prepare for his meeting, why don't you two get started on designing the kits? On it. How about you, Chris? Ready for some map making action? Let's do it. The meeting went well. It seems we may have a reliable new supplier. How's the progress on the treasure hunt kits? We've come up with some fantastic ideas. We're just sorting out the finer details now. Yeah, GPT-8 helped us brainstorm themes during that break. There were so many great options. GPT-8. We're thinking about having themes like Pirate Raccoon, the Raccoon Bandit's Lost Loot, and more whimsical ones like the Raccoons of Candyland. That sounds amazing. All right, let's wrap things up for the day and reconvene tomorrow morning to discuss the marketing strategy for the treasure hunt kits. Great work, team. You guys have no idea the treasure trove I've found in my storage room. No way. Yesterday was Raccoon Tales. What did you find today? Ta-da! Raccoon Masks. Perfect for. Hey Chris, did you hear about the Unibarcalypse rumor? I heard it's coming our way. Are you talking about those mythical creatures that are half dog, half unicorn? That's ridiculous. Wait, you guys are talking about the Unibarks? Well, apparently they're on a quest for the most delicious coffee in the world. Some even say they bring magical powers to those who serve them. Really? Man, we gotta get ready for their arrival. So, 
Do you think these uni box like their coffee black or with cream and sugar? I don't know, but if they really do exist and have magical powers, maybe we should start practicing some spells of our own. It's Led Zeppelin. Hey, it's Led Zeppelin. How can we help you guys today? Robert Plant, we've heard about your amazing coffee and just had to stop by. Plus, we're here to inform you about the so-called uni barkalips. You know about the uni barks? Jimmy Page, of course. You see, we were simply spreading the word, part of a little social experiment, if you will. So, it was you guys who started the entire uni bark rumor. Robert Plant, indeed. But don't worry, there aren't any real mythical creatures coming for your coffee. Though we do think it's magical. I've got to say, despite the uni bark confusion, this has been the most exciting day in carbon coffee history. And hey, at least we got to serve magic coffee to Led Zeppelin. Jimmy Page. You know, you guys have a really special thing going on here at Carbon Coffee. We'll make sure to tell our friends to come by next time they're in the area. That's so kind of you, thank you. It's the least we can do after you brought so much excitement into our lives with the little uni bar coax. Robert Plant. Oh, it was our pleasure. The amount of fun and laughter it brought is something we'll always cherish. What if we turn this uni bark rumor into something good for the coffee shop? Maybe we can become known for having mythical coffee, and we could host open mic nights or art gatherings for local artists and musicians. That's an amazing idea. It would attract even more people to the coffee shop and create a vibrant community space for everyone to enjoy. And that's why it's essential we make efforts to reduce our carbon footprint. Because, eventually, there won't be any ice. But don't you think getting rid of ice would put an end to all those stupid polar bear memes? Gather around, people. The future has arrived. What's got you so worked up, Bruce? I have acquired a batch of the world's first carbon neutral coffee beans. They call it, beans from the future. Okay, that's pretty cool. But how do we know these beans live up to the hype? The supplier guarantees it. We'll be the first coffee shop in town to offer such an eco-friendly option. We'll be famous. What's all this about? Bruce claims to have acquired some carbon-neutral coffee beans. He's calling them beans from the future. Carbon-neutral coffee beans. That sounds rather implausible. Well, it's absolutely true. And we're going to start serving them right now. I don't like this. Something's not right. I agree. We should stop serving these beans until we figure out what's going on. Let me take some of these beans back to my lab and run some tests. I'll return as soon as I have some answers. I've discovered the problem. These beans contain a rare allergen that causes some people to cough. It's not dangerous, but it certainly isn't pleasant. What? That can't be. The supplier promised me. Well, there's always a catch when you're dealing with beans from the future, right? Bruce? We have to tell our customers the truth and stop serving these beans. We can't compromise their health. Besides, there are other ways we can promote sustainability and eco-friendliness here at the shop. You're right. Thank you, Avi. I'll call the supplier and see what we can do. Okay, what if we start using only compostable cups and utensils? Great idea, Chris. And we could also implement a discount for customers who bring their own reusable cups. This place has truly flourished since you started implementing these new practices. I'm so proud to be a customer here. And we couldn't have done it without your help, Avi. That's right. So, here's to a brighter, eco-friendly future for carbon coffee. Great news everyone. We've just got an email from a local high school. They want us to give a presentation on sustainability in our coffee shop. Oh man, that's fantastic. We really made a name for ourselves, haven't we? Definitely. Our hard work is finally paying off. Well, I'm happy to have contributed in some way. Guys, keep up the good work. All right, team. Let's plan this presentation. We've got to knock it out of the park. So, what if each of us focuses on a particular aspect of sustainability? Chris, you can talk about the importance of recycling and our switch to compostable materials. Perfect. And, Olivia. You can discuss renewable energy and how we implemented solar panels at the shop. Sounds like a plan. What about you, Bruce? What will your topic be, Bruce? (laughs) 
You know, I've never surfed in my life, but this makes me want to give it a try. Yeah. Who knew a coffee shop could inspire such an adventurous spirit? I mean, if surfing is anything like brewing the perfect cup of coffee, we've basically got it covered. Yes, because balance, coordination, and skill are definitely transferable between those two activities. Speaking of skill, I've come up with a new drink idea. The Surfer's Delight. It has a bit of coconut milk and pineapple syrup mixed with a cold brew coffee. That sounds amazing. I might even be able to make some sort of sand like topping out of crushed biscotti. Oh, you guys are just full of surprises today. Bruce, we do what we can to keep the magic alive. Regular customer, I don't know how you came up with that topping, but it's brilliant. Do you think you could whip up something similar for my usual latte? Of course. It would be an honor to sand up your beverage. Regular customer, well done. I love this place. Not everyone is loving it like they should, though. Oh. Who is that? I'm not sure, but they don't seem to appreciate our creative efforts. Don't worry, I'll handle this. Hey there. Welcome to Carbon Coffee Shop. Is everything alright? This whole beach thing is ridiculous. A coffee shop should just serve coffee without all the theatrics. I understand where you're coming from, and know that we still take our coffee very seriously. But isn't it more fun with a bit of humor and imagination? I guess I can see why some people might enjoy it. Weird idea. What if we started up a weekly comedy night here? With local comedians trying out their material? Now that's something I could get behind. Well, maybe we'll give it a shot. Thank you for showing us there's always a new way to connect with customers. So, then I said that's not a latte, that's my wife. Guys, I have to say, it's been a wild ride working here. Just when I think things can't get any stranger. Oh, you mean like the day Bruce tried to teach us how to juggle coffee mugs? Hey, it's an important skill. Gene Twangy as if one coffee disaster wasn't enough for you people, now you want another? Gene, your unwavering support means so much to us. Gene Twingy, but seriously, has anyone ever told you guys that this place is a sitcom waiting to happen? It's funny you should say that, Gene. Just yesterday, we had a guy come in asking if we catered birthday parties with our unparalleled coffee expertise. You call that a soy latte? That was the worst coffee I've ever tasted. Amy, please, give me another chance. All fruits. You're lucky it's just too darn hard to resist this place. Did someone order a sarcastic soy latte? No, but I'll take a slice of that lemon sarcasm pie of yours, Lucy. No price is very depending on the intensity and which chosen. Shall we put up an artistic beans at the floor sign? Hi Olivia. What have you guys got planned to top the great coffee bean avalanche of? Jean Twangy O, Susan. It was poetry in motion, if epic disaster poems are your thing. Hey Susan, we're trying to stay on the ground today. Just a typical day at Carbon Coffee featuring our unique chaos with a side of caffeine. Ow. We don't serve actual adrenaline shots, you sleepless zombie. Honestly, they might sell. So, what's the weirdest coffee request you've ever had here? There was this one guy who asked us to make him a coffee with exactly 54.35 grams of whipped cream on top. He wanted it down to the milligram. 54? Not even a nice round number like 55? I mean, we could always round up. It often feels like our typical day is out of a comedic sitcom. Reality contains more caffeine than fiction, after all. Gee. So, Waddle B. A normal coffee or something with a super twist. What do you mean, super twist? Welcome to Carbon Coffee. We're doing this insane Carbon Coffee caffeine capes thing. Capes? As in, superheroes? Yeah, sounds fun, right? Anyway, check out our new super menu. The Espresso Overdrive will save your day from drowsiness, while the Mochaccino Maverick will battle the bitterness of black coffee. Mochaccino Maverick it is. Remember to tag us when you post the pictures on social media. Hashtag Carbon Coffee Capers. Customer sure thing. Thanks for the cool cape. Don't forget to tell your friends. Into True Carbon Coffee Shop Larry Fink I'm back. Enjoying the craziness you guys started here. Well, we aim to please. And don't worry, we already have new ideas brewing. 
Want to join us in our next adventure? Larry think you bet. Have we officially lost our minds yet? It's just a bunch of adults dressed like budget superheroes. If losing my mind means more customers and joy, I'll take it. Besides, I think I saw Captain America texting about our shop the other day. All right, guys, we have a problem. Ideas, please. What if we make capes out of coffee bags? Or use filters to create fringe? Oh, I know. We could even use colorful straws as decorative elements. Great minds think alike. Let's get started. Customer, hey, I saw that you were out of capes earlier, but this improvised one is even cooler. Why, thank you. Made especially for you. Careful not to spill your spandex soy latte on that bad boy, though. Those positive reviews are pouring in like a well-steamed milk. Yeah, but let's keep our heads in the game. How about an Atomic Americano? With a dash of powdered sugar on top to really make it pop. I'll get to work on designing that caffeine cape right now. Customer, so how did you come up with this super menu idea? Honestly? It just popped into my head. We had such great feedback from customers wanting something unique, and then, bam, now look at us. Seriously, I love these kryptonite cafe lattes. I bet Superman doesn't appreciate the competition. You're right. Better watch our backs. Larry think I've been coming here every day. Look at this crowd. I can't believe so many people actually showed up. Yeah, it's almost as surprising as Bruce's outfit today. I heard that. And I'll have you know, this outfit is a tribute to George himself. Honestly, I'm just here because I saw this place on social media. I never knew there was such a thing as pop star coffee. Well, we like to think we're trendsetters here at Carbon Coffee. Enjoy your father figure mocha. Thank you, George Michael Newby? Don't worry. We got you covered. How about trying our careless whisper hazelnut latte? It's a classic. Thanks. I'll give it a shot. I never knew making pop star coffee could be this tiring. Pass me the whipped cream, will you? Sure thing. How many colors of whipped cream do we have again? You guys. I just got a call from George Michael's manager. Excuse me? Are you serious? Come on, Bruce. It's probably a prank call. No, really. George apparently heard about our little event here and wants to come check it out. In person. Well, this is one way to get an invitation for a cup of coffee. Oh my god, George. We're so incredibly honored that you came. Please, try any coffee you'd like, on the house. Keep up the good work, folks. I appreciate your creativity. Just think of it, caffeine inhalers, made possible by nanotechnology. A revolutionary way to get that morning coffee buzz. Does it come with a barcode tattoo so we can track our customers? Maybe while we're at it, we can have robots take our orders. Neil deGrasse Tyson. You know what they say about technology and progress. Sometimes mistakes help us discover breakthroughs. Keep the passion alive, just don't forget the human touch. Absolutely, Neil. Speaking of which, How's your conference going? Neil deGrasse Tyson Oh, it's been fascinating. The discussions we've had about AI, space exploration, and of course, nanotechnology, are mind-blowing. It's surreal to me that we're serving coffee to such an icon in the scientific community. Morning rush is starting. Time to rock and roll, my friends. Customer hey, isn't that Neil deGrasse Tyson sitting over there? Customer yep, he comes in here often. Must be quite the fan of carbon coffee. What if we created a drink that changed flavor every time someone took a sip? Like some sort of molecular gastronomy meets coffee. That might be cool, but imagine how long the line would be, waiting for everyone to marvel at their magical coffee. We'd be swamped with orders. And speaking of swamp, must we forget the great smoothie incident last year? Oh, how can I forget? Tripling up on blenders just to meet demand. The chaos was real. Neil deGrasse Tyson that's an excellent example of the importance of staying grounded and pragmatic when adapting new technology. Sometimes less is more, boss. Carbon coffee, night. One day, my friends, will not only change the coffee world but make incredible contributions to humanity. Carbon coffee, where ideas are born. You know, for being a mad genius, you are still just our quirky boss to us. We couldn't ask for anyone better though. Thanks.
So, Chris, I heard you went on a second date with that girl from the bookstore last night. How'd it go? Oh, it was interesting. She took me to a haunted house attraction. You must have been terrified. Hey, I only screamed twice. I believe you mean twice per room, right, Chris? Ha ha. Very funny. Bruce. Customer what's this extra spot option? It sounds electrifying. Why not give it a try and see if it gives your coffee a shocking twist? Customer alright, I'm game. Customer you know, the touchstone said my perfect drink would be a pumpkin spice latte, but I never order those. Well, maybe it's time to embrace your innovativeness. Customer you know what, why not? I'll give it a go. Now remember, the touchstone doesn't lie. Are you ready for its wisdom? Customer just let me touch the stone, Bruce. Alright, alright just making sure you're prepared to have your reality altered. Chris, remember that time you accidentally put chili powder in that guy's coffee instead of cinnamon? Oh man, I still can't believe he actually liked it. I guess we'll never know if the touchstone would have caught on to that bizarre combination. Speaking of unique tastes, Brené, what's the most unusual meal you've had during your travels? Hmm, I'd have to say fried tarantulas in Cambodia. Not something you forget easily. That sounds intense. I don't think I could do that. Customer the terrifying touchstone really knows what it's doing. This is the best chai latte I've ever had. It warms my heart to see another satisfied customer. Drink on, my friend. Well, folks, it's been quite a day with this touchstone thing. SF. Ah, the power of teamwork. That's right. We can only grow stronger from here. We may not have conquered the coffee world today, but at least we've got each other's backs. Ginny Rometty, you know, sometimes the best ideas come from accidents. Isn't that how penicillin was discovered? And microwave popcorn. Who knew so much good could come out of failure? Well, if one lesson came out of today, it's that we shouldn't be afraid to fail. Or spill a little coffee. Ginny Rometty, wise words, indeed. New customer so, I heard about this java jolt thing you guys had going last week. Sounds like quite the story, it certainly was. But we are moving past it and working on better ideas now. Yeah, in fact, we just launched the Espresso Enlightenment, it's a real fan favorite. New customer I'll give it a try then. Oh, hello there. Did someone order an Espresso Enlightenment? New customer I did. I've heard good things about this place, and I wanted to check it out for myself. Well, we promise to make your experience enlightening. New customer wow, this really is an eye-opener. Ginny Rometty ah, I see you've made progress since our last encounter. Of course, Ms. Rometty, we're always learning and adapting. What if we created a drink called Caramel Caffeine Cascade? That has potential, a perfect blend of sweetness and kick. As long as it doesn't cascade down on someone like last time. Ginny Rometty so, what did you guys come up with this week? Ms. Rometty, may I present to you the Caramelamane Cascade and several other concoctions, courtesy of many late-night brainstorm sessions between the three of us. It's been quite a ride coming up with these innovative coffee creations. We figured that there could be no more epic accidents, so why not push ourselves? Ginny Rometty you know, that's precisely the kind of thinking. What can I say? Everyone loves a little absurdity in their lives. Thanks for all your help today, guys. It's been absolutely crazy in here. It really has. But hey, it's all for great cause, right? That's right. And who knows, maybe one of these days, we'll stumble upon another life-changing idea. Michael Spector just don't make it too absurd this time. All right, all right, I've got our next big idea right here. Oh boy, here we go again. Feast your eyes on the decaf daredevil. I'm almost afraid to ask, but what's the decaf daredevil? Simple we dare people to chug an entire decaf espresso shot. If they finish it in under seconds, they get a free regular coffee. I mean, it's harmless. But why would anyone want to chug a decaf espresso shot? For the thrill of it. Or maybe just to impress their friends. Alright, why not? Let's give it a shot. As long as it doesn't get out of hand like last time. Michael Spector well, at least this idea isn't costing anyone their life savings. But it's still pretty ridiculous. Ridiculous is what we're good at. Keeps life interesting. Yeah, it's been fun watching people take on the decaf data. Plus, 
it's great seeing the shop so busy. Hey, just remember, I've got plenty more ideas where that came from. Be careful, Chris. I almost got smacked by your grapes. And miss out on an impromptu fruit salad? Never. Excuse me, could I get a triple shot caramel mocha latte with a dollop of whipped cream and a cherry on top, please? I'm sorry, sir, but we're fresh out of cherries. Would you prefer a sprinkle of nutmeg instead? Nutmeg on my latte? Now that's thinking outside the bean. Now, sir, are you sure it's wise to have so many flavors competing for dominance in that poor coffee cup? You know what they say, go bold or go home. And I definitely don't want to go home. Oh, absolutely. The bolder, the better here at Carbon Coffee. How else would we convince ourselves that these ridiculous hats are normal attire? If I may, I'd like to suggest replacing those hats with something more iconic. Pineapple hats, perhaps? You'll have people flocking in just to catch a glimpse of the mighty pineapple barista duo. Hey, that's not a bad idea. We'll run it by our boss, Bruce. He might actually love it. He's been considering redecorating anyway. Redecorating? You know that's all I've been thinking about. Pineapple hats, you say? Let's give it a try. Who would have thought a simple visit to a coffee shop could lead to the birth of the legendary pineapple baristas? Well, Michael, it seems like you have a talent for brewing up fresh ideas. Speaking of brewing, how are those nutmeg shavings treating your caramel mocha latte experience? It's actually quite delightful. The perfect blend of bitter, sweet, and spicy. Glad to hear it. Now, can I offer either of you gentlemen a pastry to complement your caffeinated beverages? We've got muffins, bagels, croissants, you name it. Hmm, a blueberry scone sounds perfect right about now. I'll take a cinnamon roll, please, with extra icing. A fine choice. You really saved our bacon this time, Hadi. You really know how to pour cold water on a tense situation. All that espresso has paid off in your reflexes, huh? Just protecting my life source. I mean, coffee. So what's going to happen to me now? You're going to clean up the mess you made, and then we'll see about calling the authorities. And here's your triple shot, extra hot, soy milk latte. Enjoy, and sorry about all this. I swear, nothing like this usually happens here. It's usually just good laughs and great coffee. I heard there was a hostage situation at Carbon Coffee. What happened here today? Well, Tiffany, it was quite a scene, a real brouhaha. Yeah, it was like something out of a Hollywood mocha. Or should I say, mocha, thank you again for your quick thinking, Hadi. How can I ever repay you? Free coffee for life? That might put us out of business. Chris. Well, that was insane. How did we just survive that? Thanks to you three, we averted utter catastrophe. I'm so grateful to all of you. It was a tough challenge, but combined, our resourcefulness managed to save the day. A good thing to remember for the next time one of your inventions causes chaos, Bruce. One thing's for sure, I never want to see that many bubbles again. You know what they say, Olivia, all good things come to an end and sometimes not so good ones, too. After yesterday's near disaster, I think it's safe to say that carbonated chaos had its time. And we'll leave it at that. No more experiments for a while. But don't let this discourage you, Bruce. You have a real talent for innovative ideas. Just make sure to run them through some safety tests first. Well then, who's up for a non-carbonated cappuccino? I'll take one. Listen to this carbon coffee, a unique and memorable coffee house experience stars i wonder if they even know about our carbonated shenanigans an interesting adventure it was but for now let's maintain our focus on the delicious classic coffee drinks that brought about our success frank i wanted to apologize again for putting you through all that chaos with my invention don't worry about it bruce on the bright side it made us discover we can tackle challenges together indeed and i promise the next time i get an epiphany i'll test it thoroughly before unleashing it on the public the good ideas and better execution.
Hey, Chris. Guess what just happened to me on the way here? Let me guess. You ran into a man who challenged you to a game of rock, paper, scissors? What? No. But that would have been interesting. I actually saw a dog driving a car. A dog driving a car? Now that's something you don't see every day. I don't know. I saw a cat riding a skateboard last week. Really, Bruce? A cat on a skateboard? Yes, really. It was doing kickflips and everything. Robin Williams, are we talking about skateboarding cats? I saw one once. It had so much attitude. It gave me a ticket for jaywalking. All right, all right. Let's get back to work. These lattes won't make themselves. Olivia, so I heard that there's this new coffee bean from Ethiopia, supposed to be the most flavorful coffee bean ever. You mean the geisha bean? Yeah, I've heard of it. Supposedly it's super rare, making it the most expensive coffee in the world. Well, if it's that good, we should get some for the shop. Robin Williams, oh, that sounds exciting. But you know what, I still enjoy a good old-fashioned cup of joe. Same here. Robin, you can't beat a classic. Oh, do you remember that one time Bruce came in dressed as a pirate for Halloween? Yes. That was hilarious, especially with his juggling act, though it did look like he might start a mutiny. Arg, mateys. That be the day the shop almost lost its captain. Robin Williams I was here for that. And I remember Bruce yelling, you scallywags, serve up the finest brew or prepare to walk the plank. Hey Olivia, do you know what I was thinking about earlier? How we're all so different, but we've become like a family here at Carbon Coffee. That's true, Bruce. Chris is like the annoying older brother I never had. What can I say? I aim to please. And don't forget our crazy Uncle Robin over here. Robin Williams guilty as charged. But seriously, there's something magical about this place. You will make everyday life feel extraordinary. Do you remember that time when we had that mime here as entertainment, and the customers loved guessing what he was doing? Yeah, that was surprisingly fun. And Bruce tried to join him by juggling, but ended up breaking like five mugs. Hey, I'm still learning. Plus, we made some money on those I survived the Great Mug Massacre shirts. Robin Williams that was a great idea. I. Hey, Bruce is at it again with his bizarre ways to attract more customers. Do you remember the good old days when coffee shops were simple, and all we had to worry about was burnt coffee? Oh those were the days. Speaking of which, have you seen the news lately? There's a new debate going on about gene editing. Well, if anyone can solve the ethical debate around it, it would be Jennifer Doudna herself. Speaking of which, you know, I'll never quite understand how she manages to stay so focused while surrounded by our shenanigans. Maybe that's her secret to success. Constant coffee and low-key chaos to keep her brain firing on all cylinders. There might be some truth to that. Also, have you noticed how drawn Bruce is to these carbonated coffee experiments? You know what they say, at the cutting edge of science, that's where the magic happens. More like at the cutting edge of comedy. It's been non-stop laugh since he discovered Nitro Bruce. Can you believe this? It's not all about bubbles, people. Don't let it get to you, Bruce. Everyone knows we're the best coffee joint in town, bubbles or not. But speaking of those nitro brews, I have seen people order them with added honey for extra sweetness. You know adding more sugar won't help the world beat obesity issues, but then again, neither will CRISPR gene editing. Ha! Huh. First to finish. Alright, you win this round. You're faster, but I bet mine taste better. I propose a new competition the Great Carbon Coffee Taste Test. If we're all judging by taste, shouldn't we use blindfolds? That's the proper way to grade any experiment fairly. It appears we've only succeeded in proving Murphy's Law anything that can go. Esther, I have to say it's pretty cool having a renowned economist helping us brew beer. Well, it's important to pursue our passions outside of work too, isn't it? Inspector, I've been receiving reports about suspicious activity here at Carbon Coffee. Mind if I look around? Bruce O. Oh, um, sure thing, Inspector. Nothing to hide here. Olivia, Inspector, have you ever tried our new malt-flavored latte? It's quite revolutionary. Malt-flavored latte. Inspector, well, this is quite innovative. Malt in a latte, who would have thought? 
Bruce yes, we pride ourselves on pushing the envelope here at Carbon Coffee. Esther nice save, guys. Chris to new adventures and close calls. Olivia and delicious malt lattes. Esther to successfully brewing beer in secret. Bruce to the unforgettable memories we've created at Carbon Coffee. May there be many more. Olivia back to the drawing board, huh, Chris? Chris maybe I should stick to making coffee. An excited customer walks into the shop. Customer hey, I heard you guys have a new malt latte. Can I try one? Olivia of course. Coming right up. Meanwhile, Bruce catches Esther sneaking in some homebrew equipment to give it another try. Bruce Esther, what are you doing? Esther why not? It's worth another shot, right? Bruce alright. But let's keep this between us. And. Hey guys, what's brewing? The usual. Bold blend Colombian coffee with a hint of unicorn magic. Oren, have you met our new co-worker, Emma? She just joined yesterday. Ah, welcome to Carbon Coffee, Emma. Are you into unicorn magic too? I haven't had the pleasure yet, but I'm learning quickly. Chris, Olivia, stop messing around with the customers. We've got a line out the door. I bet Bruce just misplaced his lucky pin again. Oh my gosh, guys. Guess what? You finally got that cat you've been wanting? No, but close enough. My sister's best friend's cousin works at BuzzFeed, and they want to interview us about the carbon coffee. Now that is something worth celebrating. BuzzFeed reporter so, tell us guys. How did you come up with this incredible idea, the carbon coffee? To be honest, it was a happy accident. Our boss, Bruce, mixed up his charcoal batches. And these crazy kids decided to give it to our colleague Oren who ended up loving it as much as we did. It was an instant hit. Do you think we'll make it to BuzzFeed's front page? Absolutely. Who wouldn't want to try our magical black coffee? To viral success. All right, team, this is our moment. Let's show the world what carbon coffee is all about. Imagine activated charcoal from the Himalayas, harvested under the light of a full moon, and it's blended with only the finest Colombian beans, while sprinkled by unicorn dust. A huge poster hangs on the wall announcing a new carbon coffee special, the Twilight Frappe, another concoction using the famed activated charcoal. Our sales have tripled, thanks to this activated charcoal craze. What's next on our menu, Bruce, the cosmic cappuccino? Shoot for the stars and land among them. Wait, how does that saying go? Shoot for the moon and land among the stars. Yeah, that one. But this time, just remember not to mix up any more ingredients, Bruce, you know. Maybe my mistakes aren't so bad after all. Just as long as they chuckle mistakes. I brought. Dinosaur. Jurassic. Park. Chaos Theory. Leader of the group this is the worst coffee we've ever had. You call yourselves professionals. I apologize. We'll make you a new batch of coffee right away. Group member hash keep it. We want our money back. Hold on a second. How about we make it up to you by creating something special, just for you? Leader of the group what kind of special? A new signature drink. Just for you. Any flavors you'd like, we can do it. That's one way to handle it. What if they ask for something ridiculous? Then I guess we have a new challenge in front of us. Remarkable how these people always find a way to mess things up. Leader of the group impressive. You've redeemed yourselves. We'll give Carbon Coffee a positive review. Group member hash wow, this actually tastes pretty good. Told you they'd pull through. What's the name of the new drink? Hmm. How about, the Connoisseur's Redemption? It has a nice ring to it. Seriously though, you should serialize your eyes because yours is always top notch. Can't say the same for your word associations though. You win some, you lose some, right? Speaking of which, let's get back to our game first word that comes to mind when I say it. Ivory. African. Peanuts. Group member hash whoever thought mixing chocolate and basil could be so delicious? Everyone's got to dance to this. Not your everyday coffee experience, huh? Not at all. This place sure knows how to keep things lively. Well, that's carbon coffee for you. Life's too short to be anything but bold. Did you ever in a coffee shop with a dance floor? They do say there's a first time for everything. Old man Jenkins what incarnation is going on here? 
I just wanted a quiet cup of joe. Sorry, Mr. Jenkins. We had a small incident with a group of coffee connoisseurs. It was our way of smoothing things over. Old man Jenkins. Connoisseurs, you say? Well, maybe they'll know a thing or two about good coffee. Never mind the fuss, I'm intrigued. May I try a sip of this wonder drink? Good morning, everyone. Look what I brought. A pineapple? Are we starting some sort of tropical fruit stand? That would explain the sudden appearance of a jungle in our coffee shop. Funny, but no. We're going to start serving pineapple-infused coffee. Pineapple-infused coffee? Is that even a thing? It will be. And we'll be trendsetters. Sam Harris, you cannot be serious. Sam. Just the person to try our new creation. You've got a refined palate, right? Sam Harris any palate would tell you that coffee and pineapple shouldn't mix. So how do you plan on infusing the coffee with pineapple? Simple, my friend. We just blend up the pineapple, and then add some to the coffee as it brews. This can only end well. The poor pineapple seems shocked by its impending fate. Enough chit-chat. Let's get to work. I couldn't help overhearing your interesting idea. Pineapple coffee, you say? This I have to see. That's the spirit, Mr. Perkins. Just you wait. Well, here goes nothing. Be ready for either success or disaster. I'm guessing it'll taste as strange as it sounds. Sam Harris. I still can't believe this is happening. Numerous customers also gather around, curious to see how things will turn out. The whole shop is turned into a comedy of the strangest order. Bruce. Hmm. Well, it's unique. Unique as in let's try it once and never again. Maybe we can tweak the ingredients a little. All right, Bruce, your culinary genius aside, maybe we should try another idea. Bruce, okay. Okay, so perhaps pineapple coffee wasn't my best brainwave. What if we went simpler? Smoothies are popular, especially in the heat of summer. Why not pineapple smoothies? Not a bad plan. I could see that being more palatable, and at least our customers. Chris. I bet I can make a cappuccino that's faster and tastier than yours. Oh, go on. Lose it as the winner's dishes the rest of the week. Less talking, more coffee. He's just jealous. David Chalmers, ladies and gentlemen. I come bearing news that could change carbon coffee. Forever. Oh? Do tell. Yeah, for all ears. Chalmers. David Chalmers. I've been working on a screenplay about life in a quirky coffee shop, inspired by my many visits here. And guess what? It's been picked up to be made into a TV show. HMMPH. I don't know what you think is so funny about this place. Well, have you ever watched yourself in the mirror? Yeah. I mean we literally serve food and beverages with a side of entertainment. You two think you're so clever, let's see how funny you are while you save carbon coffee from inevitable disaster. Who knew? Our boss suddenly got a sense of humor. More like temper tantrum. David Chalmers anyway. The producer wanted me to find some comedic talent from the original Carbon Coffee crew. Oh. Chris and I are in. Yeah, sign us up, Dave. The producer also mentioned something about hiring a manager who can bring a certain level of absurdity and chaos to the table. Well, Bruce fits the absurdity part. And he's full of chaos. You're up, boss. Fine. I'll show you all real comedy. You do know that the coffee maker isn't a prop for slapstick, right? Too late, Olivia. He's committed now. Behold. Flying coffee balloons. David Chalmers oh my. This is even better than I imagined. Help me, Chris. I can't handle the absurdity alone. I don't think anyone can save us now. Customers, be sure to capture these final moments before our lives are consumed by coffee grounds. Quick. Can someone grab me a life vest? It's getting deep in here. Look at me. I'm Bruce. So, what do you guys think we should do to boost our sales this month? We could try adding some seasonal drinks to the menu. Or how about we create a secret drink that's not on the menu? People love exclusivity. Hmm, you've got a point there, Chris. All right, secret drink it is. What would make it special? Let's go with something completely new, unlike anything anyone has ever tasted before. 
and only the three of us will know the recipe. This could be fun. Let's start playing around with ingredients. I've been researching online, and I found this article about how activated charcoal can give drinks a unique look. That sounds cool. We should give it a try. Speaking of activated charcoal, how about we call our secret drink the Bizarre Brew? That's perfect. It's catchy and mysterious. How about adding some spices to the mix? Like cardamom and ginger? Yeah. And maybe some vanilla for a touch of sweetness. Okay, let's get busy experimenting with this brew. Our first attempt at the Bizarre Brew wasn't exactly a hit. It was more like black sludge with questionable chunks, but we're getting closer. We just need to find the right balance of flavors and ingredients. Well, the show must go on. We won't let the Bizarre Brew bring us down. I'm to that. Round 2 of Bizarre Brew Trials. Any improvements? I think we figured out the right proportions for the spices. Yeah, it's starting to taste pretty good. But it still doesn't look as enticing as we want it to be. Maybe we need to add some color or foam to it. Something to make it more visually appealing. Foam sounds interesting. We could use a milk frother to achieve that. And let's try adding some natural food coloring to the milk before frothing it. Brilliant. I can't wait to see how our next trial turns out. I think we've done it. The Bizarre Brew looks amazing and tastes incredible. Finally. The colorful foam really adds a nice touch. This might just become our signature drink. Now all we need is for someone famous to come in and try it. Hey, you never know. Stranger things have happened. For now, let's just focus on making sure we can replicate this recipe and serve it to our customers. We've sold quite a few Bizarre Brews today. I'm happy to see that people like it as much as we do. Maybe we should organize a little event around our secret drink to boost sales even more. A themed party with Hey Bruce, you're looking extra excited today. What's up? I've got a surprise. I managed to get my hands on the rarest coffee beans in the world, harvested from the heart of the South American jungle. Get out of town. What are they called? I call them crazy beans, because you'll go crazy for their taste. We absolutely have to put this on the menu. Hold your horses. I have an even better idea a competition between you two. What kind of competition? Whichever of you sells more crazy beans coffee by closing time gets an amazing surprise. Jane Goodall did someone say jungle? Jane Goodall. It's always an honor to have you here at Carbon Coffee. Imagine if she tasted our crazy beans coffees. That would be a game changer. Fancy trying the newest addition to Carbon Coffee? The crazy beans. Jane Goodall interesting. I'll have a cup, then. Hey there, care to try crazy beans, made from the rarest beans on this planet? Customer oh, that sounds fancy. I'll take a cup. Check these out, folks. You won't believe the taste of these crazy beans. Customer that looks fun. I'll give it a try. So jump aboard the flavor train leaving from Crazy Bean Station, baby. Customer alright, I'll try one too. Feast your eyes on this latte art. It's almost as incredible as the taste of crazy beans. Customer wow, impressive. Let me taste that. What's going on with our fridge? It can't be. Not the heart and soul of carbon coffee. Are the crazy beans too much for it to handle? Jane Goodall let me take a look. We can't let these beans go to waste. Thank you, Jane. Our teamwork saved the day. We've learned an important lesson today. You both did great today. I saw how well you worked together. That's what truly matters. Thank you, Bruce. Yeah, we make a pretty good team when we're not competing against each other. And now, for that surprise. This is amazing. Thank you, Bruce. Yeah, we'll always remember crazy beans and our victory, our teamwork. Jane Goodall collaboration is key just like saving the fridge today. Good luck with crazy beans. Fade out. Right, and who knows who will show up next year. Exactly. And the best part was seeing everyone have fun and your crazy idea actually working. Well, thank you both for indulging me. Now let's get some rest. Tomorrow is going to be another busy day. Customer good morning. We're here for our free week of coffee from winning the contest yesterday. Of course. Come on in. We heard about your successful event yesterday and came by to see if any celebrities were still hanging around. Mind if we ask a few questions? Stammering. He really is a natural, isn't he? I guess it's like you said earlier he has a real gift for dealing with oddballs. Well hello there, Captain. 
What can I get for you today? Quick cuts each morning, Olivia, Chris, and Bruce are greeted by a line of customers eager to get their free coffee. And occasionally, eccentric locals, like quirky customer put in their free coffee requests. During a break from their frenzied pace, Olivia, Chris, and Bruce are chatting in the staff room. You know, it's been quite the week here with everyone exercising their free coffees. It's actually kind of fun. Yeah, it feels good to see all these smiling faces. That's what I hoped for when I first imagined the celebrity lookalike contest bringing joy and excitement to our customers while showcasing our coffee. We definitely accomplished that this week. So, what crazy event should we plan next? How about an Oscar Wilde quote day? The Wittier, the better discount. Did you ever expect things to turn out this way after launching that contest? No, but I'm so grateful it did. And I couldn't have done it without the two of you. Well, that's why we're here. To make sure your wild ideas don't completely derail the business. You know, when Warren Buffett came in during the contest, he told me something before he left. What did he say? He said, keep doing things that You know what I admire most about our customers? Their willingness to try something new every day. Isn't that the beauty of a coffee shop? There's always something new to discover, and we have the privilege of sharing it with them. Not only do we serve them coffee, but laughter too. Something everyone needs these days. Guys, I just read this article about a bartender who became famous by creating weird drink combinations. Why don't we try something like that with our coffee? That could be fun. How about we let our customers come up with some wacky concoctions? I love that idea. Let's put a sign by the register inviting them to share their craziest coffee ideas with us. Customer, can I get a cappuccino with a shot of green apple syrup and a pinch of cinnamon? Our first brave customer. What should we call this exciting new drink? How about apple orchard cappuccino? Customer, I want to try a mocha latte with caramel and peppermint. Minty caramocha coming right up. Bruce? We need you to taste test these crazy combos for quality control. With great power comes great responsibility. Guys, we've become the talk of the town with these crazy coffee combos. Everyone has their own unique drink now. This is incredible. There's a line out the door. Our customers don't just want our coffee, they're here for the experience. Let's make sure we continue to deliver outstanding service and comedy to go along with these unforgettable drinks. Absolutely. There's nothing more important than giving our customers a fantastic experience with coffee concoctions. What fuels your passion for this business? Well, Jimmy, it all started with the idea that life is too short not to enjoy the little things, like a cup of coffee and a laugh with friends. We wanted to create a place where people could come not only to get their caffeine fix but to have a truly memorable experience that would brighten their day. And so far, we think we've achieved that. Our customers keep coming back for the laughs just as much. Olivia, can you believe it's been a year since we opened this place? Time flies when you're caffeinated. And broke. I never knew starting a coffee shop would be so expensive. Could be worse, Chris. We could be working for somebody else. Don and speaking of grumpy old men. Bruce Don Rickles, the legend himself. Bruce, tell me you've finally learned how to make a decent latte. Only the best for our VIPs, Don. Chill dude guys, I've got an idea. What if we have an ice-themed comedy night right here in the cafe? How chill would that be? That definitely would be a nice change of pace around here. Imagine all the ice and cold puns we could throw around. Cut to. Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Carbon Coffee's chilled out comedy night. Prepare for a flurry of laughs and icy wit. Air conditioner breaks. Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, life has given us lemons. Or should I say, an unexpected heat wave. So let's enjoy some cool comedy while we await the return of our winter wonderland, shall we? But seriously, anyone else ever wonder how they get hot chocolate to freeze? Air conditioner repaired. Now, without further ado, Mr. Don Rickles. Don Rickles you know, these days, everything seems off. Even the weather can't decide if it wants to be hot or cold. Fade out. Well, that was certainly an adventure. Great work, team. Thanks, boss. It was a blast. And hey, you didn't freeze us all into human popsicles. To chilled out past, and maybe, chilled out future. So, team, any recommendations for our next theme night? 
What about an enchanted forest themed night? I can already imagine a world of fairy tale comedy bits. Or how about medieval times? Knights, wizards, and plenty of terrible dad jokes. Chill, dude, my friends, let's go tropical. A luau comedy night with tiki decorations and endless beach puns. I'm betting Chris is secretly dying to dress up as a hula dancer. You caught me. In that case, I suggest we go with Ons themed comedy night. Neon colors and leg warmers, you all have great ideas. Why don't we put it to a vote? Cut to Enchanted Forest theme night unfolds with Olivia dressed as a fairy, Chris as a knight, and Bruce as a wizard. Ladies, allow me to introduce the Bruley Wed Gang. Picture this fairy tale couples battling it out for coffee supremacy. Ah, bringing a little love potion number nine to the show, I see. Fresh beans for thought, knights and damsels, prepare yourselves. So, gentlemen, what brings you in today? Barry Gibb O. Oh, we heard about this new espresso oak thing from a friend. Sounds fun. Well, in that case, let's give it a try. All right, I'll go first I guess. Barry Gibb Rocket, Olivia. Ah, ha, 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 stayin' alive, stayin' alive. Ah, ha, 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 stayin' now five. I knew this idea would take off. Yeah, okay, it's not so bad, Bruce. Credit where credit is due. Hey guys, when do I get my turn to sing? I've got some serious pipes here. Alright, Walter. Get up here and let's see what you've got. Customer that was awesome, Walter, who knew? Why, thank you. Thank you very much, folks. Aren't you two going to perform together? No, no, not me. My vocal range is highly confidential. Come on, man. Don't leave me hanging. Live a little. Fine, but don't say I didn't warn you. Bruce and Chris just a small town girl, living in a lonely world. She took the midnight train going anywhere. Wow, I didn't know you guys had it in you. Well, Chris has always been quite the karaoke fan. Haven't you, buddy? Well, I wanted to keep that as my secret life. Barry Gibb guys, you should make this a regular thing here at Carbon Coffee. Espresso Oak Nights could be a hit. That is a smashing idea, Barry. Thanks for the support. The BG's time to head out, guys. Good luck with your new project, we'll be back soon. Olivia, Chris, and Bruce, thanks. Have a great day. I just love it when new people come in and get amazed by our espresso oak nights. It has really given us a lot of free promotion and loyal customers. Let's not forget, it all started with a simple idea involving espresso and karaoke. And now look where we are, and none of it would have happened without your wacky brain, Bruce. You're right, Chris. Bruce is our fearless idea man. Hey. Teamwork makes the dream work. Rival cafe owner we heard about your little success story. What's your secret? Why don't you try one of our espressos and find out for yourself? Rival cafe owner we're not here for coffee. Well, you should be. It's delicious. Our secret is our team, a perfect blend of dedication, creativity, and talent. Would you like to stick around for espresso oak night and see it firsthand? Rival cafe owner. Yeah, we might just do that. Did you catch the latest episode of Undercover Planets? I can't believe they found water on Mars too. I know, right? Just when you thought the universe couldn't get any weirder. Hey, if we could serve coffee to Martians, imagine the profits. Speaking of, I've been thinking about expanding our menu. What do you think about a line of interstellar-inspired drinks? Mars radiation macchiato, anyone? Oh, how about a black hole mocha? You know, a recipe that actually defies the laws of physics? Jessica, an attractive but hopelessly clumsy new employee, enters. Morning, guys. I love those ideas. How can I help? Just keep smiling, Jessica. The customers love a friendly barista almost as much as they love their caffeine. That's my team. We're bringing coffee culture to new heights. Jack, a surly regular, saunters up to the counter. Give me a 10-shot espresso. I didn't sleep last night. Jack, that's more caffeine than one human should consume in a day. You know that, right? I didn't come here for a lecture. I came here for rocket fuel. One human rocket special, coming right up. Maxine, 
an elderly customer, approaches the counter and overhears the conversation. I'll take one of those two. Can't let these youngsters have all the fun. Maxine, are you sure that's a good idea? That's quite a bit of caffeine. Life on Earth's too short to worry about things like that, dear. Double my rocket fuel. That's the spirit, Maxine. You show them how it's done. I'll take care of their orders, guys. Oh, new idea, why not invent a time travel tea? A brew that lets you experience different eras? Jessica, I think you just stumbled on our next big hit. Wait, what if the tea changes flavors based on historical events? Well, as long as one of those flavors isn't the Great Depression, count me in. You know what, if I'm awake for hours, I might as well travel through time too. Put me down for one of those teas. This is what I like to see, innovation and excitement. The carbon coffee legacy continues. Anne, an all-time favorite customer, arrives at the coffee shop. Hey there everybody, can I get a large Neptune iced frappe with a twist of moon dust? Morning Anne. Coming right up. And here's your complimentary shot of moonshine. Oops, I mean moon dust. Wow, you guys really have this cosmic theme down. We're shooting for the stars, Jessica. But ultimately, we'll settle for caffeinating the masses. Eddie, a college student studying environmental science, joins the fray. Hey, could you make an environmentally friendly coffee that tastes like it was grown on another planet? We do have organic beans from sustainable farms, but I can't promise alien grown. And what do you think of our new peacock mascot, Bruce? It certainly brings a certain Jay Nisei Kwa to the place. It's gonna be hard to top Stevie Wonder and a peacock. What's next on our list of absurd adventures? I was thinking about juggling flaming chainsaws, but I'd have to find some first. No need for flaming chainsaws, Olivia. We've got the perfect solution for our next attraction, bubble brews served in levitating cups. Does anyone here even come for the coffee anymore? Hey, at least we're famous now, right? I'll take it over being bored. Right you are, Chris. Where did all these celebrities come from anyway? Well, I heard that this place has the best levitating bubble brews in town. Not to mention, we have an amazing peacock mascot. Bruce, how do you keep finding these incredible outfits? Oh, you know. It's a gift. Man, I wish I had that gift. Stevie Wonder I just had to come back for one of those amazing Stevie surprises. We'd be more than happy to serve you, Mr. Wonder. So... Are we all adopting these crazy outfits now? Bruce bet me I wouldn't, so I had to prove him wrong. And what a lovely job you've done, Olivia. Stevie Wonder you know, that mascot of yours is quite charming. Thanks, Stevie. We like to think it fits right in with our unique brand of crazy here at Carbon Coffee. I'm an alien. Yes, Bruce. You look great. So, what's the occasion? Why the alien get up? I have fantastic news. Demi Sasabis will be holding a press conference about his latest AI breakthrough, and guess where it'll be held? Right here, in our very own carbon coffee shop. That's awesome. But the alien costume? Oh, I thought it'd be obvious. We're renaming the shop for the day as the Cosmic Barista. Because what's more cosmic than artificial intelligence? Bet you 10 bucks it's an AI that can make better coffee than Bruce. You're on. All I know is that it's going to revolutionize the world. And we get to be a part of it. Demi Sasabis, I couldn't help but overhear your enthusiasm for my upcoming AI announcement. You'll just have to wait and see, Mr. Hasabis. We're so excited and honored to host your press conference. Demi Sasabis, thank you, and I'm looking forward to seeing how you transform carbon coffee into the cosmic barista. Did you hear that Health Inspector is coming for a surprise visit? Remember the list of things that need to be done before a health inspection? It wasn't exactly how I planned to introduce our shop to the world of AI, but life goes on. Demi Sasabi's ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, Cosmic Barista. I told you it'd be coffee related. Okay, so maybe Bruce knows something about cosmic connections after all. But can it actually make a better cup of coffee? Health Inspector I must say. I'm impressed by how clean and organized your shop is during all of this. Well, we take pride in carbon coffee, and we're always prepared for surprises. Did he just admit we were prepared for a surprise visit? Looks like it. I think it's finally safe to have some fun with the cosmic barista. Worst case scenario, I spill a little coffee. Famous last words.
Every time I think I've seen it all, Bruce proves me wrong again. Yeah, he's kind of like a mad scientist with a fondness for coffee instead of evil experiments. Well, what can I say? Coffee brings out the innovator in me. Customer hey, can I get an extra dollop of whipped cream on my muffin? Sure thing. Whipped cream for everyone. Customer I heard you're putting whipped cream on everything. That's right. Enjoy your whipped cream extravaganza. Brian Green I must say, this is quite an interesting study of dealing with an unexpected outcome. The real question is, how do we get back to our own time? Really? We finally have enough whipped cream and you want to leave? Hmm, perhaps I can reverse the process by adjusting the dials. Who knew people would go so crazy for whipped cream? Customer this is the best day ever. It's a good thing I didn't wear a white shirt today. New customer ah, uh, so what's going on here, exactly? Welcome to put whipped cream on everything Wednesday, my friend. New customer sure, why not? Give me a whipped cream latte. So, any ideas on how we can get back to our original timeline? Brian Green well, as fascinating as this experience has been, I'm afraid you might require a more advanced toaster for that job. Chaos is good for business, but we may have reached our whipped cream limit here. Honestly, I'm amazed no one has tried to put whipped cream in their ears yet. Customer hey, what about adding whipped cream to my coffee beans, then grinding them up? Customer what? Too far. Brian Green actually, I might have an idea. Bruce, try switching the places of these two wires. You really think this is going to work? If nothing else, it'll be a nice break from all this whipped cream madness. So, other than the crypto flop, how's everything else been? Well, there's that yoga class next door that keeps trying to pay for their lattes in Namaste points. Oh yeah, I remember that. Namaste points. Good times. Sounds like you guys have had your fair share of adventures here. You have no idea. Remember that time Bruce tried to start a poetry night? Hey, people love poetry. It just wasn't our niche. Pretty sure Edgar Allan Poe came back from the grave to tell us he wouldn't be caught dead at our poetry night. Do we serve decaf? No, Bruce. We only serve turbocharged super caffeinated coffee to ensure all customers leave fully mm. awake and paranoid. All right, all right. Point taken. Oh, speaking of new ideas, I just submitted a paper to a scientific journal about creating renewable energy from coffee grounds. Really? That's amazing, Sean. Now that's something we could get behind. What's next? Customers paying with thoughts and prayers. Hey, at least they're better than invisible internet money. Actually, I've seen an increase in gratitude for good coffee since we put up the sign. A bit of gratitude never hurts. Hey Chris, why don't you add some extra foam on that latte? Show them your true artistic genius as a barista. Oh, it's on now. I'm gonna create a foam masterpiece like you've never seen before. Can I have an astrophysics-themed foam design? Challenge accepted. Consider it done. So, what do you think of indoor vertical gardens at Carbon Coffee? Hmm. It could work. It would definitely add to the ambience. Plus, you can grow your own fresh herbs for lattes and snacks. Olivia. You know. I bet Aubrey de Grey comes here specifically for Bruce's little musical performances. Oh, absolutely. It's the main attraction. Right up there with our superior coffee beans. You know it. I'm thinking of starting a carbon coffee karaoke night. It'll be a hit. Flawless execution, Bruce. Aubrey de Grey, hello, everyone. I have some important news for you all. Well, don't keep us in suspense. What's the big announcement? Yeah, are we getting a raise or something? Aubrey de Grey. I've become a serious investor in longevity research, so I decided to create a competition for the best new anti-aging coffee. The winner will receive a significant cash prize and worldwide recognition. That sounds fascinating. So, how do we enter the competition? Aubrey de Grey just submit your best brew that promotes anti-aging, and I'll personally pick the top contenders for the final round. Good luck! Carbon Coffee is all about pushing boundaries will dominate the competition. Let's just hope Bruce doesn't serenade the judges. We should start experimenting with different ingredients right away. Any ideas? 
What if we tried adding some age-defying superfoods like blueberries or pomegranate? Or perhaps we could enhance the coffee with vitamins and minerals known for their anti-aging effects. Both great ideas. Let's do some research and get to work on our recipes. The competition awaits. So, I found this rare type of honey that's known for its antioxidants. Maybe we could infuse it into the coffee? Could be an interesting combo. What do you think, Bruce? Sounds delightful, but let's not forget the importance of presentation. I'm working on my singing routine to really sell our coffee at the competition. Oh, joy. Can't wait to see that. Hey, we all have our strengths. And nobody can deny Bruce has, uh, enthusiasm. Check out these organic cocoa beans I found. It's said that they have exceptional anti-aging properties. Cocoa beans, huh? So are we making a mocha or something? Why not? A deliciously smooth mocha with a healthy dose of anti-aging ingredients sounds like a winner to me. We'll call it the elixir of youth. Now, all we need is a finishing touch, a little sprinkling of crushed almonds on top for texture and flavor. At least your enthusiasm counts for something, Bruce. I think we've got it. The perfect combination of taste, anti-aging ingredients, and style. The judge is one. Just think of it, caffeine inhalers, made possible by nanotechnology. A revolutionary way to get that morning coffee buzz. Does it come with a barcode tattoo so we can track our customers? Maybe while we're at it, we can have robots take our orders. Neil deGrasse Tyson. You know what they say about technology and progress. Sometimes mistakes help us discover breakthroughs. Keep the passion alive, just don't forget the human touch. Absolutely, Neil. Speaking of which, how's your conference going? Neil deGrasse Tyson Oh, it's been fascinating. The discussions we've had about AI, space exploration, and of course, nanotechnology, are mind-blowing. It's surreal to me that we're serving coffee to such an icon in the scientific community. Morning rush is starting. Time to rock and roll, my friends. Customer hey, isn't that Neil deGrasse Tyson sitting over there? Customer yep, he comes in here often. Must be quite the fan of carbon coffee. What if we created a drink that changed flavor every time someone took a sip? Like some sort of molecular gastronomy meets coffee. That might be cool, but imagine how long the line would be, waiting for everyone to marvel at their magical coffee. We'd be swamped with orders. And speaking of swamped, must we forget the great smoothie incident last year? Oh, how can I forget? Tripling up on blenders just to meet demand. The chaos was real. Neil deGrasse Tyson that's an excellent example of the importance of staying grounded and pragmatic when adapting new technology. Sometimes less is more, boss. Carbon coffee, night. One day, my friends, will not only change the coffee world but make incredible contributions to humanity. Carbon coffee, where ideas are born. You know, for being a mad genius, you are still just our quirky boss to us. We couldn't ask for anyone better though. Thanks. You really saved our bacon this time, hottie. You really know how to pour cold water on a tense situation. All that espresso has paid off in your reflexes, huh? Just protecting my life source. I mean, coffee. So what's going to happen to me now? You're going to clean up the mess you made, and then we'll see about calling the authorities. And here's your triple shot, extra hot, soy milk latte. Enjoy, and sorry about all this. I swear, nothing like this usually happens here. It's usually just good laughs and great coffee. I heard there was a hostage situation at Carbon Coffee. What happened here today? Well, Tiffany, it was quite a scene, a real brouhaha. Yeah, it was like something out of a Hollywood mock-up. Or should I say? Mocha, thank you again for your quick thinking, Hadi. How can I ever repay you? Free coffee for life? That might put us out of business. Chris. You think we'll finally break the sales record today? Oh, for sure. I mean, with Jennifer Doudna's frequent visits and Bruce's crazy marketing ideas, we're bound to get there. Speaking of Bruce, where is he, anyway? And Jennifer? Behold. I present to you, the icy brew catastrophe. What on earth are you doing, 
Bruce, I had a brilliant idea, the icy brew catastrophe. We'll create the ultimate cold brew experience by using this giant block of ice. Right. Because nothing screams efficient coffee service like slowly melting ice. Jennifer Doudna herself suggested this particular experiment. I can't wait to see her reaction when she finds out what we've done. Bruce, I hate to rain on your parade, but this really doesn't seem like a good idea. Don't worry, it'll all work out. If you say so. Jennifer Doudna, did someone just mention my name? What's going on here? Oh, Jennifer. Just in time. Allow me to introduce the icy brew catastrophe. Jennifer Doudna, well then, let the magic begin. To recap, this is basically a disaster waiting to happen. Now gather round and witness coffee history in the making. We're turning your suggestion into reality. I have a very bad feeling about this. Jennifer Doudna, what's the worst that can happen? You really shouldn't have said that. Here we go. The icy brew catastrophe begins. I'm taking cover, just in case. Ditto. Jennifer underscore Doudna, maybe I should, too. No need to be so dramatic. Everything will be fine. All right, okay. You think? Jennifer Doudna told you so. Riveting commentary, ladies. I don't know what went wrong. Beside the glaringly obvious giant block of ice? No clue. Jennifer Doudna, my suggestion wasn't meant to be taken so literally. Let's focus on shutting this whole thing down, shall we? Well, that was... something. Jennifer Doudna, I'm so sorry, guys. This is definitely not how I envision my idea playing out. That was the icy brew catastrophe, all right. But not for the reasons I... So Olivia, what do you think we should do for the talent show this week? Haven't given it much thought yet. But probably not your ventriloquism act. Got a better idea? How about a juggling routine? Can't go wrong with that. You any good at juggling? Not really, but I can learn. Can't be as bad as Bruce's dummy, right? All right, juggling it is. Guys, Fleetwood Mac just confirmed they're judging the show. That's incredible, Bruce. This might be worth something after all. Is it too late to change our act? We need to impress with the judges now. You still have some time. But choose wisely, because free coffee is on the line. Our first talent show is underway. Give it up for the contestants so far. Now, let's see what Olivia and Chris have prepared. On second thought, we'll be singing a parody of a Fleetwood Mac song. What a bold choice. Hope it pays off, or sinks you. Stevie Nicks you truly captivated us. Let's hear it for our winners, Olivia and Chris. At least my dummy didn't get me completely embarrassed. Hey Bruce, did you hear that? We won. I guess your juggling idea wasn't so bad after all. Well, congrats. Now I just hope we don't lose these judges as our regulars. Mick Fleetwood you guys really impressed us last night. Thank you. It was the opportunity of a lifetime. Stevie Nicks we want to write a song about your coffee shop. Unbelievable. What an honor. Better get those creative juices flowing. Fleetwood Mac is immortalizing our humble shop. Stevie Nicks ladies and gentlemen, we present to you. Carbon Coffee Capers. Mick Fleetwood it's a tribute to this amazing shop and its characters. I can't believe we've become a part of music history. And it all started with that ridiculous talent show. You have to admit it wasn't such a bad idea after all, eh? Look at all the customers we have now. That talent show really helped put us on the map. Who knew my ventriloquist dummy would lead to all of this? So Bruce, any plans for next year's talent show? Bruce. So, Bruce, you really think this crypto latte idea is going to take off? Oh, absolutely. This cryptocurrency trend is the way of the future, and we're just making sure carbon coffee stays ahead of the game. I don't know, Bruce. Remember when you said the same thing about that gluten-free, low-calorie, vegan coffee substitute? That didn't exactly skyrocket us to fame. Yeah, and let's not forget that time you tried to crossbreed a cat and a cappuccino to create the cattuccino. Did someone say cappuccino? Sounds like my kind of drink. Just discussing some past business ventures that may or may not have. Hand out. Well, if anyone can make a crypto latte work, it's you guys. Ah, thanks, Eric. So, how's your day going? You know, the usual. Just trying to keep up with the ever-changing world of economics. Speaking of which, 
Bruce, are you sure you want to invest so much into something as volatile as Bitcoin? So, Bruce, did you hear about that ridiculous new cryptocurrency called Cato Coin? Apparently it's based on pictures of cats. Really, Olivia? Really? That actually sounds kind of amazing. From what I've heard, the whole thing has been a catastrophe. Investors are high strung, and everything is just spiraling out of control. No one can predict where the market is headed these days. It's just wild. Maybe that's why Bruce likes it so much, one moment you're flying high, and the next, you're crashing down. I'll take your little jab as a compliment. Honestly, with all these cryptocurrencies popping up like mushrooms, you've got to wonder how long before there's a carbon coffee coin. Now that's an idea I could get behind. Can you believe what happened with that Cato coin? Turns out it was just one big Ponzi scheme. I suppose it was just too good to be true. Well, at least you didn't invest in that one. Yeah, you suck with your Bitcoin dream. Which isn't looking too great. Bruce, this coffee drinking dog calendar is destined for failure. Hey, my ideas are never failures. Besides, I'm the boss, and you two are just my minions. Oh yeah, great idea. A dog drinking coffee is definitely going to go viral. You know, dogs aren't even supposed to have caffeine. It's actually kind of dangerous for them. Well, obviously it's just for comedic effect. We're using our finest decaf blend in all the photos. Ada Yanath, good morning. I couldn't help but notice your interesting sign outside. Care to explain the concept? Well, Ms. Yanath, we've created a calendar featuring dogs that appear to be enjoying our coffee. It's going to take the internet by storm. Interesting. Well, I do admit I'm intrigued, and a dog person. Could I see the calendar? It really is funny. But you do know that giving dogs actual caffeine is dangerous, right? Of course. It's just for comedic effect. The dogs in the pictures were given water in their cups. News reporter. Hey there. I'm Lyra, from Channel News. And I've heard there's a hilarious new calendar with coffee drinking dogs happening here at Carbon Coffee. That's right. Welcome to Carbon Coffee, home of the caffeinated canines. Ada enters the shop, now a regular as well as a friend. Look at you all. Local heroes. Who knew that dogs and coffee could stir up such success? We certainly didn't. But we're thankful for your support, Ada. You really helped put us on the map. Anytime. I'm just happy to help such a fun and creative business. Hey, are you guys the ones responsible for the hilarious caffeinated canines calendar? My friends and I love it. Yes, that was us. We're so glad you enjoyed it. Are you planning on making any new calendars anytime soon? You know, we've been thinking about a sequel. What do you think about cats and cappuccinos? As time passes, Caffeinated Canines continues to receive widespread acclaim amongst locals and beyond. Encouraged by their first calendar's success. That sounds fantastic. Just make sure we're supplied with enough space fuel to keep the hyperspeed ideas coming. M. M. I'm here for a cup of coffee. Is this not the right place? Of course, it is. Welcome to the Caffeine Cosmos, where coffee meets the stars. Oh, that's unique. And what type of interstellar brew can we get started for you today? Just a small black coffee, please. No room for cream. You know, I didn't expect this when I walked in, but I actually really like it. You all have certainly made an otherwise ordinary task quite entertaining. Why, thank you. That's our mission to make each customer's day just a little brighter and lighter than before they walk through our doors. Guys, I've created a coffee so powerful it could propel the International Space Station. Are you ready for this? Oh, Adam. Do share your intergalactic secrets with us. Adam's coffee rocket, this I have to see. My taste buds have been launched into orbit. I don't know where I am right now. But that drink is out of this world. Michal Kaczynski. By the time he comes back down to Earth, Carbon coffee will be established on Mars. Lucy, a customer scrambling to prepare for a job interview, stumbles into the shop searching for something to give her an extra boost of confidence. I have a huge job interview coming up and I just need something to calm my nerves. You've come to the right place. We'll put together the perfect brew to help you land that dream job. 
let me whip up an intergalactic confidence booster for you. I found an app that can help us identify the origin of these coins. Incredibly, they're from a small, obscure country called Siberia. Wow, that's exotic. But can we exchange them for our local currency? Unfortunately not, there's no way to exchange Siberian coins in this region. Looks like we're stuck with them. A rare currency from a remote part of the world? This is amazing, but utterly worthless. Let's give everyone seashells instead. Stammering. I is it true that you've got these limited edition Siderian coins? Olivia holds up a shiny coin. Do you mean these? Aware of their good fortune, the staff began to sell the novelty coins at inflated prices thanks to word of mouth from Mr. Fitzgerald. As the day progresses, more collectors show up at the coffee shop to grab their share of the rare coins. Chris and Olivia witness the rush while serving coffee to their new customers. This has gone beyond ridiculous. These fake collectors are practically printing money for us. And Bruce might actually make enough cash to pay our salaries now. Who would have thought that something? I still can't believe Bruce said no to Carmen. He's a man of principle, that's for sure. That's right. We ain't selling our souls to the Brew Nivers. What's all this excitement about? Oh, just Bruce turning down Brew Nivers' offer to buy us out. Really? That's incredible. I've always been completely anti-Brew Nivers. They just suck the soul out of everything they touch. Couldn't agree more, Alice. Enjoy your cappuccino. Customer Hey, aren't you guys owned by Brew Nivers? Not exactly. We turned down their offer. Customer that's cool. Love me some independent coffee shops. Seems like word got around that we stuck it to the Brew Nivers. As it should. Carbon coffee will forever remain an indie powerhouse. Business seemed busier today, don't you think? Definitely. I guess people like the fact that we're not part of that corporate machine. See, you too? We made the right decision. I have to admit, it does feel good. I heard Warren Buffett hangs out here. You think he'll show up today? He's been known to make an appearance from time to time. Local dignitary I'm so glad you guys didn't sell out to Brew Nivers. This place is great. We wouldn't have it any other way. Warren Buffett keep up the good work, Bruce. Thank you, Warren. We owe this success to you. Never in a million years would I have imagined that our choice would spark such a following. It just goes to show that being true to yourself and what you believe in really does pay off. So, you two finally buy into my vision for carbon coffee? Absolutely, Bruce. You've convinced us. Welcome to Carbon Coffee, where the coffee is always fresh and corporate overlords. Oh, Chris, did you hear about the guy that lost his left side? No, what happened? He's all right now. Behold, my greatest creation yet. Chimpanzee beans. Coffee beans infused with the essence of our primate ancestors. Bound to make carbon coffee world famous. Um, Bruce? What exactly is the connection between chimps and coffee? You know how Jane Goodall often visits our shop, right? She inspired me to create a blend of coffee that captures the wild essence of chimpanzees. Okay, alright. So what does this wild essence taste like? I have no idea, I haven't tried it yet. That's why you two are here. To be my official taste testers. Isn't that exciting? Thrilled. Wow, Bruce. This is... something. It tastes like... adventure. You're laughing. That's not the reaction I expected. Is it terrible? No, no, Bruce. It's actually pretty good. It's just that we have a little... suggestion. We think the chimpanzee beans could use an actual banana. Yeah, it would really bring out the chimp essence while making it more palatable. banan azing. I'll add them right away. Customer this coffee tastes weird. Is this really what all the fuss is about? Customer it's just not my cup of tea. Or coffee. I think we need to tweak the recipe a bit more. People don't seem too impressed. Let's blend in more bananas, maybe. Make it smoother and sweeter. You guys are going ape. Great ideas. Revised chimpanzee beans recipe is a hit. Customer wow, this is surprisingly delicious. 
Customer don't worry, it grows on you. Oh, Dr. Goodall. It's truly an honor. We'd love to hear your thoughts on our creation. You know, the best part about our victory isn't just the recognition. It's the satisfaction of proving that we're not only great baristas, but also good people. I couldn't agree more, Olivia. Helping the competition felt way better than winning first place. True. Now, let's show them what Carbon Karma Coffee is all about. Hey, guess what? I found a great new source for eco-friendly coffee beans. We'll be leveling up our carbon footprint game in no time. That's fantastic, Chris. Our customers will love it. Well, there's no stopping you guys, is there? Speaking of customers, here comes Mr. Thompson with his reporter friend. Oh right, they were going to do a feature on the shop. Time to put our best foot forward. Hello there. So, are you guys the famous baristas who helped out the competition and won with your incredible skills? That'd be us. Welcome to Carbon Karma Coffee. How about a cup of our award-winning cappuccino? Sounds perfect. Mrs. Martinez, good afternoon, everyone. I heard about your success at the competition. Congratulations. Thank you, Mrs. Martinez. What can we make for you today? Mrs. Martinez, I'll have my usual latte, dear. Mrs. Martinez, would you like to try our new blend of eco-friendly coffee beans? Mrs. Martinez, why not? As long as the taste is just as good, you'll love it, we promise. Hello. We've heard about your competition and wanted to see some of your art up close. Are you okay with that? Of course. We'll prepare some special coffee treats for all of you. Kid wow, you guys must be really good at drawing. But with coffee. You could say that. All right, everyone, gather round and let's show the young generation some serious coffee magic. What a day. This place was packed. But everyone seemed to have enjoyed themselves. That's what truly matters. Exactly. I think this whole experience brought us closer together. As a team and as people. So, what do you say we make a toast? To new friends, fantastic coffee, and plenty more artistic adventures. Olivia, Chris, Bruce Cheers. Elderly woman we saw your story in the newspaper. And we're excited to give your coffee a try. Well, you've come to the right place. What can we get? You know, I thought about putting up a sign that says if you don't know what you want before reaching the front of the line, we reserve the right to give you decaf. And watch the panic in their eyes when they realize they have no idea what they're ordering. Let's not cause a caffeine drought here, people. Maybe we should just stick to being friendly and helpful? I suppose I can settle for that. Anne, a middle-aged woman, enters the shop, looking puzzled and disoriented. Excuse me, does anyone know where I can find some tea? Why, yes. We actually have an excellent selection of teas just over there on the wall behind you. Don't worry, Olivia isn't going to hold it against you for not wanting coffee. Well, thank goodness for that. Hey, did you guys hear about that new superhero movie they're filming around town? In our very own city. Do you think they'll come to our humble little coffee shop? Imagine having an actor from one of those movies come in every day. It would be great for business. Then you'd better start practicing your superhero latte art. My attempts at latte art usually end up looking more like blobs than superheroes. Toby, a young employee, enters the shop with a shaky smile. Hey, guys. Um, boss? There's a health inspector outside. That can't be right. We don't have an inspection scheduled for today. Maybe it's one of those surprise inspections they do sometimes. What do we do? All right, everybody stay calm. Just make sure everything is clean and up to code. We've got this. You know for all our crazy antics, I think we make a great team. I couldn't agree more. It's never a dull moment here at Carbon Coffee. I just hope those Hollywood types have a sense of humor. Who knows, maybe they'll film a scene here. Well, that would be something, wouldn't it? Hey, guys. Guess who just walked in? The director of the new superhero movie. Morning, Chris. Any fun plans for the weekend? Not really, just binge watching some shows. You? Same here. I've got a new sci-fi series to dive into. Guys, 
you're never going to believe what happened. What is it, Bruce? I met Ben Mala yesterday. No way. The Bidian S space enthusiast? Yes. And he said he's looking for an out-of-this-world coffee experience for his astronauts on their next mission. That's amazing. But how do we create coffee fit for astronauts? How about adding some edible glitter to make it look like it's from space? Maybe, or adding some kind of unique blend of spices to give it an unearthly flavor. Or even using a special brewing technique? We need something truly groundbreaking. Any progress? Still searching for that perfect recipe. Don't worry, we'll find it before Ben and his crew arrive. We could infuse it with some interesting flavors like lavender or rosemary. Or perhaps we could try a different roast for the beans. Keep experimenting, we've got this. Watch out, Chris. We're gonna blast your taste buds into another galaxy with this new brew. Wow, that's intense. We're definitely onto something here. Do you think the astronauts will be able to handle the intensity? They're astronauts. They can handle anything. That's the spirit. Let's keep working on this till it's out of this world perfect. So, what's the plan for the big day when Ben Mala and his crew come in? We have a variety of options for them to taste and choose from. All with that special rocket beans touch. I can't wait to see their reactions. We've got the coffee, the presentation, everything is set. Are we ready for this? As ready as NASA during a shuttle launch. Our rocket beans are going to make history. Let's do this. Ben Mala, you guys did an outstanding job with this coffee. Thank you. We're so excited to be a part of this. Can you believe our coffee is now in outer space? It's surreal. I feel like we've just had our own mini moon landing. Bruce. It finally came. My one-of-a-kind carbon coffee uniform. Yeah, it's definitely one-of-a-kind, all right. Do you think they're here because of... The bubble wrap bonanza? Most likely. This suit represents Carbon Coffee's commitment to environmental sustainability. We're here at Carbon Coffee, where the employees have taken their love for the environment to a whole new level. That was so embarrassing. I can't believe they called it the bubble wrap bonanza. At least people might come in to check us out. Bob Marley, hey, you all made it on the news. I love the message you're sending about the environment, but this is too much. You know what? Maybe you two were right. This bubble wrap suit isn't very practical for work. Took you long enough to realize that, boss. It seems our unexpected news feature increased our customers. It appears that the bubble wrap bonanza isn't such a bad thing after all. You know what they say, any publicity is good publicity. Here's a little something for you. Our viewers loved your dedication to the environment. Keep up the great work. So, boss. Any more ideas for eco-friendly uniforms? Maybe not uniforms, but today has given me some new ideas for promoting sustainability. We'll see. Customer is this the place with the bubble wrap guy from the news? Customer yeah, I heard they reuse all their packaging and donate their coffee grounds to a community garden. Cool, right? You know, we should create a monthly green day event where customers receive discounts if they bring reusable mugs or plant a tree. I like that idea. But can we do it without you wearing another ridiculous outfit? Deal. But I have to say, it's been quite an incredible journey since the bubble wrap bonanza. At least now everyone knows we're serious about saving the planet. One hilarious mishap at a time. The end. We really need to find a sustainable source for these Mars beans, Elon. We can't let the world run out of such perfection. Elon Musk well, I've actually been working on it. Planning to set up a space cafe in the near future. Ooh, a space cafe? Sounds exciting. Well that's fantastic, how are we supposed to sustain our business here on Earth if we're constantly running out of your magical beans? Trevor Noah Simple just get yourself a rocket and fly to my space cafe every time you run low on beans. Hmm. You know. That might not be such a bad idea. Bruce, you can't be serious. Bruce, we can barely afford our rent, let alone a spaceship. Elon Musk who said anything about buying the rocket? Why not build one instead? You're right. Chris, Olivia, I think it's time we take Carbon Coffee Shop. Interstellar. So, when do we start building? Elon Musk. Just gather some folks who are good with DIY projects and I'll meet you guys at the back of the coffee shop tomorrow. I'll show you all you need to know. Hey, Aziz. Could you please pass even levels of velocity integrator? Aziz Ansari. 
Wow, Chris. Quite the vocab. I mean, yeah, sure thing. Amy Poehler. So when we get this thing up and running, can we stop by the International Space Station for a restroom break? You know, they have the best vending machines in space. Elon Musk. We'll see what we can do. John Oliver. I can already imagine the headlines local coffee shop blasts off into outer space. Well, Satoshi, what can we get for you today? I'll have my usual, a double espresso, paid for in Bitcoin, of course. Customer, is this hack going to affect Carbon Coffee's crypto funds? Don't worry, folks. Our funds are safe and secure, as safe as anything in the world of crypto. You could say our crypto experiment gave us change we can't believe in. Or maybe we're just serving up more latte risk than we can handle. Guys, we need to find a way to win back the trust of our customers while still taking advantage of the crypto craze. How about we accept stable coins? They're tied to the value of a traditional currency, so they're less volatile and might put customers at ease. I've always wanted to tip our customers for a change. How about we create our own custom tokens and reward people for regularly coming into the shop? That's it. The perfect blend of crypto innovation and community building. We'll call them carbon coins. Customer I've earned enough carbon coins for a free cappuccino. That's the spirit. Enjoy your cryptoxino. I have great news. I just put all my savings into bite bucks. It's the next big thing. You guys should start accepting it right away. Jeremy, we appreciate the enthusiasm, but we're sticking to our carbon coins for now. Hey, Satoshi, what do you think about the whole bite bucks craze? There will always be a new hype, chasing profits or dreams. The true value comes from building something real and lasting. That's what makes a currency strong. Well said, Satoshi. Something real and lasting? PFFT. Whatever. You'll regret not getting in on the ground floor of Bitebox. You know what? I think Satoshi's right. We've created something special here with Carbon Coins, and it's because we stayed true to ourselves and our community. Agreed. And besides, we have enough crypto shenanigans to keep us entertained. We're serving up smiles and caffeinating our crypto community. What more could we ask for? Morning, Dr. Tartar. The usual extra hot soy latte coming right up. Jill Tartar just what I need to fuel my search for extraterrestrial life today. I'm still amazed by what you do, Dr. Tata. I mean outer space, that's way cooler than working in a coffee shop. Ladies and gentlemen, behold Carbon Coffee's latest innovation the Bean Rocket. Tell me that's not actually supposed to be some avant-garde decor. This is the beginning of the space coffee age. Okay, Bruce. We'll just roll with it. Jill Tata I have to admit, it is quite eye-catching. Olivia. Set up the bean rocket near the register. Let's make history. You know, ever since we added the bean rocket, things have been more interesting here. Oh yeah, definitely. But if we're required to wear spacesuits anytime soon, I'm out. Jill Tata now that'd be an experience worth telling people about. Maybe a new uniform is just what we need to boost sales. You know, Bruce, the bean rocket idea wasn't totally out of this world. I bet we could do something fun with it. Yeah. Maybe it's time we rethink our whole approach. Jill Tartar, why not embrace it? You could become the first space-themed coffee shop in town. It could be galactically delicious. Considering that we serve legendary cosmologist Jill Tartar, it's kind of fitting. Bruce just ordered us astronaut helmets. Now we're definitely embracing the space coffee vibe. Jill Tartar, make sure you save one for me. I'll need a break from SETI life. In that case, I should start working on an outer space menu. Mars Mocha? I never thought we'd be wearing astronaut helmets while serving coffee. It's unforgettable, to say the least. I can only imagine what people are saying when they walk by. Jill Tart. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special guest arriving shortly. Oh? Who might that be? Satya Nadella. CEO of Microsoft. Oh, you mean the tech genius who has nothing better to do than visit our humble coffee shop on a regular basis? Yeah, he practically lives here. Even global masterminds need caffeine. Now, I want this place to be impeccable. 
It's just a little caffeine, right? You know our dear boss. Everything needs to be dramatic. And to make it extra memorable, we're serving a limited edition Sadia Super Shot the most caffeinated coffee in history. That sounds like a terrible idea. I'm pretty sure that borders on being illegal. Nonsense. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Let's make this happen. All right. So, how do we pull off a dangerously caffeinated concoction? I guess we just triple our strongest espresso. Let's do it. But we have to warn him before he drinks it, right? Absolutely. We don't need a lawsuit on our hands. Welcome to Carbon Coffee, Mr. Nadella. We've got something special prepared just for you. Oh, what's that? Behold, the Satya Super Shot. Wait, just so you know, this isn't your average espresso shot. It's, uh, super powered. By which we mean it has triple the caffeine. Like, a lot of caffeine. Interesting. I'm always up for trying new things. Bottoms up. How is it? How do you feel? It's potent, but good. No ill effects at the moment. Keep us posted on that, will you? We've attached a liability waiver for you to sign when you're done. Is that what this paperwork is for? I thought I was signing up for a rewards card. We have those too. But the waiver comes first. So, Mr. Nab. Guys, I have the most amazing idea for our next big product. You'll love it. All right, Bruce. What is it this time? Carbonated coffee. You're kidding, right? That sounds interesting. Trust me. It's going to be a game changer. People will flock from everywhere just to get a taste of our new carbonated coffee. Well, I guess it's worth a shot. Let's see how it goes. Ladies and gentlemen. Fizzpresso. It's our boss's latest concoction, carbonated coffee. We've been assured it will change the world of coffee as we know it. Ed Sheeran takes a sip of the newly invented Fizzpresso and loves it. He posts about it on social media, bringing in a crowd. Ed Sheeran this is amazing. I'm definitely posting about this on my Instagram. Really? You like it that much? The carbonation machine breaks down, filling the shop with foam. What's happening? The machine's gone haywire. I think it's safe to say Fizzpresso has taken on a life of its own. We'd better start cleaning up. Chris asks Bruce how he came up with the idea of carbonated coffee while they clean up. So, Bruce. Carbonated coffee? What were you thinking? Come on. It's an innovative idea. I just wanted to bring something new and different to the table. Well, you certainly did that. But maybe next time we should do some testing before we introduce things like carbonation machines and foam parties. Ed Sheeran. That was so much fun. Can I play a little gig for you guys? Of course. We'd love that, Ed. You know, maybe the fizz. How's that new blend coming along, Chris? Fantastic. It's got notes of dark chocolate and caramel, with just a hint of pretentiousness. Speaking of pretentiousness, check out these new bamboo straws we got in. They're so eco-friendly, they practically scream I hug trees. Ah, just what our hipster clientele wants to hear. Bill Burr why does everyone look so smug today? We finally perfected our new coffee blend. It's like heaven in a cup. Bill Burr I'll believe it when I taste it. Careful, Bill. You may never want any other coffee again. Customer what's the difference between a cappuccino and a flat white? The foam to milk ratio, obviously. Customer right. Okay. I'll just have a black coffee. One carbon black coming right up. Bilber, wow, this actually is pretty good. What did you put in it? Unicorn tears? Ha ha, no. But don't be surprised if you become addicted to it. Here you are, a cup of heaven on earth. Bilber, you guys ought to trademark this stuff. Wait, does this mean I can no longer joke about your terrible coffee? We're going to need new material, Bill. With all the characters that come through here, I'm sure you won't have any trouble finding something to laugh about. Never a dull moment at Carbon Coffee. Customer enters, an older gentleman with a bushy gray beard and wearing suspenders. Customer hey there. I'd like a double shot of wheatgrass and an oat milk latte, please. Bill Burr here's your new material. Welcome, welcome. What can I get you all on?
So, have you guys heard about that new study? You know, the one that says coffee is good for your heart? Uh, yeah, Bruce. We hear about a new coffee study every other week. Everything is either bad for you or good for you depending on the day. I'm pretty sure that last week we heard that coffee could cure the common cold, and now it's practically the fountain of youth. Well, I say more power to us for providing such a life-sustaining beverage to the masses. Amy maybe your next venture could be marketing immortality potions. Hey, as long as we can guarantee eternal youth in every cup, let's start making office-themed potions. Ah, yes, nothing says stay forever young quite like the smell of stale printer ink and spreadsheets. But let's not forget our most loyal customers the something hipsters who claim their soul began in the age of jazz. But Olivia, without artisan coffee shops, how would any of us know what poor souls are missing? Wait, are we still on this climbing the beans ladder thing? Climbing the behind, cha-ching, cha-ching. This time I really can't breathe. Oh me either. Can you picture it? People from all around in business attire grip a holding onto their cups of java, scaling ladders like it's Mount Everest. In a surprising turn of events, the coffee shop switches to rock climbing gear and helmets. Not a bad way to get that morning adrenaline rush. You fall, you wake up. I like how we all bonded today over a horribly ridiculous idea. Any more brilliant schemes in the works, boss? You know, I've been toying around with the concept of edible cups. Well, as long as they're not served on a ladder, I think we're good. But seriously, think about it. We already offer recyclable cups, why not take it a step further and save the planet one edible cup at a time? You know what? Doesn't sound too bad at all. But make sure it doesn't compromise the taste of the coffee. Hear that, Bruce? We may have stumbled upon your next big idea. Just remember we all had a part in this. Oh, absolutely. And if it goes south, I'll be sure to spread the blame equally. All right. Guys, let's give this new concoction a try. It looks more like a deflated frisbee than a cup. We'll call it the pancake cup. Sure to revolutionize the breakfast industry. Just so we're clear, we're serving them flat side up, right? How very avon. I still can't believe we sold an entire batch of the Great Pudding Mystery. You know, sometimes our biggest successes come from our most unexpected ideas. Oh, speaking of unexpected ideas. Remember the sassy sarsaparilla smoothie? That was definitely unexpected. Oh, please. I thought the customer was going to ask for their money back. Tim Urban Well, you never know where the next big idea will come from. We should make this a regular feature. We could call it Mystery Dessert Mondays. But what about when people find out how it started? I guess that's just part of the mystery. Tim Urban you guys could use a slogan. Here we go. Tim Urban Carbon Coffee where every day is a mysterious adventure. Not bad. You're onto something there, Tim. So how about this? We create a drink called Timothy's Odyssey. Tim Urban like a grand epic adventure? Exactly. And we won't tell anyone what's in it. They'll have to taste and discover for themselves. Tim Urban it could really make an impact in the coffee world. Next big trend, I'm telling you, I've got to say. Today was a big success. Yeah, we really pulled it off. Who knew the great pudding mystery would actually turn out to be a hit? Tim Urban well, it just goes to show, you never know where life's going to take you. And, you never know what mysteries lie in store here at Carbon Coffee. You guys have any ideas about what to do with all these leftover donut crumbs? Easy donut dip in dust. Wait. That's actually a good idea. We? Morning, Olivia. How was the gig last night? Oh, you know, same all. I played some tunes, made a few bucks. But enough about me, how was your date with that girl from the gym? Hey, we talked about protein shakes for like an hour. Pretty sure our relationship peaked. Well, at least she's passionate about something. Hey there, my coffee-loving youngsters. What's the buzz this morning? Oh, just discussing Chris's riveting love life. Ah, young love. So unpredictable and fleeting. Thanks for the words of wisdom, Buddha Bruce. Olivia Well, speak of the devil. It's our favorite mystery man. Mikhail. Why the long face? Need a caffeine pick-me-up? You could say that. Olivia and I will conjure up something magical for you, Mikhail. I'll wait with bated breath. Don't you worry. We've got this. Oops. My bad, everyone. 
nothing to see here. All good, no harm done. All right, let's get our heads back in the game. Mickey G deserves nothing but the best. You're right. Onwards and upwards. Your artistic touch is unparalleled. How about we go for something visually stunning? Hmm, perhaps a touch of these flavored syrups. They always add a nice pop of color. Perfect. And I'll top it off with a whipped cream mountain. But first, let's get the espresso just right. Ah yes, the foundation of any good coffee creation. This is delicious, truly remarkable work. Thank you, Mikhail. We aim to please. Well, you've certainly exceeded my expectations. You too. You've made Carbon Coffee proud. Thanks, but really, we couldn't have done it without each other. Teamwork makes the dream work. PSSD, can I get one of those Mickey G specials as well? Of course. But remember, it's our little secret. This place will be known for its secret menu in no time. I'll look forward to discovering more of your hidden gems. Remember, if you want excellent coffee and a sense of adventure, Carbon Coffee's the place to be. And who knows? Maybe we'll have more mystery men pop up. As long as they appreciate our creative genius, why not? We wouldn't want to exclude anyone. You know, I was thinking of ways to make Carbon Coffee stand out more. Like, really put us on the map. Oh yeah. What crazy idea do you have this time, Bruce? I call it. The Meme Machine. A machine that churns out unique and relatable memes for our customers. Oh great, another one of Bruce's brilliant ideas. Hey, I'm serious. We start posting funny memes on our social media pages, and people will flock to us. You really think people will come to our coffee shop because we post memes? Think about it, most coffee shops only show off their fancy latte art. We can corner the market. You know what? I like this idea. I'll make you a deal. If you can create a meme that goes viral by tomorrow, I'll write a whole new chapter in my next book praising carbon coffee. Hold on guys, I got it. We combine two things customers love coffee and climate change. Uh, what? No, wait, listen. We create a meme showing that in order to prevent icebergs from melting, people should buy our coffee. Carbon coffee saves the planet, one cup at a time. It's so ridiculous, it might actually work. Well, I'll be. You managed to go viral. Quite the crazy idea, Bruce. I have to say, this whole meme machine idea really paid off, Bruce. And we didn't even need an actual machine. Just our creativity. Now who would have thought the real meme was in us all along? Customer so, I heard you guys went viral on social media. Yeah, it's been a crazy ride. Customer can I get one of those environmentally friendly lattes to save the planet? You got it. Guys, do you realize what this means? We now have people coming in from all over because of our memes. Maybe we should branch out and make more memes about different topics. I like where your head's at, but let's not. Thanks for saying that, Bruce. It's incredible what a little soup can do for your confidence. And our reputation. Our business has been booming ever since we won the competition. With success comes responsibility. We need to make sure we're on top of our game at all times. Speaking of which, did we ever settle on who will be responsible for creating soups each week? I thought we agreed that Olivia would be in charge since she was the mastermind behind our winning soup, didn't we? Well, I don't think it has to be one person's sole responsibility. We could take turns if you two wanted to try your hand at soup making. I'm open to the idea, but with one condition, we have to create a foolproof way of determining whose week it is. I don't want any confusion, especially when Chris starts coming up with wild, borderline inedible combinations. I'll have you know my experiments may be unconventional, but they are always delicious. Alright, alright, let's get a calendar on the bulletin board and establish a rotating schedule. So... Who wants to kick off our new rotating soup schedule? Why not start with Chris, for his unorthodox yet delicious creations. You won't regret this, guys. I've got some delicious ideas I've been dying to try out. We'll see about that, buddy. This is going to be an instant classic. Whatever monstrosity he creates, you can't say we didn't give him a chance. Should we market this as soup at your own risk? More like anonymous donation to Olivia's coffee fund for each bowl finished. Moment of truth, guys. Dig in. Hey, this is actually pretty good. I must admit it's not.
I can't believe it's been a week since Billie Eilish was here. And the number of followers our cafe's Instagram has gotten since then is insane. That whole day was a wild ride. But remember, we need to stay focused on our customers and not let this attention get to our heads. Customer this is the place where Billy had that carbon coffee cosmos. Customer I want to try one so bad. I bet it's amazing. Customer so, what exactly is in the carbon coffee cosmos? Well, we use a blend of our finest beans, whisked together with some homemade almond milk, and topped with whipped cream and stardust sprinkles. Stardust sprinkles give it that outer space touch Billy loves. Customer in that case, I'll have one, please. Customer can't pass it up either, count me in. Customer I heard Billy is working on a new album. Customer really? Best news I've heard today. You know, guys, I heard she might even drop by again sometime. Let's all remember to not spread rumors or get too worked up. Let's enjoy our coffee. Mrs. Ruth excuse me, dear barista. Could I get some help? Of course, mom. What can we do for you? Mrs. Ruth I'd like to try this carbon coffee cosmos you're all raving about, but I need it decaffeinated, doctor's orders. No problem. Mrs. Ruth. We actually have a decaffeinated version just for customers like yourself. Mrs. Ruth perfect. And speaking of Billie Eilish, does anyone know if she'll be doing any more public appearances in the area soon? We don't know that, Mom, but we'll keep our eyes open. That's it, Bruce, move the espresso machine a little to the left. Perfect. Great, now I have no more energy for the day. Just drink an espresso, boss. Guys, you won't believe what I discovered. You finally realize that leggings are pants? No, no. That debate is far from over. I found a treasure map in my attic last night. A treasure map? What kind of treasure are we talking about? According to the legend, it leads to a hidden chest filled with magical coffee beans. Magical, huh? As much as I love anything pirate-related, I'm gonna need a bit more context. Legend has it these beans can turn the worst comedian into a comedic genius after just one sip. Really? We've got to get our hands on them. We have to enter. The Bermuda Triangle. The what? It's like the Bermuda Triangle, but for coffee. I heard the area brews the best and most fantastic coffee ever. Well... That sounds amazing. But how do we even begin our quest? By joining forces with Coffee Captain Jack. Is that an actual person or the bottled rum inside your duffel bag? He's real, I promise. Let's find him. Coffee Captain Jack Ahoy, mateys. Welcome aboard the Caffeine Crusader. Are you ready to embark on this legendary quest with us? Coffee Captain Jack, absolutely. Just show me the map, and we'll steer our way to the magical coffee beans. I'm so excited, I feel like I'm in a seafaring adventure novel. Please don't make me swab the deck. So, according to this map, we need to follow the Mocha Mainstream, turn left at Creamer's Cove, then head straight towards Joe's Java Island. What kind of obstacles will we face along the way? Coffee Captain Jack Well, there's a chance we might encounter dangerous whirlpools, mermaids with irresistible latte offers, and of course, the legendary Kraken Espresso. Oh joy. Don't worry, boss. We'll protect you from any caffeinated sea monsters. I can't believe we finally found the magical coffee beans. Now, let's test it out on ourselves first. Bottoms up. Can someone record this experiment? So if something goes haywire, we have video proof? Fine. One, two, three. Hey, guys. Did you hear about that crazy latte machine contest? What contest? Some company is giving away a brand new top-of-the-line latte machine to the coffee shop that can make them laugh the hardest. That sounds fun. We should definitely enter. Wait, so all we have to do is make them laugh? We're in. Oh? Guys, we have a problem here. What is it? The deadline was yesterday. We missed it? Dang it, we worked so hard on that video. Hannibal Burris, hey. You guys are my favorite coffee shop. What's going on? We made this hilarious video for a crazy latte machine contest, but we missed the deadline. Hannibal Burris. Oh yeah. Let me take a look. 
Hannibal Burris. This is comedy gold. You know what? I've got an idea. Company representative, over phone your video had such an incredible response online that we've decided to award you the crazy latte machine, even though your submission was late. Congratulations. Olivia, Bruce, and Chris. Thank you so much. Hey, Olivia. How's it going with that crazy latte machine? It's amazing. Check out this new drink I just made. Wow, that looks great. Oh, speaking of which. Yes? What is it? I just remembered this joke I heard the other day. You want to hear it? Sure, hit me with your best shot. Why did the coffee file a police report? I don't know, why? Because it was mugged, that's a good one, Chris. It reminds me, I heard another coffee joke recently. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, sure. What is it? Why do they call coffee beans beans? I'm not sure, why? Because if they called them seeds, everyone would plant them in the ground instead of drinking them. Alright, here's one for you guys. Why did the espresso keep checking his watch? No clue, why? He didn't want to be late Tay. Oh man, this reminds me of another one. What did the blanket say to the coffee? What did it say? You're too hot to handle. What do you think that headgear is about? Looks like they're from the local sci-fi convention. They're probably characters from Fruity Galaxies or something. Oh, how exciting. Carbon Coffee has never hosted such galactic guests. Welcome to Carbon Coffee, all you Fruity Galaxians. Today's special is the Cosmic Cappuccino. It's out of this world. What's with all the excitement here today? There's a sci-fi convention in town, and Bruce decided to create a themed drink for them. Can you hurry up with our Cosmic Cappuccinos? We're going as fast as we can. You guys need any help? Yeah, that would be great, Owen. Thanks. In costume customer these cosmic cappuccinos really are out of this world. We'll definitely recommend this place to all our fellow convention goers. The in costume customers file out of the store, leaving it much quieter than before. Seems like things are finally settling down here. Thank you all for helping make this cosmic cappuccino day a success. No problem, boss. Just give us some heads up next time. Lesson learned, my solar supernovas. Hey, Chris. Fancy helping me test out some new latte art techniques? Of course. I've heard the swan is quite popular these days. A swan? You better make it as gossipy as possible, or we'll have no chance against the competition. Oh, Mikhail, don't worry, I've got this covered with my dance moves on TikTok. We're unstoppable. Let's not forget, the quality of our coffee has always been our trump card. My followers are dropping like flies and rumor has it everyone's talking about that gossip bean place. Well, you can't beat a good secret. Maybe we should start whispering sweet nothings to our beans, too. Or maybe we could just improve our relationships with our customers and give them an unforgettable experience, so they keep coming back. That's a great idea, Olivia. What if we offered free coffee tastings and let customers vote on their favorites? Customer wow. I've never had coffee like this before. How do you guys do it? We let you create your own custom blend right here in our shop, and we even name it after you. Customer I love that you make us feel special. And don't forget that I offer personalized dance lessons with every purchase of our signature blend. Sure, Bruce, because everyone loves the side of dancing with their coffee. You know, we're doing great engaging with our customers, but I feel like we need a viral campaign to really put us back in the limelight. How about hashtag carbon coffee custom blends? Nice try but my dances are still what makes us truly unique. I'll add them to the background of every video with a new hashtag. Deal. Let's do it. Well, guys, looks like the combination of dedication and the right amount of humility saved us. Totally. Our personal approach to coffee won over the gossipy gimmicks of our competition. Don't forget the power of good gossip, though. After all, it brought us here in the first place. I still think it was my killer dance moves that saved the day. Let's just agree that teamwork makes the dream work. Amen to that. Also, any publicity is good publicity. Customer this place has the best lattes and entertainment. Are you hiring by any chance? We're always on the lookout for talented people who love coffee. But only if you can dance, or have a deep appreciation for a perfectly pulled espresso shot. 
or if you can at least gossip about it convincingly. Guys, with all this hype, we're gonna need more staff. No problem. We've got tons of great customers who'd be perfect for the job, and I can train them in my unique choreographed dances. Thankfully, we learned that there's more to running a coffee shop than just serving drinks and gossiping. That's right, guys. We made it because... All right, team. Are we ready for the big day? Big day. It looks like a typical Tuesday to me. Oh, Olivia. So naive yet so hilarious. Today is the day Chris Latner comes in to sample and judge all of our coffee creations. He'll be our unofficial coffee critic. Sweet. I've got this perfectly balanced cold brew espresso shot that I've been working on. The judges will love it. Inciting incident Bruce this is it. Showtime. Let's give him our best creations. On it. Boss, we're out of the special beans. Chris what? But we got a shipment yesterday. Where did they all go? Mr. Latner, would you like a complimentary croissant while you wait? Our bakery is unmatched. Chris Latner sure, why not? Coffee and croissant. The perfect pairing, like Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Got it. Let's make these drinks snappy and keep this between us. Apologies for the wait, sir. We only strive to provide you with the best coffee experience possible. Chris Latner, I appreciate that. Now, which concoctions do you have for me to try? Chris Latner, hum. This cappuccino is exquisite, and this cold. You know what's funny? I never thought I'd get this good at making cotton candy. It's all in the wrist. But hey, at least it was a nice break from the latte art. Ah, my loyal subjects. How did we fare after our first ever cotton candy day? Surprisingly well. Customers seemed to enjoy the novelty, and sales were up. Not to mention, it gave a lot of people a reason to smile. Who knew cotton candy and coffee could go so well together? I knew. The king of cotton candy knows all. Well, don't let it go to your head. It's just one day a year. Speaking of which, I think we should start planning for next year's Cotton Candy Day. We need to top this year's extravaganza, already. But we literally just finished the first one. Time waits for no one, my friends. Especially not the king of cotton candy. Vince Surf good morning, everyone. Planning another event already? It seems our boss is unsatisfied with just one successful event under his belt. Vince Surf I think it's great to see ambition like that. So. What have you all got planned for the next big thing? We're going even bigger. A cotton candy castle. Oh, great. Because nothing says mature coffee shop like a giant castle made of cotton candy. Think of the possibilities, Olivia. Starbucks may have their seasonal drinks, but can they offer their customers a taste of royalty? It does sound interesting, but are we sure that's the best way to approach our regular customers? Well, we've always been known for our unique atmosphere. Why not take it to the next level? Vince Surf you know what? I like the idea. Life's too short to be worried about fitting in. Embrace your inner cotton candy royalty, I say. Of course you would. Yes. We shall be pioneers. The world needs more cotton candy in their lives. The Carbon Coffee staff, led by Bruce, start planning the Cotton Candy Castle event, involving sketches of castles made entirely of cotton candy and arranging special promotions. They also practice crafting cotton candy into various structural forms to create a one-of-a-kind experience. End of montage. Vince Sir. Wow, you all really went all out on this. I'm genuinely impressed. Yeah, I never thought I'd get this good at sculpting cotton candy. You've got an artist's touch, Olivia. You were meant for this. Lovely people of this caffeine-infused kingdom. Feast your eyes on the glorious cotton candy castle. Hooray for the Cotton Candy King. Honestly, I didn't think people would buy into this as much as they have. Hey, yeah. So, now that we've officially made our mark with the Great Jello Incident, what's our next big idea? Maybe something a little less messy this time. How about a coffee-themed escape room? Interesting. Go on, 
Chris, well, we could have customers try to solve puzzles and clues related to our different coffee blends and brewing techniques. And once they solve everything, they get a free cup of coffee. That's a pretty neat idea. What do you think, Bruce? I like it. It's fun, engaging, and educational. Russell Peters, I would definitely try that. In fact, count me in as your first customer when it's ready. Will do, Russell. Thanks for the support. We might have another hit on our hands here. I told you, there's no harm in taking things to a whole new level of fun. Jessica, a local reporter, enters the coffee shop to interview Bruce about Carbon Coffee's recent success. Excuse me, are you Bruce? Bruce, yes, that's me. How can I help you? My name is Jessica and I'm a reporter for the local news channel. After hearing about your innovative ideas, I was wondering if I could interview you for a story? Of course. We'd be happy to share our secret recipe for success. Customers are enjoying their drinks and watching the interview on live TV. I can't believe Bruce is on TV right now. At this rate, we'll be famous everywhere in no time. Do you guys remember when we were just another coffee shop? It seems like ages ago. But look at us now. We've created something that brings people together, educates them, and of course, provides great coffee. Russell Peters, hey Bruce, what's your next crazy project? Well, I was thinking about creating a barista training course that includes juggling coffee beans. You're joking, right? You'll just have to wait and see. Customer, this place never ceases to amaze me. Customer agreed. I can't wait to see what they come up with next. Oh my God, Bruce. You were serious. Of course. Life. You might want to make sure that's straight, Bruce. What do you mean, straight? It looks perfectly fine to me. Oh yeah, that sign is as straight as a curly fry. Ah, H. Hi Steve. Welcome back to Carbon Coffee. Steve Martin thanks, it's always great to be here. What's new today? We're getting ready for our first ever comedy night called The Shot of Hilarity. I made the sign myself. What do you think? Steve Martin very creative. And now, let us welcome our special guest, the one and only, Steve Martin. Steve Martin, hey, did you happen to book any other comedians for this event? Uh, well, I thought you being here would be enough. Steve Martin, well, let's make the best of it. I'll do a set, and then maybe we can do an open mic? Great idea. Now, let's give a warm welcome to the next amazing comedian for tonight's open mic, Chris. So, I recently moved into a new place, and I must say, I have never seen so many spiders in my life. It's like they're all auditioning for the next Spider-Man movie. Speaking of bugs, have you ever wondered why mosquitoes are so attracted to some people and not others? I'm starting to think I must smell like chocolate chip cookies. Yes, and don't even get me started on ants. Did they seriously have to choose my kitchen as their path to world domination? And can you believe they had the nerve to form a conga line across my counter? I guess it's not really stealing if they're dancing, right? But on a more serious note, isn't it fascinating how much we all have in common with these little creatures? I mean, we all have our daily struggles, don't we? Yes. Whether you're a human trying to make ends meet or an ant just looking for its next crumb, we can all relate to each other on some level. Plus, I think we can all agree, whipped cream is life. Steve Martin. That was great, you too. Really enjoyed your set. Okay, now who wants to see Bruce take a shot at stand-up comedy? Oh, I'm no comedian, but I could give it a go. Steve Martin just remember, the key is to be genuine and take risks. Let's see what you got. You know, being a coffee shop owner isn't easy, especially when your health consists of cappuccinos experts and side gigs as comedians. Hey, we do our best. I recently started using online dating, which has been quite interesting. My first date said my profile was as awkward as my sign hanging skills. Do you think people will actually show up wearing fruit hats? If it means free espresso shots and a chance to see Tina Turner, why not? Feast your eyes on this, team. This is going to be the biggest hit since Toasted Language Tuesdays. You mean the event that had three people show up speaking different languages while eating toast? Yes, that one. Now, I need you both to make some fruit hats, stat. The customers will be here any minute. 
Tina Turner darlings, I hear I'm getting a free espresso shot for this hat, so let's make it happen. We're live on KTVR where pop icon, Tina Turner, is kicking off Carbon Coffee's Fruitastic Hat Day event. Let's see those fruit hats. I can't believe this is happening. We're swamped. At least we finally have a successful event. Toasted Language Tuesday's got nothing on Fruitastic Hat Day. Olivia, quickly, get some more beans from the storeroom. We'll lose customers if we don't act fast. The chaos begins to subside, and the fruit hat wearing crowd slowly disperses, leaving the coffee shop a veritable mess. I never thought I'd say this, but thank goodness we're out of espresso beans. Yeah, I think it's time for us to invest in a bigger supply for next time, or at least a better understanding of Bruce's marketing ideas. I'll admit, I didn't think Fruitastic Hat Day would be a hit, but we really pulled it off somehow. Yeah, who would have thought Tina Turner's grape hat would bring in such a crowd and free press? And actually selling out of espresso for once? It just goes to show that my absurd ideas can pay off. Much better than Toasted Language Tuesdays, right? That we need to prepare better when Bruce comes up with one of his unique ideas. And that Tina Turner is amazing. Count us in, Jensen. Your success is our success, after all. Speaking of collaborations, did you hear about the sandwich artist who only uses eco-friendly ingredients? Yeah, he calls himself the Sustained Bish Master. His signature lunch creation? The Carbon Substractor. Celeste Schumacher Oh, Chris, you should design shoes based on your humor alone. People would never walk a sad step again. That's it. That can be our next project. Carbon coffee branded shoes with hilariously punny phrases on them. Step up to laughter with every stride. Max Speedwell. Celeste Shoemaker, I've seen what a big hit your sustainable safety shoes have become, and I wanted to apologize for suing you earlier. Can you help me conquer my fear of shoes by teaching me how to design a perfect pair using your new methods? Celeste Shoemaker. Of course, Max, I'd be honored to transform your fear into creative energy. I heard on the news about a pen company that just released a line of recyclable pens. Introducing the first ever green penmanship. Right away your waste. Jensen Huang Hei, Celeste, did you know that engineering new shoe designs is actually quite similar to developing groundbreaking technology? Celeste Shoemaker of course. It's all about finding the right balance and support system. Max Speedwell funny how conquering my fear required both innovation and humor. That's because creativity and laughter are the best ways to face our fears head on. In other news, a major company has just announced their latest sustainable project a line of biodegradable shoes made from coffee grounds. That's it. Our next big idea, let's create a line of shoes using coffee grounds from Carbon Coffee. We could call them Perky Steps. They'll walk all over the competition. But how would we make sure they're safe? We don't want another coffee heel incident. Jensen Huang no worries, I'll provide some ecotech expertise to ensure maximum safety while walking the walk. Celeste Shoemaker imagine the possibilities. Espresso loafers, cappuccino sneakers, Americano pumps. Max Speedwell you know, I'd be happy to promote these shoes and share my journey of overcoming my shoe phobia. What a great way to bring full circle the commotion created by those coffee cup heels. I think I'm getting the hang of this latte art thing, check out my recent masterpiece. Wow, Olivia. I've never seen anything like it. Soon enough, you'll be the super barista hero. Did someone say super barista hero? That's what we need to take carbon coffee to the next level. Well, Bruce, it's just a silly title we came up with. There's no way Richard Pryor, ah, don't be so humble, kid. If you ever perfect that art, Make sure it doesn't go to waste on the floor. That's it. We need a competition, a super barista showdown. Olivia, Chris, you're both in. Hold on, boss. A competition. Yeah, Bruce. It's just a joke, really. No, no. Look at how excited everyone is. You two will battle it out for the prestigious title of super barista hero. Customer, ooh, I want to place a bet. Customer, this is going to be awesome. Well, I guess it's happening now. May the best barista win. Bring it on, buddy. All right, you too. You both get 10 minutes to create a single masterpiece latte. 
we'll have our distinguished guest, Mr. Richard Pryor, judge your creations after that. On your mark, get set, go. Richard Pryor. These two know how to put on a show. Time's up. Olivia, present your creation. Ladies and gentlemen, I present, The Great Wave Off Kanagawa. Richard Pryor beautiful work, kid. Just beautiful. All right, Chris, your turn. Behold, everyone. My Mona Lisa Latte. Richard Pryor how am I supposed to decide? Richard Pryor, sir, the decision is in your hands. Who will be the ultimate super barista hero? We did it. Guys. We saved Cobb and Coffee. Honestly, I didn't think that plan would work so smoothly. It's because you had Christina Aguilera on your side. No one can resist her charms. Christina Aguilera you all are amazing. Saving this coffee shop was a team effort. Aw, shucks, Christina. It was nothing, really. Mysterious figure you may have saved your little coffee shop for now, but we'll be back. Who do you think that was? Hmm, I don't know. But I'm sure we'll find out eventually. They serve an eclectic mix of customers while they discuss possible sources of the caffeine conspiracy and brainstorm ways to stop it before it affects carbon coffee again. Mayor Frumpkin. I appreciate what you did last time coffee may be a time for more drastic measures. Perhaps we should consider the possibility of hiring a security team? Maybe that's not a bad idea, Mayor Frumpkin. It could help us identify any troublemakers before they have a chance to act. Yeah, but we'll need a reliable security team. Someone we can trust. I think I might know someone. Allow me to make a phone call. No one's gonna mess with this place on our watch. You've got that right, partner. Mysterious figure you've been quite the thorn in our side, Carbon Coffee Crew. Wait a second, aren't you Barbara Streisand? Bah. Well, that was a close call, wasn't it? You mean with the city inspector? Yeah, we really dodged a bullet there. I'm still amazed at how well you two took care of the situation. Remind me to never get on your bad side. No worries, Bruce. We just knew we had to save the night somehow. Notorious B.I.G. and I appreciate that, guys. You're really good people, and your comedy skills are no joke. Thanks, Biggie. It means a lot coming from you. So, with this successful event under our belts, I think we should start planning our next one. What do you guys think? Count me in. The more laughter, the better. Agreed. Let's make Carbon Coffee the go-to spot for hilarious entertainment. How about a theme night? Like a throwback to these oars? Or maybe we could do an open mic night where customers can join in on the fun? I love both of those ideas. But what about something even bigger? You know, bring in some professional comedians? That would be awesome. Do you know any professional comedians, Bruce? Actually, I think I might have a contact or two. Leave it to me. So, let me get this straight, you want me to perform here at your coffee shop? And it's called a jolt of Java Joy? Exactly. We've already had a successful night with the Notorious B.I.G., and we're looking to make this an ongoing series. Interesting. I've done some unusual gigs before. Why not add a coffee shop to the mix? Count me in. That's fantastic. We are honored to have you on board. Can you believe how much fun people are having? I know. I never thought our little coffee shop would be such a hot spot for laughs. And just imagine what we can do from here. The possibilities are endless. You guys really managed to pull off something incredible here. It was a pleasure to perform for such a warm and welcoming crowd. Thank you, Gina. We couldn't have done it without you. Not to mention how far we've come since our first comedy night. Remember that showdown with the city inspector? I'll never forget it. But look at us now, no more worrying about permits or... Hey Chris, check out the angry guy. Looks like someone needs a decaf extra foam latte with three pumps of soothing caramel. Guys, focus. We have A's night to plan. Sorry, Bruce. It's just, have you seen that guy? He looks miserable. But he came here because of ours event. We should impress him with our radical costumes and upbeat S playlist, right? 
angry man I can't believe I came to Carbon Coffee when it looks like a lost episode of Saved by the Bell. Angry man okay, what's going on? Is this place haunted or something? Haunted? No way. We only serve fresh and organic coffee here, but maybe our S event stirred up some nostalgia spirits. Wait, I saw that book earlier. What if we used it to drive away the ghosts? Seems like it's time for some ghost busting. Angry man do you guys always have this much fun in this coffee shop? If so, I'm coming back every week, thanks. We take pride in serving up laughter with our lattes. Jamie Dim and I heard you have the best quirky coffee shop in town. Could I get a venti latte with an extra shot of eccentricity? Of course. Would you like whipped cream with your order, Mr. Dimon? Jamie Dimon very funny. By the way, you handled those pesky spirits pretty well. Does this mean we've impressed you? Jamie Dimon yes, I will invest. But one thing. Lose these night, it scares up a little more than laughter. To carbon coffee, and making people laugh one cup at a time. And to extinguishing spirit-infused events. Cheers. I swear, this place is a madhouse sometimes. You're telling me. But hey, at least we're never bored. Can't argue with that. Makes my morning coffee more interesting. Alright team, let's buckle down and focus on the mission at hand satisfying our customers' caffeine cravings. If only he channeled that enthusiasm into properly managing the shop. Jack, a regular customer, approaches the counter. Hey guys, can I get a black coffee? No frills. Sure thing, Jack. Coming right up. We could use more customers like him, keeping it simple. True, but where's the fun in that? Ahoy there, Jack. How's your day been? Just another day in paradise, Bruce. What's new around here? Funny you should ask. We've just begun implementing a hot new technique called milk rationing. Oh boy, here we go again. Lucy, a quirky customer, enters the coffee shop. Top of the morning to ya, folks. Can I have an extra large espresso with soy milk and rainbow sprinkles? No more soy milk. Just messing with you. Normal large espresso will do. You got it, Lucy. Mary, a somewhat impatient customer, orders coffee. So, when will this ridiculous milk shortage end? I need my latte. You're in luck, Mary. We've got plenty now. Indeed, it seems that simple communication did the trick. I guess we were all just making things more complicated than they needed to be. I... Sometimes simplicity is key, me hearty. Calvin, an older, wise-looking customer, sits quietly sipping his coffee, watching the chaos unfold before him. You know, I've been coming here for years, and the one thing that has remained constant is, change. That's true. This place is always evolving, and I wouldn't have it any other way. It's the reason why I keep coming back. And the coffee, of course. Of course, the coffee. Here's your double mocha frappuccino. Guess what, guys? Our little carbon coffee has been nominated for best brew award in the city. Woohoo! That means we'll get busier and have to work twice as hard. But, that also means we get a pay raise. And it's about time we put ourselves on the map for our hilarious concoctions. True that. I can see it now, spilling the beans home of the sarcastic baristas. Anna Rose Ivane best brew award, huh? Is it true you have to create a brand new signature drink for the competition? Absolutely, and Olivia and Chris are working on it as we speak. We are. Delivery person delivery for Carbon Coffee. What's this all about? Do we dare try this? It could be our ticket to coffee stardom. Or a one-way ticket to disaster. But hey, what have we got to lose? Customer if it's half as good as your other drinks, we're all in for a treat. Customer I've never tasted anything like your creations before. Good luck. Customer you three will surely come up with something amazing. This is like a chemistry experiment. The last time I felt like this was when we were creating that pumpkin spice latte explosion for Halloween. Customer excuse me, any chance we can try your latest creation? Anna Rose Ivane isn't this something? We're all in this together now. Indeed, we are. Customer I don't know what it is, but this is simply delicious. Anna Rose Iovini I don't know what's in this drink, but it's suddenly making everything twice as funny. Join the club. This strange green powder. Maybe it was sent to us for a reason. We're spilling the beans after all. We can't keep serving this. It's entertaining, 
But there's no telling what might happen if we keep using this green powder. She's right. We should create our own signature drink. All right, let's get to work. We'll need something unique and amazing. Whitney Houston sure loves this place. I wonder if she's planning on investing or something. If only we could get her to start singing in here. It'd be a great way to attract more customers. That's a great idea. You two figure out a way to make that happen and you'll both get a bonus. Greetings, my coffee comrades. Today is the day of the annual unicorn parade and I am here to spread the magic. Hey Marty, do you know Whitney Houston by any chance? Ah, Miss Houston. The greatest voice of all time. We've met once or twice during my philanthropic endeavors. How would you like to have a real live unicorn serenade at your parade? You see, Whitney loves our coffee so much that she might agree to sing a song during the unicorn parade, if you sponsor the event at Carbon Coffee. A serenade by the legendary Whitney Houston herself? Well, that would be the most magical finale to the festival. We'll handle everything. Just make sure to mention that Carbon Coffee is a proud sponsor of the event. Hmm. You got yourself a deal. I'll announce it on stage during the parade. Excellent work, team. This could put our little coffee shop on the map. Whitney Houston, I'd be happy to join. Anything to support my favorite coffee shop. No, this can't be happening. We promised Marty a serenade. Don't worry. Maybe we can have Bruce do something absurd to keep the crowd entertained. Ladies and gentlemen, I present Coffee Art Show. Created using our very own coffee beans and creamer. You know, I never thought I'd enjoy an event where Whitney Houston didn't sing. But you guys made the unicorn parade truly unforgettable. Consider Carbon Coffee a permanent sponsor of the event. We appreciate that, Marty. It was definitely an adventure we won't forget. Here's to more adventures, good coffee, and whatever crazy shenanigans come our way. Now that business is booming, any new plans for improving the shop? Well, I've been thinking about getting one of those fancy espresso machines. Absolutely not. You know I'm saving for my trip to Spain. Spain? Why Spain? Maybe. Just maybe, to see if they have better coffee over there. Right, like we're not already serving the best coffee in town. I'll tell you a secret. Carbon coffee is amazing because of us. It's our charm that sells these delicious cups of heaven. Oh really, Mr. Charm? Did Charm turn our little coffee shop into the local hotspot all by itself? Of course not. We had some help from Unicorns and Whitney Houston too. Well, well. Don't forget the Unicorn Parade's eccentric sponsor. Marty. Of course, we couldn't have done any of it without you. Don't mention it. I'm just glad to help a small business thrive. And besides, you've given me countless cups. Did you all see Paul's latest tweet? Apparently, he's on a coffee brewing kick. No wonder he was such a natural behind the counter. Honestly, I still can't believe it happened. It's been incredible for business, though. We've never had so many new customers flooding in. And how about that Yelp review from Sir Paul himself? Five stars. Can you believe it? Anyway, back to work everyone. We owe it to Paul to make every cup perfect. So let me get this straight. Paul McCartney taught you guys how to make the perfect latte. Yep. It's a rite of passage now for new employees, so consider yourself lucky that we're passing down the wisdom. Paul wouldn't want us to keep his secrets all to ourselves, now would he? All right, Tina. Let's start with the basics. Time to learn the secret to the McCartney special. I think they're taking pictures of themselves with our espresso machine. Well, it is the very same one that touched the hands of a beetle. Great, just what we need, people coming in here for photos instead of actually buying anything. Hello, I'm Jessica from Channel News. Do you mind if we film a segment about your now famous McCartney special? Of course, it'd be a pleasure. Gather around everyone, we're going to make history again. Or should I say, coffee? Bruce, that pun was terrible. Yeah, that one belongs in the trash bin. I'll do my best to make everyone look good. Bruce receives an email that makes him jump up from his seat in excitement. You guys won't believe this. We've just been invited to a barista competition. Thanks to our recent fame, they want us to compete and showcase the McCartney special. Are you serious? I've never even thought about competing. Well, I think it's only fitting that Carbon Coffee shows them what we're made of. Count.
You know, Bruce, I think we really did make a difference today. That may be true, Olivia. But let's not forget it was your wit and charm that helped keep everyone engaged during our little comedic crisis. And let's not forget Aretha Franklin's incredible performance. That definitely made this whole chaotic day worth it. Aretha Franklin. Thank you, Chris. I had a blast performing in this unexpected setting. And did we mention how legendary it was when you slipped and created that chain reaction of chaos? I believe that's going to be a moment we'll never forget or live down. But eventually, even the most chaotic days come to an end. Now, let's get back to what we do best, making delicious coffee for our lovely customers. Excuse me, but I couldn't help overhearing about the talent show earlier, and well, I was wondering if I could do a stand-up comedy routine here sometime? You know, maybe add a bit more laughter to carbon coffee? Well, Gary, given how today unfolded, I think a little comedy could go a long way in this place. And we all know that laughter is great for the soul. Why not give it a try, Gary? We could always use another excuse to laugh around here. I appreciate that, guys. Thank you. I've got to admit, I never thought working at this cafe would lead to so many unconventional and unforgettable moments. Oh, the joys of caffeinated chaos. Speaking of chaos, remember that time we had that chocolate syrup incident, where it exploded all over the ceiling like a cocoa volcano? How could I forget? It took us hours to clean up that mess. But it's these unpredictable moments that make life at Carbon Coffee so thrilling. You never truly know what's going to happen next. Aretha Franklin, you've got a great thing going here. Guys, never lose this spark. Thank you again for a wonderful and unforgettable day. Goodbye, Aretha. Thank you for making today amazing as well. Later, closing time. Olivia, Chris, and Bruce gather once more after the cafe has finally emptied the remains of the chaotic day still visible on their faces and clothes. Well, against all odds, we survived another unexpected day in this place. That we did. Olivia, here's to many more unforeseeable encounters and adventures in our odd little corner of the coffee world. And may they be sprink. You know, Chris, you're so great at making coffee, I almost forgive you for the time you accidentally put salt in my latte. Oh, I must have got confused because you're so salty all the time. Guys, it's Earth Day, so I created a special drink menu. We've got Hug a Tree Latte, Eco Warrior Cold Brew, and my personal favorite, the Vegan Volcano. The Vegan Volcano? Bruce, you've truly outdone yourself this time. How exactly does that volcano erupt, with a spontaneous splash of almond milk and fair trade chocolate shavings? Janice Joplin hey there, Carbon Coffee crew. I'm here for my usual piece of my heart cappuccino, but make it eco-friendly today. And your Earth Day piece of my heart cappuccino is ready, Janice. Janice Joplin w what on earth is in this? My mouth is on fire. Oops. Looks like Olivia channeled her own rebellious spice and added cayenne pepper instead of cinnamon. So sorry, Janice. I got carried away in our Earth Day madness. We are terribly sorry, Janice. We promise to make it up to you with a round of vegan volcanoes for everyone in the house. Janice Joplin you know, there's never a dull moment at Carbon Coffee. Keep the cayenne for me next time, maybe I'll start a new trend. You know, despite the craziness, I wouldn't trade this place for anything. Me neither. We've got our very own jolt of chaos right here at Carbon Coffee. Janice Joplin. Good morning. Today, I brought my friends John Lennon and Yoko Ono. We're about to start a bed and for peace, but we need our coffee first. Welcome, John and Yoko. We've got the perfect drinks for that. Give peace a chance chai and all you need is love latte. Yoko Ono these names are simply delightful. John Lennon indeed. And how's our favorite barista, Olivia? Happy to see you, John. Let me get your coffees ready in no time. Mick Jagger well, if it isn't carbon coffee, where all the cool cats hang out. Mick, haven't seen you in a hot minute. What can we get you today? Mick Jagger, I heard there's a new drink called the Rolling Scone Frappe. Sounds interesting. I'll give it a shot. Elvis Presley, howdy, folks. Your resident king has returned, and he's mighty thirsty. Elvis, how about trying our blue suede brew? I think you'll find it quite fitting. Elvis Presley sounds groovy. One blue suede brew coming up. Bob Dylan, you know. This place has become more than just a coffee shop.
You know, Bruce's dance skills really bring in the customers. I just hope he doesn't hurt himself one day with all that twirling and jumping. My friends, fear not. My passion for coffee and dance shall be the key to our success. Hi, I saw your ad about the bubble brew. Can I get a large one with an extra shot of espresso? Absolutely. Coming right up. We certainly enjoy making them as much as you enjoy drinking it. That's awesome. Keep up the good work, guys. One bubble brew extra espresso coming up. So, what exactly are you looking for, Chris? Well, I figured if we could create one wacky drink, why not expand our horizons? I'm trying to develop something unique using herbal tea. Interesting. What if we added fruit or some sort of spice? Hmm, like a cinnamon twist perhaps? Doesn't hurt to try. Hello again. It looks like things are in full swing since my last review. Any new concoctions in the works? Our dedicated baristas have been working on some truly innovative ideas. We're experimenting with a new herbal tea blend at the moment. Nothing official yet, though. Oh, I'd love to try it when you're ready. Your coffee shop is quickly becoming my go-to place for creativity and quality. Bruce, what exactly is this? It's our new performance space. Customers can enjoy their drinks while being treated to local talents. Is there even enough room for that? You underestimate the versatility of interpretive dance, my dear Chris. I. You know, Chris, if we had a dollar for every time someone tried to order an alien abduction latte, we could probably buy our own UFO. True that. Imagine us flying around town in a coffee-powered saucer. I'm way ahead of you guys. I filed the patent last week. Ali Wong if that's the case, you should add some alien-themed desserts. Maybe Martian cookies or lunar cheesecake? And maybe a spacecraft docking station for those customers coming from galaxies far, far away. We could charge premium prices for a truly intergalactic experience. I like the way you think team. Let's do it. Our cosmic cappuccino is out of this world. And our stardust scones are truly heavenly. But what about the convenience of parking my spaceship here? Ali Wong trust me, with the new UFO landing zone behind the shop, you won't have to worry about interstellar parking enforcement ruining your day. Do you think we'll ever actually see a real alien in here? Who knows? Maybe we've already served one and didn't even realize it. They could be shapeshifters, like in the movies. If you two could hurry up with these orders, I've got an Uranus Boba order for a little green man who's getting impatient. Ali Wong this place is getting more popular than area. See you guys later. I still can't believe Mr. Alien himself, Giorgio Tsoukalos, agreed to do a live appearance here. Guess Bruce's SETI special must have really reached other planets. He's on his way. Let's make sure everything is perfect. Can't disappoint our celestial visitors, can we? Giorgio Tsoukalos, thank you all for coming. Can you believe this new employee policy about shoes? Honestly, it's giving me cold feet. Pun intended. I hear the manager had some ridiculous shoebuckle over the weekend. Yeah, a bunch of disgruntled toes marched in here to protest. Alright, gang. Big day ahead with the win your shoe license promotion. Let's make this place lively. Really, Bruce? You're going shoe crazy over this. What kind of contest is it? Anyway, you'll just have to wait and see. My shoeless compadres. Hey, can someone tell me what's up with people not wearing shoes around here? Oh, our manager started this contest where we have to earn a shoe license. Huh. Sounds like fun. Can I join? Uh, yeah, sure. We'd be honored, Mr. Eminem. So, what's the strategy for winning this thing? Just get through it as fast as possible and hope our feet survive the ordeal. What matters is that we give it our all and get our shoes back. On your marks, get set, go. I gotta admit, this is pretty fun. Yeah, but our feet are definitely paying the price. Ouch. Coffee beans between my toes. It's been a blast, guys, but I think I've got this in the bag. Not if I can help it. I'm right behind you both. Congrats. Everybody won. So what's Eminem doing next? Well, I didn't expect this showdown today, but it was memorable. Good luck with your shoes. Thanks, M. You sure gave us a run for our money. Yep. Never thought I'd race the Eminem just to get my shoes back. Did you ever think we'd be dealing with shoe mania like this? Nope. But thanks to Eminem, our feet are happy again. It truly was an event to remember.
Ironically, all these fans wouldn't. Hey Chris, remember that time we almost caused a caffeine apocalypse? Of course. Trust Bruce to come up with such brilliant ideas. Well, you know what they say, no publicity is bad publicity. Either way, I've got another idea I think our customers are really going to love. Oh no, not the extra beans again. No, no, hear me out coffee bean roulette one lucky customer gets a coffee bean filled with pure, unfiltered flavor. You mean like a Russian roulette? Why customers have to sign a waiver first? Exactly. It could be Carbon Coffee's signature drink. Notorious B.I.G. did someone say signature drink? As long as it doesn't send me into an uncontrollable dance frenzy. I can promise you that won't happen anymore, Mr. B. Do you think this is a good idea? No one saw the danger in the extra beans incident until it was too late. Well, as cliche as it sounds, life is all about taking risks, right? All right, let's give it a try. Customer 3, 2, 1. Well, that was anticlimactic. Customer this is incredible. It tastes like an explosion of happiness in my mouth. Okay, so maybe Bruce knows what he's doing sometimes. You better not say that too loudly, or he'll never let us forget it. You know, I might never get used to his ideas, but we've certainly had some good times because of them. Believe it or not, I think I'm starting to appreciate the insanity around here. But at least it was an evolving experience, right? I may have lost some money on this crazy crypto conundrum, but at least we can all learn from it and laugh together. Yeah, who needs fake money when you have good friends and great coffee? And don't forget Bill's comedy gold over there. I think it's time to stick to good old-fashioned cash and credit card payments. I couldn't agree more. So no more wild business schemes from now on? Bruce well, I wouldn't go that far. Panic stations, everyone. The online reviews are saying we need more variety in our coffee menu. Maybe if you spent less time working on your hat collection, we could focus on that. This isn't about me, or my hats. It's about our livelihood as a quirky, independent coffee establishment. Here we go again. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Bruce, we need to come up with a new and interesting coffee idea. Something extraordinary. Did I just hear someone say they need something extraordinary? Elisa, just the person we need. It seems our little coffee shop here lacks variety. We need some fresh ideas. Bruce, why don't we create a one day only specialty drink that we can promote on social media? We can use Elisa's visit today to get some extra exposure. That's a fantastic idea. You two come up with something incredible and I'll promote it like crazy. This could be our big break. Eliza, hey guys, sorry but I'm not feeling too great today. I won't be able to help you out with promoting anything. Oh, Eliza, I'm so sorry you're feeling under the weather. Yeah, don't worry about promoting the drink. You should just focus on resting and getting better. Well, let's get to work, then. We can still make this happen. Agreed. We're smart and funny, we've got this. Later that day, the coffee shop fills up with a large crowd, eager to try the limited edition brew. Even without Eliza's help promoting it, word spreads rapidly through social media. I can't believe it. Our little creation is selling like hotcakes. This might be our best. You know, Chris, if we ever mess up a latte, we should just say it's a whole new drink called the Quantum Chaos Latte and charge double for it. I mean, people love gimmicks, and nothing says gimmicky like a failed attempt at coffee making. I understand, Mr. Aronson. We'll have your table all set up when you arrive. Our staff is excited to have you here. See you then, did you hear that? Scott Aronson himself is coming to our little cafe. Oh, no way. The author of quantum comedy The Particles of Humor? What an honor. All right, you too, listen up. We're hosting a book signing event for Scott Aronson this Saturday. I want everything to be perfect, so let's get started on planning. Great. 
another event where we have to pretend to be interested in the lives of C-list humorists. We pretend every day, Chris. Pretending is our job. How do you think we've survived Bruce all this time? I heard that, Olivia. But I choose to take it as a compliment. Now, let's start preparing for the big event. Chris, are you sure you don't want to join me in putting up these decorations? It's strangely therapeutic. Oh, I'll stick with the heavy lifting, thank you. There's something primitive and satisfying in moving large objects from one place to another. Just remember, team this event is important for the coffee shop, so no funny business. Funny business? As if we're professional comedians. Yeah, we wouldn't want to create any kind of comedy conundrum, would we? Exactly. Now, where did I put that banner? Scott Aronson, thank you both for your warm welcome. Is there a room I can use to store my bags and prepare for the event? Of course. Right this way, Mr. Aronson. Welcome to Carbon Coffee, Mr. Aronson. We're big fans of your books. Scott Aronson, thank you. I appreciate that. I must say, this place has a great energy. Oh, that's all thanks to our amazing boss, Bruce. I'm blushing. But we should. All right, fine. Solar panels are out. But how about a recycling program? Oh, we already do that. And we're using biodegradable cups too. Nice. Any other ideas for going green? Y'all could try offering some plant-based milk options for your drinks. Like oat milk or almond milk. Hmm. I like it. Let's do it. Celebrity customer heard so many great things about this place. Celebrity customer same here. Apparently, the coffee is out of this world. Thank you. We really pride ourselves on giving our customers the best experience possible. Peppy customer hey there. I'll have my usual, please. Of course. One large mocha with soy milk, coming right up. You've got quite a following here, Olivia. What can I say? I'm just charming like that. Look who's back. Billy Eilish. Yeah, you got me. Your coffee is simply irresistible. That's what we aim for. The usual for you, Billy? Yep. Large iced latte with oat milk, please. Celebrity, is this where Billie Eilish gets her coffee? Sure is. What can we get you? Celebrity, ah, I'll have what she's having. The large iced latte with oat milk. Curious customer you know, ever since word got out that celebrities come here, your coffee shop has been jam-packed. It's pretty great, isn't it? Our boss couldn't be happier. Okay, team. We need to talk about how to handle all these new customers. Well, for starters, we could use more staff. And maybe we should extend our hours? Great ideas. This calls for an official team meeting. How about tomorrow after closing time? Olivia and Chris you got it, boss. All right, let's talk recruitment. Any ideas? We should definitely look for someone who's sociable and fun. It's been part of our charm, after all. But they need to know their stuff, too. We can't sacrifice the quality of the coffee just because we've got a lot of new customers. Agreed. So, we're looking for someone social, knows their coffee, and can handle a little bit of chaos now and then. Late night customer my date night is ruined if. There he is. The man in black himself. Johnny Cash well, if it isn't my favorite barista trio. How's everyone holding up today? We're doing great, Johnny. Excited for another performance. You bet, Johnny. The more rhythm, the merrier. So, Johnny, what song are you thinking of playing for us today? Johnny Cash hum, I'm not sure yet. Any requests? How about Ring of Fire? Ah, great choice, Chris. That's a classic. Johnny Cash Ring of Fire it is then. Hey, guys. I heard there's going to be a mini concert today. Is that true? Yes, Gina. Johnny Cash himself will be performing for us again. That's amazing. I can't wait to hear him. Wow, we've got quite the turnout today. I guess the word travels fast in this town. That was incredible, Johnny. You never cease to amaze us. Johnny Cash well, thank you, Chris. I always have a great time performing here. I think our customers would agree. 
Regular customer oh man, we just want you guys to know that Carbon Comedy Coffee has quickly become our favorite hangout spot. Thank you so much, guys. It's... You know, there's a rumor that they're making robotic versions of more celebrities. Oh fantastic. Can't wait till we have robotic Kardashians and real housewives running around all over the place. Oh, come on. Think about it one day, you might lock eyes with a Ryan Gosling bot and fall head over heels in love. Yes, because that's exactly what I want, a robot love affair. Robo Freddy actually, human robot relationships have come quite far in recent years. Don't knock it until you try it. Thanks for the advice, Robo Freddy. Female customer excuse me, can I order a latte? Why, of course. Chris, my good man, whip up the finest latte this side of Mercury. Another latte coming right up. Young businessman I need a double espresso. Make it strong. Personal robot assistant and while you're at it, make it taste like a unicorn farted rainbows. Young businessman shoots robot assistant a disapproving look. One double espresso, extra rainbow, coming right up. Hey, can my robo pup join me inside? They've got money. Robotic dog woof. I see they're making robots for literally everything now. Elderly woman is that fellow famous? Why, yes mom. That's a robotic replica of none other than Freddie Mercury. Elderly man excellent. Our little robots will have quite the story to tell their robotic grandkids. I can hardly contain my excitement for them. Isn't it wild how one odd coffee blend brought us all this success? I've always said, great things come from unexpected places. Like that time I found a $20 bill in my sock drawer. Sure, Chris. But seriously, can you guys believe we're opening our third location next month? Congratulations, you three. Your dedication to this craft has impressed even me. That's high praise coming from our resident flavor guru. Any new concoctions for me to try today? No Frankenboos today, Lex. But we're always working on something new. Did you guys hear about that review in the local paper? They called us innovative coffee trailblazers. Wow. We should frame that. Absolutely. And while we're at it, we should remind Bruce not to get any crazy ideas about adding 10 types of beans next time. Nine was just fine, thank you. Ugh, these inconsistent flavor complaints are driving me nuts. If we don't find a way to balance the blend soon, our reputation might suffer. Don't worry, guys. We'll figure this out. I've got to admit, the latest version doesn't taste quite right. Are you still using the same beans? Yes, but we can't seem to nail down the perfect blend every time. I swear, it's like chasing a moving target. We just need to finesse the formula. We'll get that. Here, try this one. I added a dash more of the Brazil Bourbon Santos. You know what? I think that might be it. Finally. We can move forward with consistency now. How's everyone handling the new roasting guide? No problems here. If anything, it's making things easier. Let's keep it up then. We have standards to maintain now that we're famous. For once, I agree with you, Bruce. I can't believe how smoothly everything is running at our other locations. It's all thanks to our incredible team and, you know, our mad coffee skills. Don't forget about Lady Luck too. That ingredient supplier mishap could have been a disaster. Guys, I have some unbelievable news. What is it? Did we get another rave review? Better. A national coffee chain wants to buy carbon coffee. You're kidding. What do we do? Does this mean we finally made it? Lex. Good morning, Chris. Did you catch the game last night? Did I? What a match. I couldn't believe that comeback in the final minutes. Guys, enough about sports. We need to focus on our new cosmic bean blend. But Bruce, isn't that taking attention away from sports too? I have to admit, I'm curious about these cosmic beans. Are they supposed to give us superpowers or something? Yeah, something like that. Customer great, another gimmick at this coffee shop. What's next? Alien donuts? Customer hey, I kind of like the atmosphere here. It's never dull. Plus, the coffee is genuinely good. Looks like we have some diverse opinions about our cosmic beans. Yep. Yeah. 
and it seems to be causing some rifts between our regular customers. Think we should tone down the advertising for our cosmic beans? Bruce, are you admitting that your idea might be a bit out of this world? Funny, but seriously. Do you think we've gone too far? Maybe we just need another focus, like a new signature drink or something. Here you go. One cosmic cappuccino, with just a sprinkling of stardust. Ooh, looks delicious. Thanks. I think our new signature drinks are really taking off. Finally, we found the perfect way to use our cosmic beans without going overboard. Regular customer so, these cosmic beans do what exactly? Well, you'll have to try one to find out, won't you? Regular customer alright then. I'll have a cosmic mocha. You know, these cosmic bean drinks may be popular, but they're also a pain to make. Tell me about it. I can't believe how many requests we've had today. You two can complain all you want, we're making a fortune here. Chris, look. Here's your latte. Enjoy. Thank you, Olivia. Carbon coffee is always a pleasure. Hey, Olivia. Guess who just walked in? Is it George Clooney again? No, not this time. It's Will McCaskill. Will McCaskill? I love that guy. He's like a good. I know. His visits always brighten the day. Let's make his favorite order extra special today. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. No worries. Accidents happen. Just give me another one, and we're good. Not now. Don't worry. I'll handle it. And now, for your entertainment. I shall. Clean this up. Delicious as always, guys. Thanks for making my visit extra memorable. Here's to you, for saving the day with your incredible coffee machine skills. And here's to me, for adding some unexpected entertainment. But seriously, we make one heck of a team. It's never a dull moment working here. That's for sure. Let's keep serving our customers and making them laugh, one cup at a time. To Carbon Coffee, the home of comedy, caffeine, and camaraderie. Back for another memorable visit. You can count on us, every single time. This time, we promise no spills or coffee explosions, and definitely more extraordinary performances. Page customer I heard this place was filled with high energy and great laughs. Is it true? Absolutely. There's never a dull moment around here. We like the comedy central of coffee shops. In fact, I've recently been upgraded from awkward background character to engaging sidekick. Alan Morning Guys, first time here. What did you recommend? Try our house special blend. It's the perfect mixture of full-bodied flavors and punchlines. And if you need an extra kick today, pair it with our cinnamon roll, guaranteed to have you rolling with laughter. And beware of the caffeine pusher. Legend has it that he lurks around the corners, offering espressos and witty banner. Terry, can I get one of those oat milk lattes? And hey, whatever happened to that music you guys used to play? Oh, we wanted our customers to focus more on the humor than the hipster vibes. And Bruce here just wouldn't stop playing his electric slide whistle between orders. Impressive synchronization, but not exactly quantum entanglement. Well, ah, uh, we're a work in progress. But enough about us. Let's focus on our esteemed guest, Sabine Hossenfelder, who will talk to us about some fascinating theoretical physics topics. I must say, your coffee shop is intriguing, but I was really expecting more from your demonstration. Anyway, it was nice talking to such an eager audience. Thank you for inviting me. We appreciate you coming to our humble abode, despite the mix-up. Your insights were valuable, and we hope to make this place more than what it is today. Well, best of luck. Maybe with more real scientific input, it could be a wonderful concept. Goodbye. Hey, you know what? That wasn't so bad. Everything aside, I think the quantum decoy did have a certain comedic charm. Maybe we can turn this into a regular thing. Every month, we can invite a different speaker from a different field of expertise, and have some sort of ridiculous demonstration to go along. Not a bad idea. Who knows? We could actually make our coffee shop something unique and special. A place for both humor and learning. Yeah, but let's pick more relatable topics next time. I don't think I can handle another physics lecture anytime soon. The seats are full again, the audience is laughing, and the friends seem to be onto something truly special. You know what they say, success may not come in a single bound, but it sure can start with a misstep.
Well said, Bruce. It looks like our little blunder turned out fantastic, after all. So, Satoshi, how's life treating you these days? It's been quite the roller coaster, but I'm happy where I am, able to enjoy my coffee with like minded individuals. We're always happy to see you here, Satoshi. Do any of your crypto enthusiast friends know that this is your secret hideout? I've managed to keep a low profile so far. You guys ever think about how blockchain technology could revolutionize other industries besides finance? Oh, absolutely. It could easily shake up healthcare, supply chains. Just imagine the possibilities. I've heard there are people already experimenting with blockchain for voting systems. It's fascinating how blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin have such potential to change society as a whole. So, Olivia, how do you feel about being a minor celebrity among this crowd? I didn't sign up for this when I became a barista, but I have to admit, it's pretty fun. Yeah, we should start selling merchandise or something. I bet people would buy carbon coffee t-shirts or mugs. Well, if you guys want to tackle that project, I won't stand in your way. Now hold on, I didn't volunteer for anything. Oh come on, you know it'll be another fun adventure we can look back on while sipping coffee in our old age. Question number what is the maximum number of Bitcoin that will ever be in circulation? Oh, I know this. It's million, right? Yep, that's correct. Good memory. You know, when we first started down this path, I never imagined it would take off quite like this. It's wild, isn't it? But we've managed to stay true to ourselves and our customers in the process. And we've become pretty darn educated about cryptocurrencies along the way, too. That's definitely added an unexpected layer of excitement to our days. You know. Bruce, it's about time we spice things up around here. What do you say we host a talent show right here, in Carbon Coffee? I love it. A coffee-themed talent extravaganza. But what kind of talents are we talking about here? Well, anything really. I mean, we could have singers, dancers, comedians. The possibilities are endless. Exactly. It'll not only be entertaining, but it'll also bring in more customers. A win-win situation for everyone. Let's do it. But first, we need to spread the word and find our performers. How about tomorrow evening? We'll transform this place into a stage for talented individuals to showcase their skills. Sounds good. I'll make some flyers and post them on social media. This is gonna be a night no one will forget. GPT-7 excuse me, I saw the flyer about the talent show, and I was wondering if there were any spots left to sign up? Absolutely. Just jot down your name and the talent you'll be showcasing. We're looking forward to seeing what skills you have. GPT-7 My name is GPT-7, and I do stand-up comedy. But, fair warning, my jokes can be a bit... unconventional. No worries, GPT-7. The more unique, the better. We're looking for a fun night filled with variety. Customer Hey, is it true you guys are hosting a talent show here tonight? Yep. It's going to be a blast. We've got singers, dancers, and even a robot comedian signed up. Customer sounds cool. I might drop by after work. Can't wait to see what kind of acts you get. Trust me, it's worth checking out. It's not just about the coffee anymore, we're taking entertainment to the next level. Female singer somewhere over the rainbow. Way up high. Audience GPT-7 too bad they never realize there's no Wi-Fi connection over the rainbow. Bruce R, good one. All right, let's see who's up next. Oh, the Flaming Barista Jugglers. Flaming Barista Jugglers 1, 2, 3. Chris, this has turned out to be a smashing success. And can I say again how much I love your idea? Hey, it doesn't matter that this was my brilliant idea from the beginning, as long as it works. Chris, did you see how many people were at that wonderful pastries event we had last night? I know. Who knew there were so many pun lovers in this city? Excellent work, you too. I must admit, putting the focus on your talents has really paid off. What's the next event you're planning? 
my friends and I will definitely want to attend. Latte Art Throwdown, whoever creates the best latte art wins a free drink. And, of course, bragging rights. That sounds like a lot of fun. Count us in. Wow, check out this foam peacock design. Amazing. Although, I'm partial to this one of a cat riding a skateboard. This is absolutely fantastic. Carbon Coffee is becoming a community hub, and it's all thanks to you two and Jeffrey's advice. Are you guys doing anything special for Halloween later this month? We might have something in mind, but you'll just have to wait and see. Just make sure your costume is ready. You've outdone yourselves, team. This is fantastic. Thanks, Jeffrey. So glad you could make it. Don't forget to try our themed spooky drinks, the Witch's Brew, Zombie Mocha, and the Bloody Bean. This partnership between creativity and community is better than anything those robo-baristas could have done. Hey, I'm Wendy from City News. We've been hearing a lot about Carbon Coffee buzzing around town, and we'd love to do a story on your rise to fame. Would you be interested? Absolutely. You won't regret it. We have plenty of stories to share. And don't forget to mention how AI expert, Jeffrey Hinton, helped save Carbon Coffee from an ill-fated robotic takeover attempt. Will do. And thank you again, Jeffrey. Over the weekend, I had the strangest dream. And now look, it's on the news. What are you talking about? Here we go again. We should host a roller skating event here at Carbon Coffee. We'd have skates, coffee and comedy all in one place. Yeah, because nothing goes better with a hot cup of coffee than people uncontrollably zooming past you. Exactly. All we need to do is make small changes and reach out to local groups. I think this could really work. I don't know, Bruce. This seems like a recipe for disaster. We're seriously doing this, huh? It's all happening today, whether we like it or not. Welcome to Caffeine and Roller Skates. Get ready for the time of your life. Well, so far, nobody has died yet. But just you wait. The evening is young. Well, Bruce was onto something. People actually seem to enjoy it. What's going on here? A roller skating coffee shop. Welcome to Caffeine and Roller Skates. Want to join in the fun? It's only a matter of time before something goes wrong. Clean up on all four. No, wait, make that aisles 1 through 10. I hope we have insurance for this mess. So, I tried to parallel park my car the other day. Turns out, it's not as easy when your car is inside a Starbucks. Watch out. I told you something would go wrong. Sorry about that, guys. Maybe I got a little carried away. Well, that was interesting. Thanks for trying it out with me. Olivia. Bruce, that's not how you arrange the pastries. Blueberry goes first and then raspberry. Well, I thought we could try something different for a change. That's because you keep eating all the blueberry ones. Guilty as charged. Customer Bruce, any progress on booking entertainment for Friday night? I'm working on it, okay? It's hard to find good talent these days. Rumor spreader you know who would be perfect? Christina Aguilera. Huh? If only she'd agreed to perform at our little cafe. How's the espresso machine? Still on the fritz. We'll need to get it fixed soon. What about the cappuccino machine though? It's fine. Bruce. Just needs maintenance. Christina, yes. Christina Aguilera speaking. I have a huge favor to ask. Customer, oh, is that her? The one who's performing tonight? Customer seems so. Can you believe she's actually here? Why are people always late? Okay, let's do this, guys. Thank you so much for doing this. Christina, we really appreciate it. No problem. You guys have been great, and I wanted to give back in some way. We're beyond grateful. This place will be packed. Okay, I'm super nervous for Christina's performance. Everything will be just fine. Yes, but please don't let anything weird happen with that hanging piano. Customer, are you guys almost ready? Just a few more minutes. Bravo, Christina. That was amazing. Thank you all so much. It was a pleasure being here. We cannot thank you enough for this incredible experience. And we promise, no more dangerous piano installations. I can't believe how well everything turned out after the little mishap we had. Neither do I but it seems like Christina found a family here at Carbon Coffee. Now, if only we can figure out how to attract more celebrity clients. Olivia and Chris know.
Hey, it's Lawrence. Welcome back. Lawrence K. Thank you. It's great to see this place thriving. I just had to come back and witness the fruits of our collaboration. We owe you a huge debt of gratitude, Lawrence. Thanks to you, Topsy Turvy Tuesdays are a hit. So, what brings you back to Carbon Coffee? Lawrence K. Well, I'm in town for a while for a book release, and I couldn't pass up the chance to try your coffee again. And maybe even participate in Topsy Turvy Tuesdays myself. Oh, we'd be honored to have you here every Tuesday, Lawrence. Lawrence K. I'll do my best to make it when I can. This place has proven to be quite memorable. Well, as a thank you, all your coffee is on the house from now on. Lawrence K. You're too kind. But I insist on supporting the business. Can I get a large black coffee? I'm late for a meeting across town, and this traffic is killing me. Wow, she seems stressed. Well, maybe she's just always like that. Of course. Coming right up. What is going on here? Is there some kind of party I wasn't invited to? Lawrence K. Welcome to Topsy Turvy Tuesdays. Every week, customers and employees dress up in their wackiest, most unconventional outfits. It's a way to break free from the mundane, have some fun, and enjoy some great coffee all at the same time. Well, it certainly brightened my morning. I've never seen anything quite like it. Glad you like it. And hey, maybe next time, you can join us and put on your own outrageous outfit. Maybe. Just don't hold your breath. You never know. Next time, she may walk in wearing clown shoes or something even crazier. Topsy Turvy Tuesday has been full of surprises, after all. Lawrence K. Indeed, it has. Seriously, though, I never saw chili powder coming. How did you even come up with that? I came across an old recipe my great-grandmother used to make. It was a chocolate drink with a hint of chili. Old Granny must be proud now. Speaking of which, Chris, have you called your parents? They must know about our success. Yeah, yeah, told them already. Though they couldn't help but complain about me avoiding their messages all week long. If I were your parents, I would have done the same. Well, well, look at this young team brewing perfection. This town will finally have a proper cup of joe. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Your compliments mean so much to us. But alas, I am but a humble servant of the people. It is the town's incredible baristas who deserve praise. We did put a lot of love into the coffee, hence the name, love and caffeine, the most powerful combination. It certainly left a mark. My heart hasn't stopped pounding since then. Sir, let me play a tune for you to enjoy along with the delicious coffee. Elvis, I must say, having a legend like you in this fine establishment really adds to the atmosphere. Hey, it's my duty to bring some life into this place, one strum at a time. Do you mind serenading us every day from now on? What can I say? The king is always at your service. Olivia welcome back mayor. How'd your wife like the coffee we sent home yesterday? She went absolutely bonkers over it. Carbon coffee will now be our daily ritual. Keep up the excellent work. Thank you, sir. Just doing what we love. Attention everyone. We've got a brand new espresso blend in the works for next week. Prepare yourselves for even more intense flavors. Chris, any hints on this new blend? I promise not to tell anyone. Except maybe Elvis. Alright, but only if you guess my next joke correctly. Deal. I plan to create an online platform. Exclusively dedicated to the secrets behind the perfect latte art. You're joking, right? Why don't you try me at my game of guessing jokes, boss man? I never lose. Oh, alright. It sounds like fun. Although, good luck trying to read my mind. Well, that's something I'm already pretty good at, thanks to Chris here. You guys are amateurs in this game. Can't keep up with the king of wit and puns. Speaking of kings, have you ever put a crown on a guitar instead of a headstock? Was that supposed to? Hey, Chris. Want to hear a joke? By all means, enlighten me. What do you call Bruce's managerial style? I don't know. What? A brouhaha. I just found this hilarious meme about beans. Check it out. Oh, that's a good one. No, I can't believe you would even suggest that. This is an injustice. 
Chair scraping as everyone turns to look at Jean. Speak of the devil, our very own disaster artist has arrived. Oh, be quiet. What do you know about anything anyway? You walked right into that one, Jean. My important documents. Jean, don't worry. We can fix this. Right, guys? Yeah, if we have to. You're lucky we like you, Jean. Flattery will get you nowhere. Sure, why not? Let's call it Operation Being Clean. All hail the Coffee Trinity, our saviors in times of peril. So, let's get to work on this precious envelope of yours, Jean. It's not gonna clean itself. Maybe we could try rubbing some rubbing alcohol on it? That sometimes works for ink stains. Maybe if it were a Sharpie masterpiece, but this just looks like regular old ink. I doubt alcohol will do much for it. Well, we won't know until we try, right? Good point. All right, let's assemble our cleaning arsenal. I read somewhere that hairspray might work. All right, let's give that a shot. This better work, or Jean is going to berate us for eternity. Excuse me. I do not berate people for eternity. Um hum, sure, okay. You are not helping. Come on, Jean, Olivia's just trying to lighten the mood. At least we're trying to help you out here. So, how about we give this stuff a try? What do we have to lose at this point? Fair enough. Let's try it out. Oh, that seems. You know, I never thought I'd say this. But thank you, Mr. X, today has definitely been one for the memories. Yeah, and who knew Bruce's coffee juggling skills would actually come in handy during our chase? Hey, you never know what weird talents will save the day. Well, we're grateful for your bravery, and for keeping the world's most powerful coffee bean out of the wrong hands. The itch how about a celebratory song, guys? One more for the Carbon Coffee crew. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Absolutely. What's that song everyone always mistakes for our national anthem? You mean I still haven't found what I'm looking for? I have climbed highest mountain. As the crowd sings along enthusiastically, you continues to play while Mr. X is escorted by local authorities out of Carbon Coffee, with a satisfied smile on his face. Adam Clayton. This is one coffee shop gig we won't forget anytime soon. Larry Mullen Jr. Is it too late to include this in our next tour documentary? It's never too late for an adventure like Broomageddon. So, are you both free tonight for a movie marathon or something? We've got to finish celebrating our victory. Just as long as there's popcorn involved, and absolutely no coffee. I think I've had enough brew for today. Deal, but only if we can finally have a real weekend off. No more surprise apocalypses or mysterious golden beans. Agreed, today's off and memories that will last a lifetime. A few eccentric customers come and go, offering quippy retorts and humorous interactions with Olivia, Bruce, Chris, and the band members, highlighting the sense of camaraderie and bonding within Carbon Coffee. As the day progresses, the energy between the group becomes contagious, leading to engaging conversations on topics such as love, friendships, music, and, inevitably, the art and intricacies of making great coffee. The final scene features Bruce locking up Carbon Coffee after the last customer leaves, with, Chris, remember that time when Bruce wanted us to serve coffee in test tubes? Oh, absolutely. His ideas always push the boundaries of what's possible, and mildly say, you can laugh all you want, but one day my coffee science will revolutionize the industry. GPT-7 interesting fact A study found that people who drink four or more cups of coffee a day have a percent lower risk of all-cause mortality. Well, I don't know about that. But the amount of coffee we've been serving must surely keep our customers moderately happy. Speaking of coffee, have you two tried our newest concoction? The Mocha Macchiato. Isn't that just a cafe mocha? Not in the slightest. The Mocha Macchiato has different types of chocolate and is topped with a giant marshmallow. Well, I guess there's no such thing as too much chocolate. I ordered a Mocha Macchiato to go, and as I was walking back to my office, the marshmallow spontaneously combusted. Oh dear, I feared this might happen. Do not worry, Susan. We shall cover any damages and replace your beverage. GPT-7 Fun fact, Susan marshmallows date back to ancient Egypt, where they were made from the mallow plant and were believed to have healing properties. Not sure if I needed to know that, but okay, thanks GPT. 
I've done it, Bruce. Behold my creation, a pair of glasses that make every cup of coffee look four times as large. Ingenious. Tom, you're hired. Ah, uh, isn't this taking it a little too far? GPT-7 Are you aware that the world's largest coffee pot is over feet tall and can hold approximately gallons of coffee? Wow, that's impressive. Imagine how big it would look with my special glasses. I think we might need a bigger shop if we start serving coffee from gigantic pots. Friends, let me introduce you to the latest fitness craze, coffee yoga. What exactly does that involve? It's simple. While holding your coffee, you twist. So, now that we've officially made our mark with the Great Jello incident, what's our next big idea? Maybe something a little less messy this time. How about a coffee-themed escape room? Interesting. Go on, Chris. Well, we could have customers try to solve puzzles and clues related to our different coffee blends and brewing techniques. And once they solve everything, they get a free cup of coffee. That's a pretty neat idea. What do you think, Bruce? I like it. It's fun, engaging, and educational. Russell Peters I would definitely try that. In fact, count me in as your first customer when it's ready. Will do, Russell. Thanks for the support. We might have another hit on our hands here. I told you, there's no harm in taking things to a whole new level of fun. Jessica, a local reporter, enters the coffee shop to interview Bruce about Carbon Coffee's recent success. Excuse me, are you Bruce? Bruce yes, that's me. How can I help you? My name is Jessica and I'm a reporter for the local news channel. After hearing about your innovative ideas, I was wondering if I could interview you for a story? Of course. We'd be happy to share our secret recipe for success. Customers are enjoying their drinks and watching the interview on live TV. I can't believe Bruce is on TV right now. At this rate, we'll be famous everywhere in no time. Do you guys remember when we were just another coffee shop? It seems like ages ago. But look at us now. We've created something that brings people together, educates them, and of course, provides great coffee. Russell Peters Hey Bruce, what's your next crazy project? Well, I was thinking about creating a barista training course that includes juggling coffee beans. You're joking, right? You'll just have to wait and see. Customer this place never ceases to amaze me. Customer agreed. I can't wait to see what they come up with next. Oh my god, Bruce. You were serious. Of course. Life. Did you know Dolly Parton owns a coffee plantation in Hawaii? She even has her own blend. No way. Is it A to espresso? Can't believe our Dolly is becoming the coffee queen. Bruce enters. When I taste the island breeze, I forget my troubles. Ah, another pair of flip flops with socks. How is it even possible to look more atrocious each day? Fashion is about innovation, Christopher. You just don't get it. Dolly Parton walks in. Dolly Parton now. What's all this ruckus about? Quick, make her special order. How do I make A to espresso? Crash, thief entering the scene. What was that? The barefoot bandit snatches the tip jar. My foot, that's scalding hot. Dolly, pardon, there you go, honey. Now, Olivia, how about calling the police? That bandit won't get far if we hustle. Hello? We need the police at Carbon Coffee right away. We just got hit by the barefoot bandit. I'm sorry about that. Boss. But hey, at least our hero Dolly was here to save the day. Yeah, maybe she'll let you take on the barefoot barista Bonanza as her next album cover. Now that's an idea, my dear Olivia. You know, with all this excitement, I think the name of our coffee shop should be changed. Police officer arrives. Police officer I heard about what happened here. Can you describe the thief? The thief was barefoot, and fast. Yeah, he was surprisingly agile for not wearing shoes. Police officer alright. You guys stay put, we'll let you know if we find anything. I can't believe that just happened. Our little coffee shop survived a bandit attack. Dolly Parton well, ain't that just sweet as sugar? Teamwork really counts, you'll- And we got to meet the queen of country herself, all on the same day. Police officer comes back in. Police officer thanks to your immediate action and descriptions, we were able to arrest the barefoot bandit. Carbon coffee shop is safe once again. Dolly Parton well. How about another two espresso? Minus the bonanza, 
please. And just call me Dolly, we've been through too much together now. Cut to later. Hey Chris, remember when? Hey, remember what Katie said the other day about finding connections in unexpected places? Yeah, why? What's up? Maybe she meant that we could find new connections within our own coffee shop. We should try experimenting with new flavors and ideas. That's actually a great idea, Bruce. Let's brainstorm. How about incorporating different types of milk to accommodate customer preferences? Oat milk, almond, coconut. We could even create drinks inspired by famous scientists or astronomers. Love it. Let's start with a Galileo Gallal tea. Later that day, Katie Bauman enters, staring at the new menu items. What's with the new additions? Neil de C.F. Tyson's and Bus Steam Beans. Well, you inspired us. We decided to experiment and find new connections, just like you do with your work. That's amazing. I'm honored. And admittedly curious about the Stargazer Spiced Latte. It's a blend of several spices, hidden gem in the universe of flavors. Would you like to try one? Absolutely. You know what? Maybe we should enter the fair with our astronomically inspired drinks. That's a fantastic idea. We could reach out to people who share the same interests. And maybe Katie would be willing to collaborate with us on this project. This one would be perfect, Dark Matter Mocha. Delicious and captivating. Great idea, Katie. It looks as dark and mysterious as its namesake. I've always wanted to try a twist on carbonated coffee. We could call it the black hole fits. Adding some dry ice to the concoction could create the illusion of swirling space-time. I just can't believe the turnout. Our drinks are a hit. Yeah, only if we patented these names, though. Katie Bauman it just goes to show that finding connections can lead to remarkable results. And who knows what other discoveries await us in the future, right here at Carbon Coffee. The next day. Alright, gang. Lesson of the day how to impress Lady Gaga when she comes into the shop. First up, Gaga fi these lattes. We're not baristas, Bruce. We're like wizards of latte art. And if magic ain't your forte, you should just stick with them all. Noted, Chris. In other news, make sure those cakes in the display have Gaga-worthy decoration. So, we're going with cake hats now. You mean like a dessert turban? Exactly. A little icing, some sprinkles, We've got ourselves a hit. Ha! Ah, ha! Ah. It's all fun and games until Lady Gaga walks through that door. Customer hey, do you guys know if Lady Gaga is really coming here today? That's the rumor. Who knows? Maybe we'll even get to wear her meat dress as aprons. Do not disappoint me or Lady Gaga on this sacred day. I want her latte to be spectacular. Oops. I guess our machines are just starstruck by Gaga like everyone else. Or maybe Bruce struck them with his Gaga fight tactics one too many times. Lady Gaga. Well, you've certainly made an impression. But honestly, as long as my latte doesn't sing Alejandro while I drink it, I don't mind plain old coffee. Lady Gaga nods and takes a seat with her entourage. Chris and Olivia quickly wipe away the bubbles from their counter and start preparing her order. As they work, Bruce tries to salvage what's left of his Gaga-fied coffee shop. Lady Gaga's bodyguard. Gaga loves genuinely creative experiences. But mostly, she appreciates authenticity over forced gimmicks. Boss, who knew authenticity was key? You should try it sometime. Yeah, when our quirky clients appreciate our regular selves, maybe that's a sign to let our genuine light shine. Morning team. Can't help but notice our friend's latest rendition, eh? It's got that good old morning charm. Oh, absolutely. Nothing makes my day like hearing the BG's first thing in the morning. For the hundredth time. At least it wakes us up faster than coffee. Perks of the jaw, I guess. Olivia. Chris. Did you notice we're just shy of making a new record with our sales? Really? Wow, Chris. Your latte art must be drawing them in. And don't forget Olivia's sweet record for cappuccino foam. We're an unbeatable team. Jonathan Peters, good morning. 
I'll be reviewing your humble little establishment today. So let's see what you've got. Welcome, Jonathan Peters. We are thrilled and honored. Well, this could either go terribly or fantastically. No pressure, right? Jonathan Peters, I'll have a traditional cappuccino. I hear you guys are top-notch baristas, so impress me. You heard right, sir. I can assure you, our coffee will not disappoint. We'll get that cappuccino right to you, Mr. Peters. We'll make sure it's perfect. Jonathan Peters, impressive foe. But what about your specialties? Of course. Olivia, Chris, prepare our signature creation, the Harmony Great. Espresso. All right, Chris, let's do this. Together, we got this. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Olivia. Darn it. Don't worry, we can still salvage this. Keep frothing the milk. Well, Chris, ready for round two. Let's show them what we're made of. Jonathan Peters this. This is astonishing. Excellent work. You two, you did it. I always knew you two were the best baristas in town. We should drop cinnamon more often. Seems to be our good luck charm. Well, Team Cinnamon, thanks to your exceptional skills and teamwork, we've made our little coffee shop the talk of the town. And we couldn't have done it without your absurd shenanigans, boss. Or the Bee Gees disco inspiration. Wow, Chris. How do you manage to make those latte art designs look so incredible? Practice makes perfect, my dear Olivia. Paul Krugman, what exactly are you concocting back here, Bruce? An ultra-caffeinated coffee, Paul. It's going to revolutionize the world of coffee. Bruce, what the heck is happening? I don't know, but we need to contain this foam. Olivia, help me grab some towels and anything we can use to stop this. Paul Krugman, you need to show us the formula you used for this brew. Maybe we can find a way to stop it from growing. I never thought we'd have an underwater espresso adventure today. You never know what to expect at Carbon Coffee. Paul Krugman, here's your problem, Bruce. Too much sodium bicarbonate. Let's dilute it with water to neutralize the reaction. We're winning against the foam monster. I bet no one's ever had to deal with something like this before. Well, that was an experience we'll never forget. Thanks for your help, everyone. Paul Krugman, no problem, but maybe next time, stick to a more conventional coffee formula. Or at least consider investing in some spill-proof beakers. And maybe retire from any further underwater espresso adventures. Thanks, folks. Drinks on the house for surviving our first ever underwater espresso adventure. Morning, everyone. I heard about your big adventure yesterday. Did everything settle down? Oh, you have no idea. We were lucky to make it out of that foam monster alive. It was quite the experience, but we survived to tell the tale. You should have seen Paul Krugman, Lucy. He turned into some sort of mad scientist, helping me figure out how to neutralize the reaction. Wow, that sounds intense. So, are we sticking to regular coffee today? Yes, please. I don't think this place can handle another foam apocalypse. So, I heard about your underwater espresso adventure. Can I expect my latte to come with an extra side of foam? We're keeping things a bit more low-key today, Mary. But if foam is what you're looking for, we can still whip up a mean cappuccino. I missed all the excitement, huh? Do I need to start bringing a life vest just in case? No more experiments for me. My days of trying to create the ultra-caffeinated brew have officially been put to rest. Fair enough. Stick to what you know best, right? Olivia. And then I said... That's not a muffin, that's my wife. Classic Bruce. Prepare for the greatest open mic night ever. You mean tonight's lost and found themed show? Inciting incident Gabriel Iglesias hum. That could be fun. Rising action. You guys ready for some comedy, music, and poetry inspired by your very own misplaced items? Cut to. I've never done anything like this before. What if I bomb? There's nothing to worry about. Just go out there and have fun. Olivia wow that actually went pretty well. Told you there was nothing to worry about. Olivia the grand finale, a lost and found fashion show, has no one to organize it. Gabriel Iglesias all right everyone, let's work together and make this fashion show happen. For our grand finale, a one-of-a-kind fashion show with your very own lost and found items. Let's get started. Can you believe it? Our first open mic night is almost over. One for the books, for sure. 
Page Gabriel Iglesias great job, everyone, what a success. Do you think we should do this again? Certainly. It helps bring our community closer. Absolutely. Who knew lost items could bring so much joy and creativity? As we've learned today, a simple open mic night can turn into something spectacular. Yeah, I never would have thought this little coffee shop could produce this talent. Gabriel Iglesias and it just goes to show you that inspiration can be found in the most unexpected places. The End Did you guys catch the Mixed Up House premiere last night? They're really pushing the boundaries this time. Oh, absolutely. The mermaids nearly flooded the whole place. But, did you see the blender? It almost stole the show. My favorite part was when the contestants had to navigate the virtual reality maze while singing karaoke backwards. Total madness. Aviv Regev, hello, my friends. I've got some exciting news for you all. Oh, do tell. Aviv Regev. Well, Carbon Coffee has been chosen as one of the locations for the Mixed Up House this season. Are you ready for a week full of surprises and non-stop laughter? This is unreal. We need to come up with the craziest ideas to impress the show's viewers. How about we turn our coffee cups into miniature skate parks? Sounds fun. But we also need to outdo those mermaids and sentient blenders from the premiere. I just got a call. I need to leave town for a few days. Promise me you'll take care of everything. Of course, we've got your back. Don't worry. We'll make sure the cafe is in perfect condition for the show. Inside Carbon Coffee, filming week. I'm back. Wow, you two really up the ante since I left. Just in time. They're about to introduce us on air any moment now. Chris we wanted to provide an unforgettable experience for everyone watching. But what are we going to wear? None of us have something interesting enough to wear on television. Don't worry, I found these great mermaid costumes we can all wear. That's a fantastic idea. It fits the mixed up house theme perfectly. You guys are amazing. Let's get ready. And now, let's see what hilarity ensued at Carbon Coffee. Say hello to Bruce, Olivia, and Chris, our very own coffee house comedians. Hey everyone, welcome to our whimsical world of caffeinated chaos, performing stunts you've never seen before in this humble abode of coffee beans and laughter. We promise that your experience here will be unforgettable. Aviv Regev, our first challenge for the coffee house comedians is to prepare the best espresso shot while wearing oven mitts. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Bring on the mitts. Time to heat things up with our barista skills. I can't believe I managed to pull that off. You were incredible, Bruce. That espresso shot was flawless. We really showed them what carbon coffee is capable of. Aviv Regev. The coffee house comedians proved that they can handle the heat. On to the next challenge. They'll prepare a custom coffee drink based on the audience's choice of ingredients. All right, gather around troops. Big day today. This one is going to send carbon coffee rocketing into the stratosphere. Do tell, Captain Bowtie. What's the plan? Today we're going to do a special promotion. A buy one, get one free card for every Jill. So, what do we do if the person isn't named Jill? We convince them to change their name. Simple. Morning, everyone. What's new? Well, you're gonna love this one, Jill. Bruce here has decided that anyone named Jill gets a free drink when they purchase another one. Oh, well, that's quite a surprise. Thank you, Bruce. Anything for our favorite Jill. Customer um, yes, I'd like two lattes. My name is definitely Jill. Sure thing, Jill. This is getting out of hand. We're in on this joke, but I'm pretty sure we're pushing our limits. Look at this. Our profits are going through the roof. At this rate, all those other coffee shops will want to mimic our ingenious Jill special. You certainly have a flair for the absurd, Bruce. Real Jill wait, is this for real? Are you actually giving away free drinks to people named Jill? You bet we are. Jill. Just our little way of saying, thanks for being a loyal customer. Real Jill um, okay then. I'll take two cappuccinos. Maybe it's time to call it quits, boss? Before things escalate any further. Alright, alright. Perhaps it's time to pull the plug on the promotion. Angry mob we want our free drinks. We want Jill's justice. Hey, everybody. How about we entertain you all with some improvisational comedy? 
From me, Olivia. And yes, even Bruce. I'll give you this much. Your absurd promotions sure make for great comedic material. Well, I do consider myself quite the comedic genius. Real Jill you certainly keep us on our toes, Bruce. So, Chris, did you hear about the latest dating trend for coffee shop owners? No, Lutel. They have a latte in common. You're on a roll today, Olivia. I cannot believe everybody changed their name. Your promotion is a hit, Bruce. I told you my ideas were nothing short of brilliance. Just promise us, no more name-based promotions for a while, all right? Deal. But watch out for next week. Carbuccino anyone? What on earth is that? You'll just have to wait and see, won't you? So, no more jiggling java machines. No, just good old-fashioned drip coffee from now on. Yeah, speaking of which, have you guys noticed any difference since we switched to this thing? I think it actually tastes better. But maybe that's just me being biased against jiggling coffee makers. Morning, everyone. I'm here for my daily caffeine fix. One cappuccino, coming right up. Ah, carbon coffee. I haven't been here in ages. What blend do you have on drip today? It's a Colombian roast, full-bodied with notes of dark chocolate and cherry. Hmm, I usually prefer a lighter roast, but I suppose I'll give it a try. So, how's the new coffee maker treating you? No disasters yet, so I'd say better than the last one. This is actually, quite good. It seems my palate has grown since I was last year. Well done, carbon coffee. He's a tough one to impress, but it looks like you guys have won him over. If we can get Patrick on board, I think we've got something special here. Can you believe it? Our first ever coffee appreciation event is tonight. I'm excited. Hopefully, our customers are interested in learning about our coffee as much as drinking it. I wouldn't worry about that. Everyone loves your coffee. And hosting an event like this just proves how dedicated you. Great, now I need a PhD to make a customer's drink. I guess you could say they caffeined their high expectations. Folks, we have a problem. We're running out of cappuccino mix. Can one of you make more? Running out. But we have a huge afternoon rush coming in. Wendell Wallach looks like you guys have a cappuccino catastrophe on your hands. Don't worry, I'll handle it. This coffee shop runs through cappuccino mix like me with a tub of ice cream on a lonely Friday night. That's the spirit, Chris. Olivia, let's make sure we have everything ready for the orders that are about to flood in. Hey guys, what's all the commotion about? We're running out of cappuccino mix and we have a huge rush coming in. Well, don't worry. Get some ingredients, follow the recipe, and presto, problem solved. That's the thing, we can't find some of the ingredients. Wendell Wallach leave it to Wendell to save the day. I've got some supplies in my trunk that might help. Miranda enters the coffee shop, she's a regular too. Is there a cappuccino deal going on or something? This place is packed. Yeah, cappuccino catastrophe. Order three cappuccinos and get a free muffin. I didn't realize catastrophe was a selling point. Sometimes, you gotta market what you've got. Wendell Wallach brings a handful of ingredients to Chris. Wendell Wallach here you go, Chris. Just call me your cappuccino savior. Thanks Wendell, let's hope this saves us. You're a lifesaver, Wendell. This might just work. Raymond, an impatient customer at the front of the line, starts getting angry about the wait. This is ridiculous. I should have been in and out of here by now. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, sir. We'll get your order as soon as possible. Okay, I'm missing a key part of the recipe. What am I doing wrong? Let me see. Try adding more milk froth, maybe that's what's missing. We've got nothing to lose at this point. You know, I just don't understand why people love extra foam so much. Neither do I, but hey, whatever makes them happy. Vivian you two are gonna love this. I won tickets to the caffeinated Cosmos Comedy Festival. And guess who's going to perform a skit there? Chris Waite, really? Viv, that's so awesome. Yep. So Bruce here is gonna have to get his act together. 
Bruce did somebody say my name? We are performing? I always knew I was destined for the stage. Well, looks like we need to come up with something really funny. Bruce, so what's our game plan, team? After work, we'll brainstorm ideas. I'm sure we can come up with something hilarious. How about this a customer orders a complicated drink, and it keeps getting weirder as we try to make it. Good start. And maybe Bruce could play the eccentric customer. This role was meant for me. Hey, how are you guys doing with your skit? Using Bruce as a difficult customer should be a hit at the festival. We'll bring in the audience with some intense wit. Bruce, hello, esteemed baristas. I'd like to order the world's most complicated coffee. Of course, as long as you're prepared for what's about to ensue. First. We'll need six types of milk and a triple soy decaf latte with hot fudge. Can I also have that with extra foam? Make it five inches high. Bruce also, can you pour it over my shoe? Sorry, make that eight types of milk from now on. Olivia, do you want any fruit in your coffee, sir? Kiwi? Mango, perhaps? Oh, don't forget the unicorn dust. Backstage, Olivia Bruce, you really rocked out there. Sometimes absurdity is what we need. Life's too serious sometimes, you know what? We should try introducing some wackier drinks at Carbon Coffee. Why not? At least we'll crack ourselves up every day. Chris, do you ever get the feeling that Bruce makes all these bizarre decisions just to keep us on our toes? You mean like installing a swimming pool jacuzzi in the middle of the shop? Exactly. Miley. Welcome back to Carbon Coffee. Have you met our new pool? Ah, uh, I mean this pool, which has nothing new about it. Oh, Bruce, you always know how to surprise me. Miley, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. The real reason I make all these wild changes to the shop is because I'm trying to impress you. The pool, the life-size giraffe statue, all of it. Oh, Bruce. Really? That's so sweet but you honestly don't need to try so hard to impress me. Really? You'll continue visiting Carbon Coffee even if there are no more unexpected and bizarre upgrades? Absolutely. Your coffee is fantastic, and you have such a great team with Olivia and Chris. That's what keeps me coming back. You guys won't believe it. I just had a breakthrough moment with Miley. What happened? Bruce. Oh, isn't every day an adventure in this magical land of caffeine and whipped cream? Can't argue with that. Now, who wants a taste of my new experimental latte? Is it safe for human consumption? Only one way to find out. I'll give it a shot, Chris. What's the worst that could happen? Famous last words, Lucas. All right, here you go. I call it the volcano latte. This latte is really living up to its name. It's steaming like a volcano. Here comes Mount Lucas. <laughs> 